Hey guys, Fear back at it again with another VOD from Twitch. This one's from the 24th of April, 2022. Uh, it was a Sunday, and so we were doing some transmog slash Ludapraiser challenge hunty dearly kind of. Look, it was great fun. I had a lot of fun with all of the community jumping in and, you know, shit talking each other and stuff. It was fantastic if you'd like to catch us live on twitch and actually jump in to the ludopraiser stuff with us you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash fiama if you add on a forward slash schedule to the end of that you will get my schedule converted magically to your time zone which is very good if you're anything like me and cannot convert time zones to save your life and if you would like to catch me on other in other locations on the interwebs, I'm trying to build my Instagram following at the moment, uh, but I also have a Twitter, a Facebook, and a TikTok, all wonderful things. They're all the links are down in the description box below. I talk entirely too quickly and I am very, very tired, but that's okay. I had so much fun during stream today and I hope you have just as much fun watching the VOD. Hopefully I'll see you in chat live next time, but until then, have fun. I'm here. I'm alive. I'm trying to send a tweet. It's not working very well. Uh, what am I trying to say? Good. Issues. Ooh. There we go. Put in the thing. Add. Camera roll. That one and that one. Add. Hello! Hi. I'm so sorry for the technical issues. Um, this time I've actually, uh, Stay a while and listen. <laughs> I've um I've opened up a ticket. Uh, I haven't opened a ticket yet, but I've opened up like the ticket submitting page for Twitch. Um, so I'm gonna send uh, a support ticket after stream. That way, having it open will remind me to actually bloody do it. Um, and I'll send them my OBS log and be like, why? Um, and hopefully they can point out that I've got something completely broke or. Maybe my tech is just too old. Please, Lord, do not let it be hardware. Um, I can't afford new hardware. <laughs> That's not a thing. Uh, Jasper, we need batteries because uh, these, as you can probably tell, have rendered de out and um, these, oh dear, flying batteries. These batteries are leaking. I don't like leaking batteries. They cause issues. Anyway, this can go in there. Go in there. This one can go in there. Oh, is there a spark or something? Click. A. Perfection. Uh, right. What am I doing? Battles. Nope. I'm doing an Instagram story. My Twitter has uploaded. Where is the Instagrams? Look, I know I'm running late. I'm apologies. Um, I was here on time. I was here on time, ready to go, and uh, everything went splat. Um, captions. Transcribing audio. Uh, where am I going? North. Battle link is in chat, is in chat. Uh, no, I'm not fear, I'm fear. Two different words, internet. Uh, perfect, all right. Always verify your captions. Because you know what? Instagram does not speak Azeroth. Uh, Azerothian? It's not a language. We all, we have so many languages, but none of them are universal. Uh, what am I at this one? At Twitch, at Blizzard. Nope, that's Mellow. Um, Liz, at Warcraft. Done. You can go down the bottom. And, nope, that's a poll. Go away. Don't want you. Uh, nope. Good lord. I'm very good at this. I am a professional social media person. Uh, it's a thing. I promise. That's not how you spell Twitch. Twitch does not have a U in it. Um, .tv forward slash Fiyama. You can go over there and you can be uploaded. Perfect. All right. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? What are my quests? Oh, there's Gover's battery. Uh, place three busters. Place three busters. <laughs> and place five orc slayers. I'm gonna start with the orc slayer just because it's got the longest cool down. Ladies in chat, follow the link, log in with your Twitch account and drag and drop those units to the battlefield so that we can win because if we don't, we will lose. Uh, first battle of the day is always a sticky one. So I appreciate. What oh, does it actually upload this time? 
Hang on. I had some issues to this morning with internet connectivity. Um, I'm just sure it did finally upload my... Okay, where's plan? My reel. I think my reel just went live, which is hilarious. Um, so I'm checking my TikTok so that I can put... What? Oh, okay. Phew. That terrified me. Um, I told you, I'm really good at social media. Really, really good. So, on on top of all this, um, games. Good. We're playing World of Warcraft today. Um, <laughs> when do we not? Uh, actually, there are some times that we don't, and there's going to be some times next month that we definitely don't, uh, which is going to be entertaining and fun for all, including myself, I hope. Um, uh, so I've missed a good chunk of chat. Um, when I disconnected from, is that Shatrath? It is Shatrath. Uh, we're going to Benin Crusade. We're going to Terracar Forest. We're going to like, the four of the, the ring of them. I don't remember which one's north, the top one. I don't remember, but that's the one we're doing. Whatever that one is, that's what we're doing. Um, what am I doing? Nobody knows. Next. Tap. Paste. Go. Good. Done. No. Not. No. Good. Post. Thank you. Don't make noise. Good. Uh, whichever one is the top one. Um. I said don't make noise. Uh, the top one, this one. Mana tombs. We're doing mana tombs. Good. Wonderful. <laughs> I've everything prior to me disconnecting and reconnecting my Twitch account from OBS is gone in terms of chat. So I've missed all of that, but that's fine. I'm sure you all understand. You're happy. You're just happy that I can now reach out and be live. Um, and if you're not happy with that, then uh, I, I really don't know. There is nothing I can do to help you. Enjoy. Uh, <laughs> so let me scroll to the top of what I do have available. And the first message I have is Dupe saying, chat works fine though. Uh, showed us live, Zem and I did the thing, then broken stream page, then back to offline. So hello to Dupe, hello to Sika. Um, but yes, chat always works. Even when the stream is offline, chat is always functional. Just nobody will probably potentially see it. I do get a log though. I do have a log of anything said when I'm offline. So have fun with that. Uh, I could do a quick check of other pages if peeps are still live. Yeah, no, it's not a it's not a global Twitch issue. <laughs> we'd we'd have heard about it if it was a global Twitch issue by now. It was it was a global fear issue. Um, oh, excuse me. Well done on first lander. Except it was on cooldown, but that's fine. So a second. There was a lot before all the issues went bang. Um, but hello, hello neck. Um, uh, hello yes, wonderful. Hello Jas. Uh, hello, Zam. Yeah, first lack is make the stream work. Good. Success! Fear wins. Um, wonderful. Mythic OBS mechanics. I wonder who win that lack. Fear. Fear wins that lack. Fear fixed it. Whoa! Uh, start chanting hello, crud. Oh, uh, can't patient time for stream technology. <laughs> nah, none of that. Smack it till it works. No. <laughs> you can't smack a program. You can smack the computer, but that doesn't always help. Sometimes it's a program, not the computer. So so that's a problem. Uh, everyone do the thing. Yes. Indeed. Hello, Desia. Uh, wisely gambling. Oxymoron. Indeed. Well done, Zam. Another one goes in. Oh, no. New chair today. Yay for new chairs. Uh, come to work with me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, Fade. Good times into you, too. Hey, Chaos. By the sun well. Ah! Meaty! Meaty, thank you so much for the resub. Late walking, a little new start of streaming. Exactly the right time. There you go. That's what the universe was messing with my stuff for. Brilliant. Good to hear it. Brilliant. Nice. Thank you. There is light. There is. Makeup, thank you. Uh, in terms of mount makeup, um, where's my, where's the button? There's the button. So, I have charcoal grey on my lids. I have black in my crease. And there is just a touch of brown 
under here, but when I turned the camera on, I realized you couldn't see it. So I put brown lipstick on instead. So that's gray, black, and brown. Have fun. I own it. And it's a ground mount. Have fun. Uh, right now. <laughs> oh, dear. So bad. I was streaming a few weeks ago. She was very chaotic. I love it. I don't. It stresses me out. When nothing's working quite the way I need it to, it stresses me the hell out. But thank you very much for the compliments, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, we're adjacent to an F. We were for a second there. Every so often, it's kind of dropping and getting a little bit hinky, but it's only for like a second or two every little while. It's kind of... Yeah, I... I I've literally unplugged and replugged slash disconnected, reconnected everything I possibly can. At this point, it's like, like I, I legit can't do anything. So I've got a tab open to contact support. Um, so all I need to do after stream is grab the log file from OBS and drop it in the ticket and then send it. Um, and hopefully they'll be able to give me, yeah, it's just dropped again for half a second, like literally a second or two and then another one. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Oh, no, nope, we're gone completely. Are we though? Yes, no, maybe dropped a little bit. Oh, for God's sake. I'm gonna yank the cable again. Oh, oh I was gonna show you, but I, I can't show you. Oh, now I'm at 15,000. Kabips, that's not right. Am I back? Oh, I threaten. I threaten to pull the plug. I'm holding the router. I threaten to pull the plug and it writes itself. I think we found what works. I think we found what works. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely terrible and ridiculous. What the hell is going on? The only thing I can think of is that there's like maintenance going on on my node or something like that. Although why they do that on a long weekend, um, mm. ah, it is not the grey riding camel. Hello, Lucky. Sorry, this is my usual almost vibrato. Ah, uh, just like me again, see if it works. Just like what you speak. You are play here. Welcome on in, Blade. Enjoy. Let's see, you're fantastic. Hello, Panda. Awesome. Thank you, Lucky. Dark War Talbot, noob. Can I ask questions or things I mean? I want to learn. Of course. Not a worry. In fact, we're still on. Yeah, kibibs. Yeah, the KB per second. It's kibibs. Just, just accept it, okay? It's technical speak. It's the technical term. It's kibibs. Um, <laughs> Internet just completely dropped. Well, my, I didn't get booted from WoW. But the moment I picked up the router, my, my everything, the bitrate went, would you? And it was fine. And I'm like, yeah. So it's, look, <laughs> just, <laughs> just have him stand here for six hours, just at the router. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Black Dragon Turtle, no. No, it is not. Where is the outage map? Is the net there we are at network status? Enter my postcode. Number 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 number. Oh, my number lock is on. Number 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 number. That's so cool. No, nothing's nothing since ten months ago. Support pages. This is why I'm convinced it's Twitch, because our internet is Usually fine. It knows. It does. It does. Ha! Huh, and now what? Hang on. No, we dropped for a second and now we're back. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. Um. Ah, oh, it's not the core contract or not. We. Okay, I'm gonna get this kicked off. Uh, we'll see how we go. Um. 
No, that's the wrong thing. I want this one. Appraiser. Hearts. Mana. Tombs. Uh, except we're going to just, yeah, I think, look, we'll set it at 40 minutes just because we're only starting them at like half past. We're supposed to start like at four. Ethernet cable be too old? No. This one's a, quite a new one. Um, no, that is not the issue. Uh, great, great task. No. What is a loot appraiser challenge? It is a thing with an add-on. If you Google loot appraiser challenge, it is specifically an add-on and it will tell you all about itself. There's like a lot. <laughs> Sorry, it's not something I could really explain in, t in its entirety uh, on stream. The world being can disconnect to correct. Yeah, it wouldn't just be a stream issue. It'd be a whole connection issue. Uh, okay. Am I appearing online? I am. Oh my God. Look at that, you guys. I actually prepared myself. Um, it's magic. Uh, pop this one. Oh, it's going to be behind here, isn't it? It is phenomenal. We're going to hide those. Oh, and the zone drop. Um, but I'm going to start on heroic. Um, and if you would like to, you can do the same. I'm going to start on heroic and then hop down to normal. Um, so we're looking to run his business, take care of his button. Totally fine. Where is this time? Blackpaw, no. Did I realize it was Sunday stream? Where did the weekend go? Uh, out the window, I believe. Out the window. I have not myself you used to stream to Twitch. I get that problem, so I had to switch. Do you mean the streaming software blade? So the streaming platform I use is Twitch. Um, the streaming software I use is OBS Studio. Think you figured out the issue? I'm gonna come say hi. We might have the solution, but we'll see how we go for the next 10 minutes or so. <clears throat> All right. Mm. Um, it's so good. The OBS. I've been using OBS Studio for six years. It's perfectly fine. It's, it's perfectly fine. Unless they have changed something in an update that has defaulted a setting that has broken something, it is not OBS. And the, the likelihood that they've done that is pretty slim because, you know, they, they work like they, <laughs> the whole purpose of their software is to connect to Twitch. Um, there are a lot of streaming software, like streaming programs out there that chew a lot of, um, like CPU, uh, like chew a lot of CPU, but the issue I'm having isn't in relation to CPU. Um, it's in relation to actual like network connectivity, um, which is either my internet or it's Twitch servers or, you know, something like that. Um, so I'm going to open a support ticket with Twitch uh, after stream and send them my log file and we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, Streamlabs, uh, Streamlabs sucks. <laughs> Streamlabs is uh, streaming software sucks. It's terrible. It's really, really bad. It's full of bloat. It chews through CPU like nobody's business. It's utter shit. And that is coming from somebody who uses a hell of a lot of Streamlabs things here and there. My chatbot is Streamlabs. All of my, my like this thing up here and, and my alerts and everything, all of that is Streamlabs. The software that they have for streaming is utter trash. Like I cannot emphasize how much it sucks. Um, don't use it. It's horrid. Uh, but yeah, OBS Studio is kind of pretty much one of the gold standards for like years now. Mm. Uh, so don't forget to do it. Me too. Me too, meaty. Just casually jump off from the window. I know, right? It's like, come back here. I need you. <laughs> Way too early for it's all good. Microwave has been doing unkind things to Wi-Fi recently. The microwave is not running. Um, also, I am not on Wi-Fi, um, <laughs> but 
Good to know. Good to know. Uh, when I have my wireless headphones and I, I'm standing in front of the microwave and I turn it on, it gets like crackly thing, but it's it's like high pitch crackling that feels like people putting pins in my eardrums. So I have to leave. Um, but yeah, no, uh, <laughs> don't do that. Is bad. Uh, last week he's jumped out of the window. Oh no, elusive quick off. No, it was hard to use. It kept crashing midstream. I was like, nah, go back to old faithful OBS. Yeah, no, Streamlabs is crap. Utter, utter, utter trash. Anytime anyone says, oh, I'm having trouble. I'm like, which one are you using? Streamlabs? And I'm like, look, my recommendation is to not use Streamlabs. I can't help you beyond that because I just can't. I've used it once. It was a terrible experience. It it just, my, my CPU used to shut up to the point that WoW wasn't running properly. And WoW is a bloody old game. <sighs> like, if WoW's not running properly, I have no idea how stuff with, like, pumped up kicks would go. Like, no. No. And there were so many parts of the program, like, you know, encourage your users to use bits to put a mask on your face. And I'm like, I'm never going to use that, but I can't uninstall the piece that does that. So it's sitting there waiting for bits, waiting for me to set it to do something. And I just, I can't get rid of it. It's terrible. It's just utter crap. Um, utter, utter, utter crap. All right, let's kick this off because if I keep waiting for much longer, then it's going to be a thing. Ready, check. Let go. This is so much easier to use to. It is, yeah. If you sit down and actually work with it for a bit um, and like take your time getting everything where you want it, it's brilliant. You just have to have the patience to sit down. Like the very first time I set up OBS, it took me eight hours. Eight, six, six I don't remember. It was either eight or six hours. It was six years ago, um, coming up on six and a half. So like, yeah, but it was, I, I, and then every, from there, I've only had to do like little tweaks here and there to things that I wanted, but that whole big time spent setting it up was just beautiful. Uh, we're just waiting on Meaty and then we can start the challenge. Um, if we don't hear back in a, in a minute or two, I might just start and then Meaty can join in uh, when they get back. Yes, there we go. Fantastic. Let's go. Oh, is there quests here? There absolutely are. should do these because sometimes they have transmog at the end okay what is i always forget what the oh it's it's the birdie one yep good hey ding like dings uh good luck thank you i remember from streamlabs controversy drama happened a couple months ago stealing shit from some laps um uh what was ah axiom thank you so much for the cheer, very much appreciated. Very generous of you. Um, yeah, so Streamlabs has like so many different options, like so many different little things that they offer. And a lot of it, they seem to have, I mean, they've obviously been inspired. Like most of their stuff has been inspired by other developers and things like that. But they had one particular issue where they copied and pasted the entire website. Like even the like placeholder text in each of the boxes, they didn't bother changing that. My, my, like, you know, faith in humanity wants to believe that they, it wasn't a, a mistake. And it was like, you know, the, the random intern that, that accidentally pressed go on the website early or something like that. But, uh, yeah, they also asked OBS Studio if they could call their software Streamlabs OBS. And they said no. And they did it anyway. So that bit, also not good. Um, a lot of it, like, a lot of the stuff that they did, you could, like... There are, there, are, there are ways that it could be conceivably excused as just another part of doing business. Like, you know, companies are going to, as long as you don't have your idea um, trademarked or patented, other companies are going to adopt things that you've done that is a good idea. But um, there, are, there are a couple of things that just can't be excused by, like, that's business, buddy. Um, so, yeah... Weird, I'm not getting lack invites. Oh, if you, you do, you do need to have me on your on your friends list. Um, that might be a thing. If you had yourself as appearing offline for multiple months, I may have removed you. Not like really looking at the username, just kind of remove kind of thing. Uh, so check that I'm on your friends list. And if I am on your friends list, you can right click me, go down to the bottom where it says Ludopraiser Challenge, and click Send Request for Invite at the very very bottom, and it will automatically add you to the the thing. Um, Hope Crusher Gargan knows who's with magic while you're chatting. All good. Um, 
What class are you playing, by the way? At the moment, Shaman, but my main is a mage. It's all good. Okay, well, yeah, that's, like, if if it flaps out somewhere, you that's how you add yourself, um, if your add-on's misbehaving. Um, little donkey, new. Isn't sinking, apparently. Uh, yeah, that'll be a desktop issue. Like, there, yeah. We've, like, in the last couple of Sundays, we've been through pretty much every potential issue you could be having with these add-ons. Um, so, um, as long as you've been there for them, you should have all the fixes you'll need to, uh, sort out your shit. It's all good. Some when I was on the stream, I kept getting them. Well, there you go. It just gave up on you, channel. It's like, nah. Bugger this. Clearly unwanted. <laughs> did I? Oh, I didn't get any. I did get something from the first boss, though. A uh, transmog piece. And I think it was the last thing I needed from... I can't see it anymore. There's too much trash and too many uh, rep gains. Ha! Um, but I don't have anything else that I need from... Is it Pandemonious? Whatever, whatever that first boss's name was. Uh, so that's good. Progress. Hey Kylie, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. I hope you can say the same. Fair. Oh dear. Silly programs. Do they not know what, like, come on. They should just know exactly what you want to do and when. You should read your mind. Actually, no. We don't want programs to read our minds. That would be terrifying and bad, probably. Ping. I'm getting a few of those today. Is Shaman difficult? I uh, wouldn't know. Um, I play all of my alts with uh, Gnome Sequencer Enhanced, which is another add-on um, that allows you to write essentially one button macros. Um, so you press a button, it does an action. You press the same button again, it does another action, um, which is they're okay with Blizzard Toss because botting means you, you set it up and it automatically goes through all of the actions, whereas with this one it won't take another action unless you press the button. Um, but because there are 36 oh, specs sunny. in the game... Cat, Thank you so much for the resub! Eight months! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Eight months. What is this? Hope you're having a lovely day. You must me. Um, yeah, so because there are 36 specs in the game, and my brain doesn't work in a way that's gonna allow me to do that, <laughs> like allow me to learn all those specs, um, I uh, grabbed myself an add-on to help me out with it. Um, and it's never gonna be as good as somebody playing like with their own reflexes and stuff, and that's that's fine by me. I don't need it to be awesome, I just need it to be able to kill things. <laughs> like by myself, I mostly do solo content, so yeah. Uh, amazing. Thank you, Josh. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, also, what shaman? Uh, enhancement. Yes, enhance. Oh, box off and that's drunk a change. Fantastic. Uh, it's Pira that I'm playing at the moment, though. Uh, is the character's name. Uh, Mudback River Beast. No. Looks like Enhance. It is indeed. Keep getting to get the key from the quest to unlock your... Yeah. I need to... I need to do that. But not today. <laughs> not today. Use the key to help with specs I'm not familiar with. Fantastic. There you go. Another option. Brilliant. Hello, Tick. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Thank you so much, Siki. Yes, absolutely. If you're not already following me on Instagram, I would really, truly appreciate the follow. You, you might not think it's as helpful as it is, but I, I promise you, it is like a massive, massive, massive help in terms of getting me towards full-time streaming. Uh, it's where the brand deals are, and brand deals mean money eventually, and uh, money means bills are paid, which means I can stream. So if that's something you would like to see, it, it takes all of about 15 to 20 seconds. You can either type exclamation socials into chat 
And you get a link and you can click that link and there's a wibbly wobbly one that is that is Instagram. You can follow that as well. Or you can scroll down underneath the video player and if you go all the way to the right hand side just near chat it'll say Instagram. Uh, and you can click that and it'll take you straight to my Instagram profile where you can click the follow button as long as you're logged in already. Um, so yeah, if you could, that'd be amazing. All other socials, indeed. Indeed. Ooh! Pretty. Not very valuable, but pretty. Following is a free way to support streamers, makes a huge difference to them. It really does. Not just me. This is for any content creator that you really love to watch. Following them on their social media profiles helps more than you know. Like, genuinely. Hey, Chaotic. Nelson is actually the only show I respect the others are fake news. Uh, look, the UI begs to differ. Um, only 31 to go. Oh my god, really? 31 till the golden 1000? Holy cow. <gasps> and then we gotta stay there. Then we gotta stay there and go, keep going up. One step at a time, though. One step at a time. Who to ask your significant other grandma, mother, milkman to follow to? Oh gosh. That's so sweet of you. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Are you blessed by your IG? Thank you, Kylie. I appreciate that. Uh, Obsidian Crow ask, no. Brands look at your IG when considering partnerships. I thought stream views is all they considered. Absolutely not, especially in Australia. Twitch is super, super, super undervalued in Australia, which is why Australians don't get very many different types of ads on Twitch, because not many Australian companies actually think it's worthwhile investing their advertising dollars in the platform. Um, the, like, in Australia, if you're an influencer, you're on Instagram. Twitch is nothing. Australia does not give a flying fuck about Twitch streamers. Uh, YouTubers, uh, a bit more, a bit more. Um, but Instagram is where it's at for, for, uh, for Aussies. And trying to convince an American company that I'm worth their cash is not a thing. <laughs> like, very, very few. Unless it's an Australian branch of an American company, like Logitech ANZ. You know, Logitech G ANZ is, um, like, because that's their Australian New Zealand arm, they look for Australians and New Zealanders to, to join up with. Uh, but if it was an American company, nah. They've got so many far more influential people in their own country, and it's going to cost them less to ship them products. There's not going to be any bloody conversion fees on invoices, all that kind of stuff. It's just so much easier for them to stick with their own country. Uh, Kia, thank you so much for the resub. Oh my goodness. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Uh, so that Instagram is a major source of online deal income for people. It is, absolutely. Absolutely. The whole platform is built for sales as well, so it's kind of, yeah. Uh, great way to sort of something for free! Absolutely! All it takes is a couple clicks. And it means the world to those influencers. Wish me luck. 21 streets. Best of luck, Jack. I hope you smash it. Also supporting them with your monthly sub here, of course. I mean, you know, if you can. Always appreciated. Always grateful. Good morning, Kia. Hello! And thank you again. This is just Warwolf new Prime sub. My goodness. Welcome to the Fianati. Welcome, welcome. It wasn't so much in the stream. It says makes tiny streaming so much more daunting. Lucky I've been doing it for six years. Like, starting out, you're not gonna, like... Unless you're, like, in the industry, somebody who is fresh starting out is not... You, you can't expect these kind of results in, in not like, do you know what I mean? It's not gonna... Yeah. You'll be fine. I've learned all these things slowly and gradually. Trying to learn it all at once before you even get started is not recommended. Just go live, have fun with it, and if you genuinely have fun and you're happy with your growth after like six months or so, that's when you start looking at actually, like it took me, I think it took me about eight months, eight to nine months before I kind of said, you know what, I could actually make a go of this. And that was just like more, making it more than a hobby. It took me eight or nine months to just say, this could possibly be more than a hobby one day. And then it took me two or three years after that to say, actually, no, I want to be a Twitch partner. And then it took me a good two years after that to actually become a Twitch partner. This shit is slow. 
this shit is slow. You've got to start somewhere. Seeker, Cauldron, Dano, and Luzza, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. Well done. If you try, if you go live and you try to focus on all the stuff that I am talking about now in your first couple months, you will burn out and that's it. Done. Finished. Like you just, you, <laughs> to be, to be totally blunt, you won't survive it. You won't survive it. Not unless you've got an actual team behind you, like, or in the industry or something like that. Um, as you, as you get used to doing one thing and it becomes less of a job, like as, you know, once you go live and you're super, super comfortable with going live and it's just nothing, you just flick it on, you do your thing, you turn it off, you're good. That's when you add the next thing. And then once that becomes not a job anymore, once that becomes just part of the natural thing that you do every day, then you add the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. If you try to do everything from the start, you will get fucked. Like you will just completely fuck yourself over. No point. As I am a gracious host, Slow burn. Not an explosion. Um. Uh, ba ba ba. I don't know why people let me take a rep to high keys, but I'm not complaining. Because you, cause you're awesome, Jack. Because you're awesome. Dear person producer, so he's so daunting. Um, also, if I get so dehydrated, though, yeah. You gotta take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Another Catch up to me. Hydrates. <laughs> Black war quarter, no. For enough, please know what I said. Was not meant to be anyway. Shut a hyper task. Nope. Mount face Blackpool. Nope. Uh, this will help for me. Like, not taking your chance. Progress. Really appreciate it. Yeah, just, just like take it easy, little bit by little bit. Just remember six years six years five and a half years to partnership baby steps uh stone had elder horn nope nope uh where's my button there's my button in we go again <sighs> Remember, if anyone wants to join us halfway through, you're absolutely welcome to do so. You just need to add me to your friends list. Let me know that you've done so, because I don't get the like the notification noises that someone has added me. I've got those turned off because they were annoying me. <laughs> Let me know you've added me. I'll add you back, and then you can add yourself to the challenge at any point. Um, otherwise, you can always wait until the next one. We are going to do a loop, a clockwise loop of the um, Terraka Forest Dungeons. In case you're wondering where we're going next. I don't remember what they're called. I just know we're going clockwise. Like clockwise on the map. On the world map. Uh, ba -ba, Swift, Zuli, and Panther. Yes. Why you know Ghost Wolf? Because I'm concentrating too much on chat. And I keep getting in and out and in and out and in and out. It's just getting annoying. I used to. And then I just, yeah, got annoying. That's alright. I don't really care so much about the, like... The lax is so that we can do it together, but I'm not, like, being super competitive, as you can probably tell. Six and eight and five and a half. Thank you, Lando. I'm glad. Um. Stream chat. Good morning, Sin. Go Seeker. Indeed. You get it? Yeah, it- look, you know what I'm like. I'm- I'm a terrible player. <laughs> I'm really bad. So, like, it's fine, right? It's totally fine. <laughs> Just clapped and got a quizzical look from husband. Brilliant. What's your number? Love that for you. That's so good. Get in the zappy thing. Hello, watching. The quizzical looks. Got the septum nexus friends. Hey, fantastic. Yeah, I've got such a big list. This is the the dungeon that triggered this round. Um, so I was on like thirty something percent completion. So I have. Uh, yeah. I have quite a few to go, as you can see. Quite a few to go. Uh, 97. 970 followers on you. Oh my god, 970 followers. Holy cow. 
every 10 feels like its own little milestone. And it's amazing. I love it. Ah, oh, it's so Ah, ah, my my meeting with the with the marketing manager tomorrow. I'm going, did I go backwards? I absolutely bloody did. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Ghost wolfing it up. Bloody hell. Um, yeah, I'm having my meeting with her tomorrow. I'm so excited and also nervous. I feel like I'm gonna sit down. She's like, okay, so you're doing everything wrong. Uh, but hey, if I am doing everything wrong, bloody hell, I want to know about it so I can do it right and get us some growth. But we'll see. I'm so excited. Feeling digging your Sunday live streams? I mean, look, they're going pretty well. They're going pretty well. So it was 97. Good. Let me... Ah, uh, 30 to go! Yes! Nice, isn't it? Awesome. I'm very much looking forward to it. And I'm absolutely going to pay for her coffee because she won't let me pay her for the, like, the first session. So I'm going to buy her her coffee. No matter how big and, and fancy and customized it is. We're not going to, like, a Starbucks or anything, so it can't be that complicated, truly. Um. <laughs> I'm going to get me a chai. It's going to be delicious. And I'm going to try really hard to not focus on how delicious the chai is. I'm going to take notes, all of the notes. I'm on 30% here. It's also because of time walking. The, the time walking ones share appearances as well, though. So when you get something on heroic, it crosses that same item off time walking and normal too. So that's the bit that I love about it is that every piece is like 10% or something ridiculous, like nearly 10% just from one item. Except this place also has the really stupid long quest chain from Netherstorm. So that that really hurts the completion score. Um, I'm probably going to have to unfortunately go through and do that quest on a bunch of tunes, maybe on one of each armor type, I think. Kind of like the kind of like the seat of the triumvirate thing where it was like that hour and a half or two hours worth of questing for one like for the ensemble, except here it's for one bloody piece. Uh, <laughs> But that does also, I think that also opens up the summon here for your, I think. I don't remember. It's been a long time since BC. Have I, have I mentioned that? Uh, all right. Ooh. Just. Tika Mika Rina. There you are. Okay. Just wanted to check because I think this is a double up key. I just want to make sure I haven't given it to you before, but it doesn't look like I have. Uh, you are getting Warhammer 40k. I want to say Mechanicus. It looks like the word Mechanicus. Look, you can you can decide what you think that says, but it's a it's a Warhammer 40k game. Enjoy. Congrats, those things are valuable. Well done. It looks like the word mechanicus, but because it's like just a C, it could be a soft C, but that would make it mechanicus, and that just sounds wrong. So, so I think it's mechanicus. Um, a yes. Uh, even uh you're doing everything wrong be helpful exactly exactly if i'm doing it wrong tell me so i can stop wasting my time on it like oh yeah i would love to love to like if i'm gonna like slog away look socials is my least favorite part of streaming it's i find it really quite uh, a, a time a journey to get to gather content for a post every day and grab clips to post on on tiktok and insta like all that kind of stuff it's a real job like it's a real slog so um for me like i know there are other people who that's like their favorite part of it but for me it's it's just not um and so if i am putting that much effort into it, effort into it and it's all wrong i would very much like to not waste those hours every month every, anymore because yeah that'd be good so uh yeah fingers crossed i'm i'm hoping i'm at least doing a couple of things right um, or I've posted enough things that she can look at my analytics and say, okay, this is what is working for you. We should do more of this and less of that, but we'll see. There's only like, there's only going to be one way to, uh, find out and that's to sit down and talk with her. Um, 
And, you know, if, if I want to do a follow up in a couple months, once I've, you know, take, taken on her advice and done a few things, um, maybe she can give me rates for another sit down in, in a few months to see how it's improved. But we'll, we'll see. Like, I don't know how this stuff works because I've never done it before. I'm really excited. Really excited. Look at the right side of you doing everything wrong. Some easy things you can change your room. Exactly, Kia. Exactly right. Absolutely. Hey, Shadow. So we're watching. No, you never need to apologize. Just to be clear, nobody ever needs to apologize for not being here. Like, this is entertainment. Would you apologize to your television for watching an episode of a TV show? No. Don't don't ever feel like you need to apologize to any streamer for not being there. That's bullshit. Don't don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, wish my husband. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. Well, hopefully everything is you know relatively clean and as painless as it can be. Um. I know there are there are messy ends and there are there are somewhat cleaner ends and I, I hope that hope that everything moves a little smoothly for you so that it can just you know so you can get some closure and and do the rebuilding and whatever it is that you need to do yeah first check on Friday fantastic congratulations on the new job amazing well done at the end of the tunnel yes absolutely I'm on completionist mode well. With all the love in the world, matey, that's your problem. Like, <laughs> with all the love in the world, nah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Good on you. Good on you for attacking it, though. Far out. You're very welcome, Blood for the Blood God. Wow, shiny. There are some very shiny games on that list. Very shiny games. Uh, it's gonna love that. Brilliant. I said it right. Awesome. I'm so glad. You just like when you come across words like that that are obviously like part of a particular fandom, I never want to like piss anyone off by like saying it wrong. So it's always good to hear that I'm actually getting it right by just kind of guessing. The only thing I don't like about Shaman is that the AoE just takes so long to come off cooldown. And I guess, yes, that is correctly how, that is exactly how it's spelt, Tick. That doesn't help me phonetically, though. Uh, hello, Kaz. And Warhammer, yes! Warhammer, indeed. This is a pretty cool game. Nice. I'm so glad to hear it. Have her own personal marketing manager? I don't know. Um, I have a day job uh, that has a marketing department, and the person I'm meeting is our ex marketing manager for the company. Uh, and I reached out to her on a personal note and said, "Hey, I, I know you've mentioned that you've done consulting work for, for other individuals and businesses before. What would it cost me?" And she said, "I'd be happy to take a look, and then we'll see where we go from there." So that's what we're doing on Monday. Tomorrow we're having a look. And then after we have a, a discussion, we will see where we go from there. But no, I wish I had a bloody marketing manager because good lord, I hate that stuff. Like, it's... Look, I have fun with the numbers and the data and seeing what works and what makes it go up and all that kind of stuff. But I've been playing around with it for a year. And when I started, obviously, I like when I started really focusing on it a year ago, I saw a big jump in engagement and followers and all that kind of And that's great, you know, that's what you want to do. But it hasn't really gone anywhere since then. So I'm not attracting any new, I've, ma I've maintained the people that I got in the beginning, but I haven't attracted any new people and I need to keep attracting those new people. So that's why I uh, asked if I could engage the services. Um, so we'll see how we go. Um, hopefully I'm not a completely lost cause and yeah. <laughs> I am in a very, very different market to anyone she's worked with before as far as I'm aware, uh, but when I, when I was talking to her over um, like at the Christmas party about what exactly it is that I do in terms of like the streaming and everything, she was very, very interested in it. Um, so yeah, look, hey, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Worst case, I go have coffee with a lovely person. Absolute worst case. Okay, sorry for being here. You, apology not accepted, Sam. Apology not accepted. And I have apologized my TV for watching stuff. I'm so sorry, I made you show <laughs> the, the guilty pleasure shows. 
Oh, honey, I've been watching Real Housewives of Georgia. Uh, look, if anyone had to apologize to their screens, it would probably have to be me. But good lord, that's sh oh, God, it's hilarious. It's terrible and hilarious. And then they had like some, like a reunion catch up y thing, and they were talking about how old they were. And I'm like, wait, that woman is my age? What? Ha yeah, I um, all of a sudden realized why people don't think I look my age. <laughs> because um, I look uh, quite a bit younger than she does. And that's fine. You know, it, I have very oily skin, I have great genetics, all that kind of crap, but like, oh good lord. Ooh! Shiny! Shiny. Uh, he's hoping I change my mind, which I won't. Yeah, look. Everyone's in denial for a little while when something big happens. Uh, like cataclysm. 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 <laughs> cataclysm. Good. That took me a second, but it's fine. Hope the mini bears good for a few. Me too. Me too. Hello, baked. How you going? Welcome back. Well, where is my fault? That's why I have different goals. No expectations of any in particular. I don't talk to you. If happy. It, it would make me happy too, Meaty. Absolutely, if I was on completion this Go you. Look at you. Yes. Yes. Yes, 50 cent is a noble achievement. Agreed, agreed. I'm trying to catch up. Oh, look, it's a raid. Good, makes it easier for me to catch up. Ah, uh, damn you, Zam, that lucky coin. There we go. Zam is raiding with that bloody lucky coin again. Enjoy, have fun. Best of luck. Not that you need it. Boop. Oh, it has my bag. Oh, my bags are full. Okay. I am thankful I checked. Woo. Reminder to everyone else doing the lack. Check your bags. <laughs> Step closer and don't mumble. Check your bags, check, check your bags, check, check your bags. Sell all of the crap. And some of the good stuff that you can't actually use. That's that's also valid. Not everything in the ocean this. is as good looking or nice mannered as I am. Tall and are adorable. I love their voice lines. They're so good. We've got just under 10 minutes to go. The next one we'll be hitting up will be Sethic Halls. The next dungeon will be Sethic Halls, but we've got just under 10 minutes to go for this one. <clears throat> you there. Come, join me in my zappy puddle. Okay. Um, just did a bag empty. Do you require any 32 slots? Uh, I don't know. Ah, uh, these are all 30 slots. But 30, 30 usually is more than enough for, for my alts and stuff. I think they've all got 30s. So you're making bank today. Yas. see. Lockbox. I like lockboxes. Maybe I should just cast at them all. Like, instead of trying to drop the bird down, just do chain lightning. It doesn't grab all of them. Look. Having some... Shamans are inefficient for this stuff. <laughs> like, realistically speaking. Is it cool? I don't already have it as well. There is. Um, but I think is it only I think it's only on heroic. This is from Anzu, but Anzu's in a heroic only boss, I'm pretty sure. Stream over 100 slots for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I think all 30s is fine, especially when you've been doing the garrison gold making thing and you made, like, I made so many hex weave bags and so for two weeks I just didn't sell any of them. I just equipped them on all 50 of my tunes. And then we done. Like, <laughs> too easy. And the heroic, yeah, that's what I thought. That's alright, it's still one shot. 
One is better than zero. Zap. It is three. That's a pain in the ass. Yeah, fair enough. Um, 50 tunes, why though? Because I want to? Because I can? Why do you not have 50 tunes? Yeah, I saw you post in Discord. That's awesome. Uh, like also cancel Chrome or as loot. Got additional 1k from that. Oh god. Oh dear. Well, yeah, it's because it's uncommon only. I don't think you can set it to like uncommon, but not crafting reagents or anything like that. Okay, yeah. Mountain, nice. Yeah, I I didn't know it was even a bonus boss when we killed it, and it dropped, and the druid in our group was very upset with me. Hey! Get stuff! Woo! Wait, was that actually a... No! It was a shared... Ugh, shared appearance. Because I'm like, why didn't my percentage go up? And that's why. Last week I had some really dodgy luck on some dungeons and then some really good luck on others. And I think we're going to have that same thing here again. But I'd really like this one to be the good luck dungeon. Because this is the one that's actually the lowest. I don't want to come back here on the shaman, like, super soon, you know? Bad. during the expansion. Fantastic. Final transmog. Oh, Zam. Well done. Congratulations. Nicely done. Look, honestly, I may be third on the leaderboards, uh, on the leaderboards, and I may not have gotten too many transmogs, but I did get a blue quality world drop shield that I didn't have that doesn't share an appearance with anything else so I would have had to have bought it eventually like yeah that's I'm pretty happy with that that's a pretty good score we are somewhat preoccupied right now but no matter as I am a gracious host the ethereum prison key the ethereum prison key you've got to do a quest chain in netherstorm prior to coming to the dungeon that's the one I was talking about earlier which was really annoying and I'm probably gonna go have to do it on a bunch of different tunes it's it's a long quest chain. I started doing it on one of my tunes and I just didn't. I, I just didn't. Oh, that actually was a new one. Fantastic. All right. I'm at bang on 50% for mana tombs. It could be worse. Uh, bonus for doing comp mode. I don't get those fake dings because all mine are new pieces. Absolutely. That's fair. That's fair. It's only one quest. Uh, okay. That's not what all of the guides that I've read have said. There's like a like a whole question. You gotta unlock the ability for the prison keys to drop and then come back and get it. I'm talking like the Zygor guide and the Wowhead guide and all that kind of stuff. It was all like an actual quest chain, not just one. No, no, it's not keys in general though neck it's a specific it's the it's the um shafar one to get you to spawn there's there's a there's an actual quest chain that one there you go there's your quest chain requirements Pop it up there so I can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, there's there's a set of requirements. It's not just one. <clears throat> I 
That was not actually new. Um, that was a shared appearance. I don't know why I'm getting fake tinkles. Like, I don't get it. Excuse me, very rude. How dare you. Thou shalt not charge. Hope you're having fun there, sheeps. This will be my last run, I believe. Because I run out of time <laughs> having fun once per hour. Yep, correct. No fun allowed in the other 59 minutes and 58 seconds. Whatever it is. Oh, I will take it. <clears throat> Is it going to make me send another scrap of fun and announce of serotonin? <laughs> Look, I try. Can't I can't make any guarantees though. I moved too soon. It's okay. Oh, there we go. End of the run. Zero seconds. Well done, Zam. 17,193. I came in second. That last drop pushed me through. My lord. 16,416 gold. Kill your fast in third place with 11,872. Um, keep in mind that if you would like for the leaderboard to show your Twitch name, you can do that on your settings panel in uh, Little Brazer Challenge. Uh, Team Neck with 11,661 gold earned. Uh, Meaty with 3,915. And Tapali on 22 gold. I believe that the add-on is potentially not set up correctly. <laughs> but I think we already knew that, so that's fine. Well done, y'all. We're going to Seth at Calls next. Uh... See you there when I finish up here. And empty your bags. Empty your bags. Trust me. There is a there is a town close by. It's northeast of the, the ruins uh, with a mailbox. Um, in case your KD stamp whistle is on cooldown or you don't have one, you can head up there to ship off any BOEs to a, um, a different tune if you so desire. Zamgratz, yeah, that's, um, it's a fair bit. It's a fair bit. Ah, it's my druid now, is it a faster? Totally fair. Totally fair. Yeah, look, you can use any, this is not a super competitive thing, there are no prizes up for grabs, it's just for fun and all that, so if you want to do it on a slow character so you can earn transmog, that's fine. If you want to do it on a druid because they are built for speed and built for, for Ludo Brazer challenges, you're also welcome to do that. It is entirely up to you how you run these, it's not some- Oh! What is this? Oh fucking- You must forgive me, but I was- Of course the time is finished. Of course the time is finished. Right now. But no matter, I am so happy. Am I'm so happy with that. I don't have to buy that on fear anymore. That is Enchant Boots Cat Swiftness. That is a world drop. Burning Crusade Boot Enchant. That was highly sought after back in the day. I never had it and now I'm going to have it and I'm very happy about that. That's wonderful. 
Um, wonder what unit's brain chemistry is measured in spec microliters and outs might be a huge overdose. <laughs> Oh, he hasn't set up his room on the app. Um, there are so many steps that he could have not done to, to have it um, not quite working like that. But yeah, you've got to follow the instructions for setting up the TSM desktop app. Uh, and don't skip any of them, because that is a new transmog, by the way. Um, not a not a fake one. Uh, yeah, if you skip any of them, it won't work. So you've got to make sure that you actually set it all the way up to be able to use it properly. Uh, how do you set up your Twitch name? Uh, I don't remember. It's just, it's in the settings. If you open up your interface and then go to add-ons and then go down to Ludapraiser Challenge, it's in there. Just have a look through all the settings and like actually read them and you'll find one and it'll be there. Let me get it further tonight. Uh, it takes all of about five minutes, but that's fine. Um, hmm. I've never received a like invite, so I didn't know there was an option there too. That's awesome. If you don't have a Katie, highly recommend getting her. Very useful. You can resell the item. You get another one after you get the toy. Oh yeah, she's awesome. She wasn't set up right, yeah. Oh, my bad. By the way, Corium are quite valuable. They are. They are. That too didn't get any Corium. Uh, I didn't find Corium either. I'm not a miner, so it's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. All right. Uh, I'm gonna s empty out my bags. I am actually. I'll just use Katie this time. I think. Greetings, sir. Uh, better reminder, thank you. Where are we now? Set the calls. Um, as I said, we're going clockwise. Uh, I've said it a, a few times now. Come back with some. Have not yet. Story. Have not yet changed my mind. Probably won't. Ready. Let's drink. Let's drink. It's food. Just equipping a couple things I had in my bags that were flagged as not yet learned. Maybe I don't think I put her in my honor. Oh, no, she is. Da da da. Bah. All right. Uh, Drys, Land RV, and Ali. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Onwards to the so next hard. one. Indeed. Board for life, yo. Oh my god, you guys. I read a whole bunch, like, I, I, okay, I didn't read intensely, but I, like, had a skim through a whole lot of the, um, uh, cosplay books that I bought from Humble, and I'm so excited, like, I really want to get cracking on trying to, to even start making this cosplay, but I'm, like, so, so nervous. I'm gonna do it very very slowly so i've been conversing with the the owner of the etsy shop who has the pattern for sale because uh the pattern is for someone of 165 to 175 centimeters i am 160 on a good day uh, <laughs> so um i'm like i i had a conversation with them to see if uh it can be adjusted and it can uh so that's the first step is going to be to buy that and then to print it up and see how many bits there are and like see if they're all gonna fit me like you know tape together the pieces of paper and see if they'll fit me uh, and then I'm gonna lay out I'm gonna buy one piece of foam to start with just one one meter by one meter piece of foam and make like a couple of pieces of the armor and put them together and see how I go and if I'm going well and I'm happy with the result then I'll make the rest of the thing otherwise I'll just leave it as a failed experiment um because, like, one piece of foam is not too expensive. I think it's, like, 20 bucks. But I don't know how many I'm going to need. So before I start chopping that one up, I can also lay out all my pieces to figure out how many I'll need in total, that kind of thing. Um, but, yeah, I'm... Because I have time for that, absolutely. Time for everything around here, haven't you heard? Uh, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
Nope, I broke it. Let's do that. Oh, I just noticed the shield. I have to equip that one as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eleven! Uh, the rogue can have the lockbox. And the warrior. This, I'm, I've started typing in the class rather than the actual character name, which is very not good. Um, can have the pole arm. Nope, I broke it again. Short life. You have the gold sink next to him. Mailbox or a bank on it. Yeah, we're also talking about having like the um the work orders for crafting on it because I don't think they're going to be a part of the auction house UI directly. Um, so yeah, that'd be kind of fun too. So you can like check work orders for uh, professions wherever you are. Wherever you are. Uh, okay, this is Sethic. Sethic halls. Pop me on heroic, and I'm gonna do a one of these. Oh, it's yeah. I always forget which one is which letter. Which letter is doubled up? Um, recent. There we go. Sure, you're gonna rock it. Ah, look. Not everything I try, I succeed at, and that's okay. That's okay. But I don't want to sink three hundred dollars into it and then fail. <laughs> like. 50, 60 bucks, I can, I can handle that. Like the, the pattern's gonna be, I think somewhere between 30, 35. The price keeps shifting. I think it's because the, it, the, it's listed in US dollars, but I'm purchasing an AU. So I think it just keeps shifting because of the exchange rate or something. Um, so, and then this, the fur, and then there's paper. Um, printer ink is fine. Cause I have refill kits for that. Um, but the, the foam, yeah, 20 bucks for the first sheet. And then there's like contact cement. And then there's um, a flex bond, which is this, the primer for the paint. And then there's the paint. Then there's a top coat, et cetera, et cetera. And then there's like attaching it to me and everything. So it's it's gonna add up. And if I try buying everything right at the beginning, I will screw it up. I know I will. This way, if I do it like little bit by little bit, I feel like I'll be, like if I come across and I go, actually, I can't do this. Like this is a this is a skill that I simply cannot do. I'm not. This is not working. Then I can give up and not have had like yeah, three hundred dollars or so sunk into it. Um, I'm going to try. I'm going to definitely keep track of how much I spend. That's easy. Um, I'm going to try to keep track of how much time I spend on it. But I'm really not. Look, I don't know. We'll see. I have a feeling I'm going to do a little bit here and a little bit there, and that'll be really difficult to track, just like the little experimental bits that I try. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Ooh, quests. Okay. Ah, we ready. Let's find out. You know, great. Bank holding Dragon Mat could be raid AF and DF because Dragon Horde. I bet makes most sense. Uh, you know, generally supplies you're short. I didn't, I don't know why. Uh, it's, I, I think it's probably like, you would have been surprised to find out I was tall or short. It's kind of like everyone sort of assumes that everyone else is roughly their size until proven otherwise. Cause that's your reference for the size of human. If that makes sense. I have a feeling that's what it is. Cause I always like, I'm always shocked when people are like tall, but usually tall is average height to me so it's sort of I'm 5'3 like I'm not I'm not teeny tiny but I'm also not like tall <laughs> all right we're ready let's go three two one now you guys like my countdowns aren't they fantastic yes follow fear on the socials particularly Instagram help me 
realize my dream of full-time content creation by, I know, right, ridiculous, taking 20 seconds to click follow on Insta. I know, it's, look, I, I know, I'm surprised too. Unfortunately, it is an actual fact. It will actually legitimately help me. And I appreciate you. Hi, Scarlet. Stop breaking things, always. I mean, never, I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's how bad, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> Tearsome loves to glitch on my link, it does. It does, it does it a lot, like a lot, a lot. Especially when I'm trying to send like bags of stuff all at once. I wish I could, uh, is it postal? That's the whole like alt click to attach similar items. I wish they worked together. Good Lord, I wish they worked together. Set up to auto mail, yeah. Auto mail, if it leaves things in your bags, you gotta hit the clean, if you sort bags and then hit it again, it'll send whatever it missed. Hot tip. Hot tip, I do it with my cards all the time. Like if, when I'm making um, uh, the card moments from the garrison crafting, if it misses a few, if I sort bags and then I hit send again, it sends the rest of them. Every time. Um, needs two items from here. Don't forget heroic, I am on heroic. Um. Just not right this second. Um, so people in chat's heights. Ah, uh, look. Look. Of course, don't don't feel like you have to participate. Cause um, stuff and things. Uh, such fantastic timer. Come back here, you verb person. It's not a verb person. That's an actual verb. It's fine. Did they frequently see some? Yeah, she was about 50 centimeters and I give shade previously. <laughs> Sheeb's actual Sheba, correct. Yes. Yes. I'm pretty happy with my height, honestly. I don't think I'd change it at all. Not even like, like you know, if I if I grow a centimeter or two here or there or shrink or whatever, like I don't think that's gonna bother me. But like, I'm pretty happy with my height. I've gotten seriously no greens. This is unbelievable. This is this is this is horrible. Seven close five nine. So you're just a touch, or oh, a bit more than a touch. You're a little shorter than Jas, not by much. Okay, maybe asking for help reaching stuff now. Yep, absolutely. There we go, my first green. No, no, two greens, and they're both worthless. Oh, no, okay, I lied. The first one was 260. Still, this is low scoring affair. I Now that I remember it, there was two of the dungeons here were just trash for actually earning gold. And I, can't, I think this must have been one of them, hey? That's alright, though. You get in transmog. <sighs> Excuse me. Buy so much with 49 gold. Yeah, but can you? Can you really? Uh, Jazz six foot is my guess. Oh, look, it's an Anzu. Um. Oh, and we're getting, we're getting spirit shards. Fantastic. I 10,000% get my heart from Jazz side. Mom's side are really short. Yeah. Wild Anzu appears, right? Yep, it's pretty much. 
I didn't get the Graves of Desolation though, so... It sucks. I just really hope next week I'm maybe not doing BC Dungeons. That'd be nice, you know? That'd be nice. But... That'd be nice. What are the items I needed? Ah, oh, fantastic! I think I got none. I don't think I got any of the items I needed. That's fine! Ah, we go to normal. Instance limit. Oh no! Oh, Zam. So far, it's great. Awesome. Awesome. What am I at? Seven for nine minutes. I'm getting close, but I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. So we can't have transfer guns. Oh no. Oh no. I mean your reset instances button on loot appraiser does help in a small way, but it's not I found that it's not as accurate as uh saved instances. Like if you hover over that, it'll tell you like how long you've got till those unlock. May I have my Sky Hunter Swift boots? I may! Yay! Yay. Pass nicely and you get your transmog, apparently. Can I also make a small suggestion when doing this, like use region market value instead of global sale average? No. No. Um, market value isn't an accurate representation of how much you're actually going to get for it. That's why I've been using sale average ev like every time I do lax. Um, yeah. There is a reason. I want to know how much I can actually get by selling all the stuff I get rather than like what I, what I have expected to get rather than um, the because stuff that sits at market, just because it's been up there, like people keep posting it at 50k, doesn't mean it's going to sell at 50k. Like, ever. So it results in nice pretty big numbers for the screenshots and stuff, but it's just inaccurate. Useful for some uh, applications, but not for mine. Some data is provided, but um, yeah. So much, how much luck selling the transmog items? Yeah! Yeah, um, this week I think I made roughly 50k, I want to say. Yeah, Fia is sitting on 1 point, uh, sorry, 3.13 million now. Um, I had quite a few sales this week, it was really good. 
really good. There was one day I logged in and had 25k sitting in my bag, uh, in my in my mailbox, and then another day I had 19k. Uh, so yeah, it is selling, which is fantastic. Sometimes it doesn't, obviously. Like, you know, there are some days where you log in and there's not much, and then there's other days where it's like, whoa. Um, but yeah, this week just gone, I've had a ton of sales, which feels really, really good. Um, but that's not what I'd kind of, I wouldn't expect to be getting that much every week. Um, yeah, I must have just gotten some like particularly wanted drops, which I'm very happy about. Very happy about. too lazy on my part I guess yeah if you if you set TSM like TSM does take a little while to set up the first time but then once it's set up um like all I tend to go through and do like if I go into groups and I go into transmog and then I go to base item because I don't want the of the blah 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 and of the blah 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 like I'm I'm very very basic when I do my stuff I know that certain suffixes sell better and all I don't care um so that's transmog uh that's the only transmog in my bag at the moment so I just add and that's it and then I do my scan and it'll post that item as well now. That's even though it's a new item. So yeah, once you've got your group set up, the maintenance is super easy. It's just that first push of actually getting the group set up. It takes a bit. I got a new one! Yay! Greaves of Desolation. I'm making a ton off of ZM Greens for some reason. Yeah, because they're fairly new and I'm guessing people don't want to go farm them up themselves. And some of them are really funky looking. Like some of them look amazing. We're going to aim to sell it as pure transmog, not as an upgrade. Oh, absolutely. No one's buying fucking Greens as, a tra as an upgrade. Good Lord. Like why? Even if you're, if, like, if you're buying Greens while you're leveling as an up, no. Like... You're going to replace it in like 20 minutes as you level. Like that's just silly. So yeah, no, I sell it as transmog 100%. Uh, I think about how I play and kind of, I mean, I know not everyone plays like I do, obviously. And there are people who twink at, at low levels and stuff like that. And so they'll be, they will buy blues and greens of specific types, but like they are such a small portion of the player base that I just don't care. Um, I think probably the most people buying greens are buying them to disenchant for the mats, to be honest. Um, or buying them for transmog. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that works for me. I still, like, don't get me wrong. I don't get, like, hundreds of sales every day or anything like that. It's not, it's not bonkers. But it does make it a lot cleaner to just, like, empty mailbox, fill up my inventory, do a, do a post scan, post all the items. Fill my bags from the mailbox, do a post scan post the auctions. Like it's, it's really easy to do. Time consuming. Yes. I have like six, 700 items that go up every day. Um, but I don't lose money any day. I make enough sales each day to cover at the very least the, the posting fees. Um, so yeah, uh, it's, um, it makes it brainless. It means that I don't have to actually focus when I'm trying to get it done, if that makes sense. Uh, two minutes off timing the 20. Oh my god, Jack, that's so close though. That's so good. Um, I have the Villa Synexia TSM groups. Perfect, there you go. Like, yeah, there are there are hundreds of YouTubers that have their own groups advertised on, on all that kind of stuff. Um, Twitch streamers and stuff as well, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, I just... Eh. Nice and easy to maintain. Just, it's transmog, stick it in the transmog group. Oh. I do buy them while leveling, always wonder why. I guess some tertiary stuff would be worth it. Those putting together specific things. Yeah, look, look, each to their own. Like, they're more than welcome to do that, but I, I can't imagine that most players are doing that. Um, that just seems, especially once you've got a couple tunes and you're using your heirlooms, like, the heirlooms just outlevel them really quickly. And maybe, maybe your heirlooms will be subpar in terms of stats for a level or two. But then the heirlooms shift as you level up, and so it's just, yeah, I don't know. I don't have heirlooms in it, so it's, yeah, just make leveling go faster, and it's usually pretty cheap in terms of gold. Yeah, fair enough. Something, Jack. I'm just attempting to do it as Iron Man Hardcore, so I'm just lazy to do some stupid shit. That's funny. 
that's funny. But yeah, that's okay. Like, I don't... If, if there's an item that is, like, super valuable to, like... You know, like, they're, they're willing to pay a couple K for it as a leveler, but a transmog is only going to pay, like, one and a half. I, the, the couple hundred lost isn't that much of a big deal. Like, I'd rather have the cash than try for weeks to squeeze the extra few hundred out of it. I don't know, maybe I'm silly for doing that, but um, I'm definitely not a power gold maker or anything like that. Uh, and I'm, I reckon I'm doing all right for myself. 3.1 mils, not, nothing to sneeze at. Uh, is he guild attempt currently retail raids on hardcore mode? Ooh. 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 Nominate you to lead? Yeah, I'm gonna watch from a distance. Please and thank you. We got 23 minutes to go on this dungeon. I know I'm getting close to instance cap, but I th think I'm moving slow enough that I'm gonna be okay. It's the only problem with like trying to speedrun this stuff is that you just you run out of <laughs> you run out of dungeon. How bad about that is classic hardcore retail Iron Man and it's only different in what is isn't allowed. Retail Iron Man raid when the Christ and max level rule changes. Yeah. It's a it's a different game nowadays, hey. Like they are they're just they're such different games with such different playstyles that it's um hard to have the same set of rules for both. If you want comp stops today, six minute go PvP will give all be upgraded. Fantastic mince, congratulations. Run them around six minutes, you should be fine. Correct, yes, but um, a lot of ca a lot of classes move a lot faster than that, especially through these older dungeons. Um, which is why, you know, I was like, oh, my shaman is so slow, but then that may be a blessing in disguise, because it means I don't have to stop. Dungeon raiding in all greys whites with zero talents. Yeah. I don't think current raids are just... I mean, old raids aren't exactly tuned around that, but current raids? Oh, uh, I don't know. Okay. Is the fastest by far? I'm aware. I know. I know that. But there are other classes that are definitely faster than, for example, I am. That's what I was trying to get at there. But yeah, like if it's if you're trying to go like all for speed, then you're gonna have to sit there and wait for your, your dungeon timer to tick out occasionally, which fuck that. I'd prefer to just keep chipping away at it, even if each run is slower, personally. When levels come some period, the first mount. Hey, fantastic, Mins. Well done. Well done. I think... Is the first mount at 20? Was the first mount at 20? I feel like it might have been. Because I know... I'm pretty sure I have one. 15. Awesome. That's where I got... Yeah, so I've got the, the, the 15 one, but... The next one's at 40, and then the one after that is 70. Um, and I've got a, a while to go. Um, I was talking to Jas, uh, last night, last night? No, night before, Friday, after the Comp Stomp stream, uh, about how next time Comp Stomp comes around, which is, I think, in June or July, uh, I want to try to get as much of my work done in advance the week prior, so I can just sit there and, and no life it, and just do as much Comp Stomp as possible, and just try to grab as many ranks as I, uh, as many honor levels as I can. But we'll, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. 20 is the pets. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Well, the two combined, right, channel? That's great. Look, you were close. You were bloody close. 
Uh, I've been spending comments so not doing that right now on my chamois. Two slots away, having a full set max upgrade. I'm ready to on again. Fantastic. Yeah, I was doing it on alts to get uh, renown levels. Um, you get either a renown level or a mark of honor. And then when I hit 78, because that's as high as you can go, I uh, switched tunes and kept going. So I did a whole bunch on my rogue, got her to 78, and then uh, did a bunch on my monk. Yeah, I don't, I don't care so much about having the PvP sets or anything like that. It's more uh, transmog and mounts and collectibles and stuff and uh, marks of honor and honor in general and honor levels. That's how we get those. I was pretty happy with my progress yesterday. We got two honor levels in six hours, so that's nice. Next comstomp, I think, yeah, is in June, maybe July. But yeah, I'll be uh, smashing that again when we get there. I don't need anything from that boss anymore. It's just the last boss. Two more items to go. Stuck at 58. Let's feel the progress. That's a 50 59 hours of comstomp. Never gave any. That's just bad luck. That's not, like, you don't actually have to go and, like, get past that level or anything. The, um, uh, 78 is when it locks out because you have the two weeklies that you can do for those last two renowned tokens. Um, and that's how it's always worked. Like, if you've got any, uh, Covenant storyline or if you've got, uh, the, the two current weeklies, then it won't give you those renowned tokens. Um, but yeah. Uh, 78 will be as high as you can get. It just, yeah, it took me, like, there was a period there where it was like 30, 40 minutes where I didn't get a single Renown and then got like three in a row on my Rogue or Monk. I can't remember which one it was, but yeah. They they don't lock out until 78. Now, fantastic. Save for me on a transmog after I go for my main set upgrade them all instead of putting the honor for my ults. See, I would have I would have used the honor to buy the, um, the Marks of Honor. You can purchase for 5,000 honor. You can purchase a thing that has a bunch of marks of honor in it. And then the marks of honor is what you use to get your ensembles and your arsenals and things like that, that cost like 80 marks for an arsenal or, or and that kind of stuff. And so it's for all the old transmogs, old PVP transmogs. <clears throat> it's two three grains of even lords that I already have. Oh no. No, but yeah, I, uh, I got my Anzi back in the day as well. There we go. Ah, oh, what Comstomp are you waiting for to farm honor? So need to farm honor. Ah, uh, Comstomp is only, there is no variation on Comstomp. It's just Comstomp. It's the PvP brawl that's currently on. Welcome on in, Jay. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I was just a bit too busy this time around. We got a stream worth in. I got two honor levels, but um, I, I had too much on for the rest of the week. I couldn't just like sit there and no life it. So next time it comes around, because they're all all the rules are on a cycle. Next time it comes around, uh, I will make sure I have time to to sit there and plow through as much as I can. Stick Netflix up and just go for it, because you don't really need to concentrate a whole lot. It's um. Pretty breezy. Pretty breezy. Then marks on a growing TVC ensemble soon. Yes, I have so many still to get. Like PvP is my lowest collected category for every tune. Uh, zombie, Root, Fade, Silver, Zem, Meaty, Loz, Zam, and Demon. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Woo. Heading towards that skin chest. Uh, PvP weekly event counts with Comstomp wins. It does. It does. 24 hour Comstomp stream. No. I don't do 24 hours anymore. Um. I'm not healthy enough. Uh, autoimmunes will do that. I'm a fairly unhealthy human. Uh, but that's okay. It is what it is. I do 12 hours for special occasions and things like that, but um, if I try to push myself too hard, then 
like, you know, w would you like a 124 hour stream and then me not be able to stream for a week sort of thing? It's, yeah, not worth it. Not worth. I can absolutely do an entire week of Comstop, maybe. We'll see. All my usual stream times, nothing but Comstop. Hey, Moody, fantastic! That took a while, hey? Yeah, under 50 unlock artifact skins. Best of luck. Best of luck, Jay. Alright, out we go to reset again. How's my lockout looking? Eight for four minutes. Yeah, I'm fine. Another four week of comp stomp just sounds. Would break me. Uh, see, like comp stomp, because I don't have to concentrate on it very much because it's just kind of straightforward and easy uh, and I know like you know you go here you kill this you go there you kill that um because it's mostly kind of mindless I can do something else like I can watch I can binge something on Netflix or I can listen to podcasts or I can do whatever it would be fine for me but um yeah I'm also stubborn though so that's a uh, I'm emptying my bags. I'm emptying my bags. <sighs> Come back with some better stories. I'll clean up. That's more than enough space. Not in my shoulder, that's like impossible. Average BC is about fifty in most classes. Ah, oh, nice. Limited opportunity to get transmog. Yeah. Yeah, it does start to feel that way when you've got like one boss out of the whole dungeon that you need like one thing or two things off. Like I'm here with Ikkis, I only need two more items from Ikkis and I'm done. But they just won't drop. Especially when you start getting to um, bosses that have like enormous loot tables as well. Ugh, they suck. But I guess it's part of the fun of it. Like if if you could do one one round of the the, the instance and get everything as transmog immediately, like that would take all the fun out of it entirely. So there's that. Hmm. I would love. There was a thing that went round like ages ago. It was concept of a like transmog hunting talent tree. Um, so like if you liked to do you had like a separate talent tree that only applied to like legacy loot dungeons and stuff like that so once legacy loot was active this would also activate I imagine you'd earn experience in doing old stuff or something I, I would love like a talent that would be give me out no duplicates bosses will no longer drop two or more instances of the same piece of loot that would be great um, another one that, like, each boss will drop one additional piece of loot. Uh, or, like, uh, bosses will no longer drop rings and trinkets. Or necklaces. Maybe individual to, like, bosses will no longer drop rings, no longer drop trinkets, no longer drop necklaces. Like, that kind of thing. That'd be nice. That'd be fun. Weapons, so Fucking duplicates. That's a bo- I don't need anything from that boss, but it would be really nice, right? Extra dungeons per hour. Ooh, that'd be an interesting one. That wouldn't be able to be account wide though. That's the problem. I would very much like for that, like for the the old school talent tree to be like account wide, and I'm not sure that they'd be able to do that account wide because the whole idea was that it would, um, wasn't it? It would prevent. Oh no no no! That was the whole new characters can't enter instances for 24 hours. Sorry, 
I would, the, the whole thing, you know, preventing people from creating new tunes. And I'm like, wait, that doesn't make any sense here. What are you talking about? But that was the whole, yeah, like new tunes can't enter instances for X number of hours. Um, that was to prevent people from like deleting a tune, making a new one, running the dungeon, deleting the tune, making a new one, running the dungeon um, to try to cheat and get more attempts per day was what they were trying to do there. Um, three off Icus and normal. I can eat a little more. And the bloody mount, of course. Of course. That'll take forever. At least the mount can drop on any character, though. Like, that's not, like, class restricted, like a weapon or, like, armor type restricted. You know, that could be any of your tunes. You could run it once on every character every day if you really wanted to. Uh, good morning. What is the challenge you're doing? Uh, at the moment, Setha calls. Uh, we'll be moving clockwise around the ruins in Terraka. So the next one we'll be doing is the southernmost dungeon. Um, after this one's finished, we've got just under nine minutes to go on this current timer. Uh, you've got the final transfer. Well done, Sam. Look at you go. Smashing it out the park. Congratulations. I am not. But hey, look, this one's pretty good. I've only got like the two left. I'm still really sad about mana tombs, but at least it's over 50 now. Like, that's that's a, that's a thing. That's a thing. So, mana tombs... I started on 35.14. And that's now on 55.88, so 20% bonus there, which is nice. Sethical started at 64%. I'm now at 85.18. Uh, it was 64 flat, so that's another, you know, 20% or so. So look, I'm not doing too badly. Not doing too badly. Just haven't finished a dungeon yet. That'd be really nice. I'd like to finish a dungeon. Um, let's look at two heroics per day. That could be interesting. That could be really interesting. Just like you're in a male character, here's all the cloth. Yeah, I look. And then you jump onto the cloth character, it's like, here's all the mail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. I uh, got one of two items I needed. MT, move to the next one. I don't want to be greedy. <laughs> nah, be greedy. Run it till the timer runs out. If it drops, it drops. Crow Wing Reaper and Braces of the Hunt. Neither. Fine. Be that way. <laughs> only current class would be good. Well, that's what prior it was prior to Legacy Loot. So I feel like that particular one would be far too strong. You'd be the the problem is like if you actually check the adventure guides, right, and you look at your loot, you'd be done. You, there's only one piece of mail, and then there's only like a couple of things you can use here. It's, you just, you'd have to, we're now we're back to doing each dungeon once and getting everything you need and, and you're finished. So it's not, mm -mm, I don't, I don't really like that one. I still want it to be a challenge. Like I still want to be able to have fun with it. Making it too easy is just, eh. No bags. Oh no, Sam. Oh no. So it's slabs. Next. Uh, slabs is the one you have to run back, so that'll reset our timers a bit. So we can just rush into that. As long as you've got one opening, you'll be fine. Hello, Keg. 
Aw, oh, thank you so much! We're doing some loot appraiser challenges. Running old dungeons for transmog and loot for, um, golds. Delicious gold. How are you doing today? Nice year. It's good fun. We've been doing it every Sunday for a little while and it's really, like... I don't know, I like getting people involved. This is fun. It's fun. Some sweet dollar bills. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. Ping. Not gonna get me anywhere close to taking over second place, but that's fine. It's not what we're here for. I mean, of course we are, but like, not a super competitive mood. Why did they make some with loop back and some without? Ah, uh, that's a good question. You would need to ask the developers that question. I love that a lot of the Shadowlands dungeons, like you have an NPC at the end that you can talk to who will put you back to the start. Or to outside the instance, either or. But yeah, some of these looped back around and some of them did not. Anderson KFC. Ah, fantastic! Wonderful to wake up to. Chicken indeed is where my druid has most potential for everything. Not having to run back yet. Yup. I mean, my mage has the most percentage for everything because, like, she's my main. And, like, I did all of the content when it was current on her, so, <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, um, Vanilla and BC were a little low because I don't think they... And they didn't introduce Transmog to Legion, but a lot of the quests and stuff were, um... But also the achievements for getting, like, the raid sets and stuff. I wanted to get the achievements, so I did all those raids on Fear. Because she was my main. She was the easiest to run with. So yeah, her percentages are, like, up there up there. I'm actually curious. I have a feeling we're not doing BC next week. I have a feeling next week's going to be a bit more tricky. Um. Yeah, next week's gonna suck, you guys. Uh, trust me, can encounter it. Drink it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I about that. God. Everything blends together when you've been playing this body long, I'll tell you what. Why did I think it was Legion? Why did I think it was Legion? I don't know. There's probably some crossed wire in my head that we got something in relation to Transmog in Legion, and so I've got my wires crossed. My apologies. Um, obviously not Legion, but, um, yeah, some of the earlier ones, some of the earlier dungeons and raids, I didn't have the stuff automatically unlocked, so my percentages were quite a bit lower, but, uh, once we- oh, 12 seconds, yeah, no, we're finished, that's it, we're done. Uh, or well, I'm done, at least, you guys can finish up your runs. Uh, I'm gonna empty my bags. Um... 
But yeah, some of the earlier ones were lower, but they've like they're just so easy to smash through that I got them up real quick. Real bloody quick. Uh so when they added the appearance tab. Oh no, because they need to have the item in void storage. Ah oh. if it wasn't a quest reward. That might be it. I don't know. Um Where is this is like so obviously we use Wowhead for everything and Wow Wiki is like trash. Um but one of the things that Wow Wiki is really bloody good for is what was introduced in what patch because they have all of the patch notes kind of archived and they're really easy to search for. Um Everything in the ocean is as good looking or nice mannered as I am. So cute. improved transmog system so they they did something to it <laughs> so it's released in patch 430 changes in 703 and legion as part of legion system significant changes made to transmog every item in bank and void storage is now added to the player's collection window under a new tab called appearances that's that must have been what my brain Wow, how did I remember that? But I didn't. I, I didn't. I accidentally remembered it incorrectly, so it's fine. My brain is so screwed, I tell you what. I have I have problems with memory as it is, so it's like <laughs> Right, okay. Good, brilliant. Look, I had I was on the right track for a thing that I wasn't intending to try to find, so it's fine. I was done talking to you, please. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go send this shit to Fear. I'm gonna go visit Stonebreaker Hold. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna be doing slabs. Bloody murmur. Bloody murmur. But anyway, welcome to chat, both RV and Draco. Welcome in. It's blurry after playing since CBC. Same. Same. Like, launch of TBC to now, like, 15 and a bit years. I'm like, dude, don't ask me when anything happened. Like, fuck. It's... <laughs> oh. Press road. Are we ready for the next round in a few minutes? I have to get little man, isn't it? Yep, totally fine. Totally fine. Remember that if we do start and you're not back yet, you can just add yourself at, like, a couple minutes after. Like, no stress whatsoever. Go for it. Uh, let me send those lock boxes off. First, what is this? Plate? What are you? Cloth. I'll send you to fear anyway. Uh, but plate. Company Jasmine. Boop. Oh, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm, one of those is soulbound, so it's fine. Seven, beautiful, beautiful. Ah. That would scare so you. I did that last round only. Two up Ickers are fantastic, Feeny. That's awesome news. Well done. Well done. It was interesting. Midway through cleaning, so I can actually sit down and do some ATT. Hear the four year old scream. And 
The O spells no. Not quite, but look, hey, close. Close. <laughs> No in chat, not following fear on Instagram. That is a very good question. This is, look, if you've been here for like all stream, I'm very sorry, but you're going to hear it again. I'm so sorry. Um, if you haven't already followed me on Instagram, Instagram is a fantastic, awesome, super credit, super awesome, just wonderful way to support your favorite creators. Not just, not just me. I'm not talking about just me. Like any, any creators that you follow and enjoy the content of following their social media profiles is a fantastic way to help them out for free. Because when we approach, when we approach brands for sponsorship deals and all that kind of stuff, we give them what's called a pitch deck. Um, and that pitch deck has not just our followers on, on Twitch and like our concurrent viewers, like CCVs and all that kind of stuff. It also has our social media reach, our followers on each of the platforms, sometimes an average engagement rate across the platforms as well. Sometimes individual engagement rates, depending on what they're after. Um, but Follow numbers are a really, 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 really big deal. And um, I'm so close to my first 1,000 on Instagram. And 1,000 is when the Instagram algorithm starts to actually not be a dick to you and starts featuring your posts in, like, the searches and all that kind of stuff. The, like, the algorithm, if you're, if you're smaller, the algorithm's just like, yeah, you don't matter. Nobody cares about you. But once you break that first four digits and then go up, and then because you've broken into the algorithm... People can find you more easily, so you get more followers more easily, so the algorithm likes you more, and everything just kind of grows goes exponentially from there. But you got to hit it first. <laughs> so if you're feeling generous, if you're feeling nice today, if, if you're uh, having a nice weekend, or if you're having a shit weekend and you want to bring a smile to somebody's face, me, uh, <laughs> there's uh, two ways you can do it. Either you can scroll down underneath the video player, there's an Instagram thing there, you can click that, then click follow takes you 20 seconds tops unless you've got a really shitty internet connection no judgment um or you can type exclamation socials in chat like uh i'm guessing seeker has already done um and then follow the all my links thing and then instagram's kind of wibble wobbling every so often so you click that one and then hit follow couple there's a couple more clicks there uh might take you a little bit longer but uh it still has the exact same effect so if you wouldn't mind i would very 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 much appreciate the follows um, and hopefully you enjoy my content over there as much as you do here, because like, right? Good content everywhere. That's what you're after. That's what you want. That's what you want. Uh, I've been farming raptor ladders on the retailer to make them out. Uh, fucking days. There are eight fucking gold on the auction house. They are not bop. <laughs> oh, tick. Oh, tick. Got the show of hands. There's only two sockets. Where did I come on? Oh, no. Oh, no. Although I'm sure, like, back in BC, are you doing, what run, What raids are you doing? If it's got two sockets, those aren't randomly rolled. That's, like, older expansions when they had sockets, it was guaranteed to have X number of sockets. And it was usually more than one. Um, I forget what you're running. Uh, good content, how many feed elusive so far? 1,000 followers, snowball, give it so many. Exactly, yeah. That's, I want to be a full-time content creator. But in order to do so, I need to be able to pay my bills because financial security is important. It's important. Hello, Fia. She's going, Oh, thank you, Kaki. Thank you for following me. Thank you, Naughty. Thank you, Landa. Thank you, Chris. So when I had characters named Naughty Girl are similar, I don't remember my original drop with them having a socket. I think you're right. Other way, I want it for Mage Tower. Right. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Oof. All right. Um, where are we going? Slabs. In we go. Oh. Crunch. Make back go crunch. Pliska, thanks. Uh, all right. Shadow Labyrinth. In we go. I guess I don't have any quests in here. Answer. Uh, then close Sethic. We're going to open slabs. Holy crap, I need, like, nothing in here. Great. That's good. Ah, wait. 77. Oh, that's Sethic. Where's slabs? 70. Okay, cool. We're good, we're good. Uh, this one. So. That's not. There we go. Oh, 
it's so sleepy. Can't just select your right. I mean, you can do the first one on normal, but I'm the same. I would absolutely forget. Because we share a brain, apparently. <laughs> Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it can be sometimes when we need, like, a whole one. But it's all right. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Got to start no one down. Nine seventy two. I know. I just. I just checked. Ah. Oh my god. Twenty eight to go. Holy. Holy Jesus. Twenty eight to go until we hit the one k. Oh my god. Oh my god. Getting very excited. You're getting. This is my Instagram account. So you're joining halfway through. Oh, totally fine, channel. Not a worry at all. Not a worry at all. Uh, let's hit that ready check. And three to one go. <laughs> you love me. ATC sound effects are a banger. You cannot you cannot convince me otherwise. They're just they're so good. It's probably because of the serotonin I have associated with them. <laughs> But I don't care. I love them. Uh, Yay! Oh, that's awesome. How do I join again? Find me on your friends list. Right click my name. All the way down the bottom of the list, it says send request for invite. Click that. It's not actually a request. You will automatically be added and then you can jet off and start looting. Yes, that sounds far more illegal than it actually is. Uh <laughs> They have a hyperfixation for fitting go fix it, for hitting goals, any goals. Look, Seeker, I don't think that that's necessarily a bad... Look, it can become a bad thing if, you know, it's a fixation to the detriment of other responsibilities. You know? Like, that's... But, like... Look. You're excited. I'm excited. Everyone's excited. I'm so excited. You guys remember that shit? Anyway. Uh... <laughs> But that also can work, but yeah, if you before like before the challenge happens, that's how you check for invites. But after the challenge has begun, like once the time is running, you add yourself Put like that. You down. Is that answering the It's fine, I see. It's totally okay. Totally okay. I got the Earth Keeper. It's worth nothing. Brilliant. I actually have had one of those before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I already know the appearance. That's great. But it's a blue, and it's a BOE, well drop, so it feels nice. And that's what we want, right? We want things that feel nice. And <laughs> that one's worth more. Good. Huh. Why did... Oh, was it at the same time? It might have been posted at the same time as the hype. Maybe? I don't know. I didn't see. Or did we hear the boogie down? God, I am think I'm having a uh, time. It's fine. Just, it's fine. Baby tune da 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 baby tune da 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 It's great. We love that. Where are the jingles? What jingles? I've already got them! I'm getting jingles when I shouldn't be getting jingles, Crave. I'm- I'm on unique mode, and I get jingles when something is a shared appearance that I already have. I get fake jingles and they make me very sad. Just saying. <laughs> I've probably got a setting wrong somewhere, but I get fake jingles and they make me very sad. Boom! Stream Raiders go. Fingles? Oh god, that sounds horrendous. And I also somehow at the same time love it. It sounds like detached fingers. Like, I don't know why, but that's where my brain went with the word fingles. I'm so sorry to have put that in your head. <laughs> but welcome back, Creeper. I hope you're having a great day. Na 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 na. 
It's already in my head. Good! Brilliant! I'm so pleased. <laughs> at least all the ATT fake jingles. No, not my fingers. That... That makes me feel all sorts of uncomfortable. That, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know why, but that phrase just, good lord. I don't know what's wrong with that phrase, but something is, definitely. <laughs> hey! Uh, Silverlander, Fade, Zare, Meaty V, and Demon, congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. That seeker, no. But it, look, same. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, I have an issue with one of my throne orders, I think. I need to double check. Maybe they're out of stock of that shade. It would not surprise me. Where is my Orc Slayer on cooldown still? Let's place one of these. Place your units by following the link in chat and logging in with your Twitch account, and then you can drag and drop those units to, your, to the battlefield and join us in Valiant Battle. Slash hopeful victory. So totally way a little kid would say fingers. Like fingies, except worse. Yeah, you're right. You're you're absolutely onto something here. I'm gonna see if I can try to make it do fake jingles so I can show crew, but I don't think it's gonna, now that I've said it. I only need loot from um Helmore and uh and Murma, so that's at least a good thing. There's a wall there for you. I only need one thing from Murma, and Murma's loot table is enormous, so I'm very not looking forward to this. Bloody hell. Just, would you... Would you not die? Come on. Him well, and the tailing recipe off Murma. Oof, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. I need the tailoring recipe as well, but I would prefer to get it on my main tailor if that makes sense. I have like most of my tunes have tailoring for making hexly bags, but um, I have a tailor that is like max tailor tailoring level and all that kind of stuff. So she is the one that I would like to get that pattern. Uh, but now that I've said it, it's gonna drop right now because that's how the universe feels about my wants and needs. Uh, <laughs> Y'all know how it is. Ink fingles. Maybe. Maybe. I want to I wanna see if it'll do it so I can show you what I mean. But, um... Ping! No loot. Yeah, my you can skip the rest. I know, right? And just zone out. I mean, I'd hit, I'd hit lockout so quickly if I tried doing that. I didn't do it. All right. Perfect. But yeah, so like I'll get, I'll get an appearance. That's a really bad example. Um, are these, none of these are going to be shit. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here. So like, for example, here, leggings of assassination. If I had the Azure strappy pants drop and that ticked off, it'd make the jingles, but it's a shared appearance and it's already been unlocked and I'm not on completionist mode. Like, and so I go, oh, new trap. Oh, no, it's not new trans mode. Cause I'm not in, um, cause I'm in what's it mode. I'm not in where, where is it? I don't even know where it is because I never click it. <laughs> um, I'm very good at this. I'm look, it's fine. You, you know, what I'm talking about. There's just this look. It's fine. Ah, uh, oh no, it's not debug mode. It's um, yeah. But yeah, uh, it just it it makes me a little bit sad sometimes because I'm like, oh, I thought that was new things, plus sources. Ah, uh, okay. Is that? Oopsie. What did I press? My mouse button. Plus sources. This one. Always, but, ah, yes. So I, that is not enabled. It is disabled. Confirmed. Disabled. But it, you always chase me. Go away. Um, 
But yeah, so there you go. So I have that unchecked, but it still does jingles even when the when a shared appearance has already been unlocked. Um, unsure if that's intentional. Feels like it probably wouldn't be, but it also might just be something that has not been able to be figured out, and that's okay. Like you know, that that shit happens, and I'm not, I'm not totally put out by it. I understand. Ah, uh, you remember that add-on for Fandangles ice creams? That ad for Fandangles ice creams? Ah, uh, no. I don't think I've ever heard of that. No one cloth and vice versa. Ugh. Mail stuff my hunter. Uh, once on my main mage? Yep. Yeah. That's exactly how that works. Always. Always. Uh, 660B Ray Blue. Nice! The run out is painful here. It is. I just tried to catch up on chat during the run out instead. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of ignore the fact that I'm running a really long way. But it's okay. It could be worse. Originally intended since we still get an event notification from the YIPI. Oh, okay. Cool. There you go. Makes sense. Uh, we good. Zoom. Here we go. On normal. Ooh. After this one, I think I need to take that chair stream and go get some uh, something to hydrate myself with because my Hungry Jack's drink is empty. nice to finish this dungeon. Not have to come here on a shaman ever again. And by extension, potentially, maybe other classes as well. I think Runaway added an option for that to not fingle, but I'm sure, but not sure if it's still around. There's vocal outcry over it being the default. Ah, interesting. Okay. Hmm, noted. Hair and lipstick. My lipstick's actually brown. It's just got glitter on it. So that's really interesting that the I'm glitter's turned it a little bit red. That's really funky. But yeah, because my, my mount makeup today was the Swift Zulian Panther, and the Panther is black and grey, which is which is like the grey on my eyelids and then the black in my crease. And I do have a little bit of brown just under here for the saddle, but it didn't show up very well on camera, so I put brown lipstick on as well to try to do that instead. I like it a lot. So much fun planning out and, and trying to execute my mount makeup looks and having you guys guess and it it's so much fun. I really enjoy it. It gives me a bit of a puzzle to work with my with my makeup. Um I showed up Tim. Go then indeed, link the fandangles add in the memes channel because close to appropriate place, but like fair enough. I feel like Tim Fingle is gonna stick. Uh yeah. Look, you may not be wrong about that. It might also be something that other people have arrived at outside of us as well, and so because multiple groups have now arrived at that phrase, you know what I mean? Maybe. Sounds like, thank you, Josh. <laughs> yeah, look. Look, we, yeah, look, it's fine. One item, and he just won't drop it. Just come online with me every week. Oh dear. I'm so looking forward to Axel's. It's gonna be so much fun. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> My attempt at cosplay, the Dragonflight launch, that's also very exciting. Attempt, we'll see. I don't know if it'll actually make it all the way to a completed product, but we will, we will try. I'm not going to allow myself to purchase that pattern until after my May social media stuff is done. Because I know otherwise it won't ever get done and it'll just be everything will be crap. So look, we'll, we'll see how we go. I just need for you to say it. Get Zam to use Empress to buy a sound command and bam. Oh, bam. oh no. 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 Sounds like a terrible idea. 
Are you rep farming? No. I am semi-gold farming and also transport farming. Well, welcome on in, Shish. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, if you pull the boss, doesn't it pull the trash? Uh, there you go, possibly. There are a couple of bosses in here that do that and a couple that don't. I've been burned so many times trying to run through and pull a boss and then nothing else is pulled and I have to fucking backtrack and kill everything else. And so I'm just in the habit of clearing the room. Like, manually. Fingles. Oh no, Seeker. Oh no. Ugh. I always seem to have difficulty remembering which bosses do it and which bosses don't. I know that Panda What's It does it in um in the other one that we were in. Which one? Mana Tombs. Uh, for what I may have encouraged, I will fake remorse. Hashtag fingles forever. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. A finger sound, come on. It sounds too horrifying for my taste. Good call. Good call. Zam has taken over. We can't have this. Cannot stand for this. So, so, so random, not necessarily humans, and now they're a bit. Aw, Meaty, thank you. Thank you so much. This is so exciting. So exciting. I feel, honestly, I feel so, like, dirty and guilty for, like, banging on about the Instagram and all that kind of stuff. Like, I know I'm probably just annoying so many people, and I wonder every time I say it how many people are unfollowing me to, like, punish me for talking about it or whatever. But, like, it has genuinely actually helped. Talking about it, making people aware of how it helps me, all that kind of stuff. The numbers have definitely gone up. And, like, oh, I'm just so appreciative. So appreciative. Uh, I've been finding some things in my pallets. I can disenchant the trash. Do the normal NBC raids. We're going to LK raids now. Nice! Enjoy yourself! I love doing old content. It's so much fun. So much fun. None of that is what I needed. I hate you, Mama. It's fine. How dare I know, Creep? How dare? How dare I promote myself as a content creator to try to make more money to pay my bills? Like, who the fuck do I think I am? <laughs> oh. Yep. But it actually helps. Like, it actually helps. It shouldn't, but it does. And it's silly, but it's true. And it, yeah, look, it's a whole thing. Good morning, Unlimited. How are you doing? Welcome back. Hi. I dislike Murmur a lot. Murmur is a dick. Give me my loot. I'm uh, looking at different types of phone board. Early I did Google search. I have marine phone board. But there's amazing ones out. Oh, yeah, there are. Absolutely, there are. Um, From my very limited, granted, very limited research, it looks like EVA foam is like the go to at the moment. Um, and you can buy, like, at least I've found a place in Australia where you can buy a one meter by one meter piece, uh, for under 20 bucks. Um, and then obviously you place all your templates on there and then cut them all out. And so you get like a lot of individual bits out of that. So that one meter isn't necessarily just pants. It could be like pants and gloves or like whatever. So, um, yeah. Uh, and I also bought the Humble Bundle of cosplay books because I felt like it was the universe trying to tell me that I should absolutely attempt this um, this stupid feat. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it and see how I go. But yeah, 20 bucks is not too much to like burn. If I'm, if I'm going to lose the money, I can, I can, I'm, I can be okay with losing 20 bucks. I follow people if the Insta is a flood of engagement traps or stories include 50 plus tabs a day. I I have trouble posting like one or two a day. How do people post fifty every day? What is an engagement trap? And how do how does one set one? <laughs> My engagement is awesome. 
my engagement on Instagram is freaking awesome. Like in terms of usually engagement sits at around one to 2% or that's kind of, or at least that's what I've been told. It should be somewhere around one to 2%. Um, and mine's at like four or 5%, which is again, freaking awesome. And I'm really, really happy about that. Um, obviously as my followers go up, if not many of those people interact, then my engagement rate will go down, but that's okay because I've got room to move with that. But like, I can't imagine to post 50 a day. I'd have to just do nothing but sit there and make stories all day. I guess they must pre-film a whole bunch of them and then like schedule them to go live or something. That's what would I even talk about? I may be a content creator, but creating that much content, that sounds exhausting. <laughs> Unless I'm just going to put my entire VODs up via stories in like 30 second blocks. How many is that? Six hours by 60 minutes is what? 360 minutes. 720? 720 stories. I can do that. I'm not gonna do that. That sounds like a terrible idea. It's hilarious. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not like that, I promise. I promise. I try to make good content, but I mean good is gonna be subjective, of course. Like there are there are some people in my community who just like absolutely freaking love the the mount makeup photos and stuff like that. And then other people are just like, what the fuck is this? This is boring as hell. What are you doing? So yeah, it's, you can't please everybody. And so I just kind of, if something performs well, I, I try posting more of it. And if I like it, I post it. Because if I have fun doing it, then even better. Which kind of results in a little bit of a hodgepodge of, um, <laughs> of stuff. Uh, I don't know about y'all. I think she wants us to follow or something. Look, maybe, might be a good idea. Definitely recommend giving it a try and seeing what happens. So I'm feeling inspired. Good. Inspiration is a fantastic feeling. Like I love feeling inspired. I hate feeling inspired and having zero energy to follow through. That really irks me. Can I please have the platinum shield of the Valorous? <laughs> That's fine. Whatever. I didn't care anyway. <clears throat> Uh, I've got to do my bags. Oh, channel, no! Oh, no. All right, so this is the one that pulls all the all the trash, I reckon. Okay, let's do this. Um. Uh, hello, hi. <laughs> hello, Lich. How you doing? Oh, they do! Look! Oh, fin oh, they're all bloody casters. All right, where's a, where's a thing I can hide behind? Can I just back up enough and I'll be out of line of sight? Oh, for God's sake, with the stuns! Enough! Back here. That's right. Um, do you have the key for the extra heroic boss in Mana Tombs? No, this is an alt. One of my 50. Wow, sorry, one of my 49 alts. I do have a main. Uh, give you a shop example. Two different angles of the same outfit, which looks cuter. Post one or two in the comments. Ah, uh, okay. Right. See, okay, so there's a, um, there's a thing for, YesStyle is a company that I'm an affili that I am affiliated with. They do, like, clothing and K-beauty and K-skincare and a couple of little home items and things like that, but mostly, mostly beauty and clothes, um, from all over the place, but mostly Korea, uh, and they have awesome clothes and I love them a lot. A lot of them actually fit me, which is kind of tricky to do because I, I don't know, apparently my measurements are in, I don't know. Clothes don't often fit me, but the Yes Style stuff does. Uh, and they have a thing at the moment where, um, like every so often they do promotions for their influencers to encourage them to create content and give them content ideas and stuff like that. And one of the ones at the moment is to have a mini skirt from Yes Style and style it, create an outfit around the mini skirt, right? I have like four or five mini skirts from Yes Style. And so what I was thinking of was I was gonna do one of those annoying TikToks. I, I'm bad at TikTok, okay? I do, I, I'm really, I'm 32. That's all you need to know. I'm bad at TikTok. 
Um, so, but I was going to do one of those annoying things where I actually put together an outfit because I figured it would make, because of all of these people who post about this, these miniskirts and style them, a handful of the influencers are going to be selected and given a hundred US dollars. Right? Good. Now that that's established, <laughs> I was thinking of putting, doing, like styling each of the skirts that I have and then doing one of those like, oh, look, I'm cute. Oh, hey, look at me. And then, ah! And then the the cut the jump cut thing. To, Look, it's a new outfit. And then like going through and doing those kind of things because I know that they work. I know that they're a popular video type. Like you look at the fucking statistics. They are a popular video type. And then asking which is your favorite outfit because here's the thing. I am very bad at styling clothes. <laughs> so I would genuinely like to know. Do you like this gothic look I put together, or do you prefer the pastels? Or do you like the etc. Like, it's an actual genuine question, not an engagement trap. But also, apparently, of, I mean, it makes sense, also technically an engagement trap. How do you feel about Instagram accounts that do that? Maybe once in a blue moon. Because it's not something I do often, because... I mean, I will ask a question. Like, if I'm posting uh, a photo of me eating dumplings. I had, we had dumplings a while back and I, I posted a photo saying like, you know, what's your favorite food? But I reply to everyone as well. Like technically it's an engagement trap, but it's also not a trap. It's more an invitation. And it, it starts conversations, which I like because that's what I'm all about. My, my big thing with my content is that I like Forming connections. Um, one of, like, personally speaking, not even from a business perspective, but personally speaking, one of my core values is connection. Um, be that with friends or family, loved ones, or just with random people. Having that that split second of connection of, of making that bond, even if you're never going to see the person again, it's a really good feeling to be able to share a moment with somebody, right? Um, even, you know, I, I go and, and buy something from a retail store and the person serving me and taking my money has incredible nail art on us. And I'm like, oh my God, I love your nails. And they go, thank you. That's, uh, you know, I did this thing or I got them done here or whatever. And we have that little, it's only like two, maybe, maybe two minute conversation, but it's that moment of connection. And I really, those are the kind of things that like just brighten up my day. So I get the same thing through social media. And yes, okay, of course that's going to up my engagement. Of course it does. But it's not from a perspective of trying to. Does that feel less like an engagement trap? Or do you still think I'm a shitty social media person? I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. But like, genuinely, because that now I'm like... <laughs> I'm, I don't, like, oh, the last thing I want to do is come across as one of those, like one millimeter deep influencer type people because it's just not who I am. I don't think I could be like that, but I can appear that way. So yeah, it's a, it's a, I think it might actually be a real fear of mine. There you go. I have learned something about myself. Uh, good, but thank you for, for defining that for me. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Should I follow you on my IG? Yes, do the thing, Lich. Thank you. That would be amazing of you. Didn't know you had one. Really? I guess, okay, yeah, you're not here too, too, too frequently. Because I've been banging on about it lately. Maybe you've kind of dipped in and then, like, had to skedaddle and I haven't mentioned it while you were there. That's hilarious. That's awesome, though. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Do photography living, Instagram metrics. I know all about, oh, I'm trying to hit 1K. Like, we're trying to hit 1K followers at the moment. It's a bit first big milestone. Um, and look, it's a... Uh, I am bad at social media ing, but I am meeting with uh, a an ex marketing manager from my day job tomorrow, and she's going to help me with it. She's going to teach me some things, and she's looked into my socials and, and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully, I'm not as shit as I think I am, uh, and she can offer me some advice. I'm just, oh, I'm so excited to figure out whether or not I'm doing anything correctly. This uh, <laughs> possible trash. Uh, so I have learned bubble tea flavor of the day post. I could, but I usually have them during stream and I feel really bad about doing like fiddling with my socials while I'm live. That's something that doesn't feel super great. 
Because I feel like my attention should be here with you guys. I guess if I made them earlier in the day, I could. Maybe. Like if I actually like pre-made them and stuck them in the fridge, ready for drinking when the time came. Uh, any response you may be making is being drowned out by ads. Uh, okay. I'm not sure how much of it you missed, but I rambled for a while, so hopefully ads didn't cut too much of it off. Yeah, we run we run mid-roll ads because the data says uh, that you lose more viewers during a pre-roll uh, and you lose fewer viewers during a mid-roll. Uh, and I can pretty much confirm, like, I don't have solid numbers to give you, but my average viewer, like, my, my average concurrent viewers has definitely gone up since I started running mid-rolls regularly. Uh, which is nice. So there you go. Um, if you are a streamer on Twitch, uh, set up your ad manager. It actually makes a difference. Promise. Uh, considering how often the account I has works, I think it's fair it didn't. <laughs> yeah, look. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. And then posting several of them. Right, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I am a little bit behind on chat at the moment because I do tend to rant. Uh, but that's me. Hi, hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> it's kind of a thing that most of the community has gotten used to, but sometimes people are new and they're like, why isn't she talking to me? It's like, I am, I promise. I'm just getting to it. Um, different outfits is fine. There's different to the same outfit from over the shoulder versus same outfit facing forward. Yeah, that's a bit shit. That's just like fishing for, do you like my front or do you like my butt? It's like, sorry, I'm... Anyway, uh, <laughs> we're gonna delete that message because we don't know what it says. I don't know if that actually worked because I think I'm too far back for it to function properly. Um, gothic, always gothic. Look, goth fear doesn't do too badly. Um, but cutesy preppy fear isn't too bad either. I don't know. I just like I just like clothes that fit and are comfy. It dropped! Thank God for that. Okay, I need two more things to remember. I really don't want the pattern to drop on this tune, but look, we'll try to get the harness at the very least. Ah, uh, Simply Moon is fine, IMO. For free dumplings, count me in. Yas. God, I would love free dumplings. Asking a question every so often is also fun, but every post is a question, and there are several posts a day. Oh, I, good Lord, I do not, I don't think I have enough ideas to post more than one post a day. That's a lie. I post one reel and one feed post each day. My reel goes is supposed to go live at 10. It doesn't because I get distracted by things. But um, the reel is usually a Twitch clip. And then, oh, usually, it's always a Twitch clip. And then the feed post is like a photo of something I've gotten recently or like from thrown from my, my wish list or like an affiliate post uh, or a sponsored post that I've been paid to make, uh, which aren't very often, but like, hey, pay my bills, fantastic. And it's never gonna be about a product that's shit because if I don't like a product, I'm not gonna promote them. Uh, or like mount makeup stuff. I think I said that already, but oh well, that's fine. Um, Tasty. Oh, Fia's already got it. That's all right. I put it in the ocean house. Um, I did it again. Look, you guys, I'm so distracted by talking that I went and killed all the trash. I'm an empty. I'm very good at this video game. Uh, yeah, so, and that goes live at 10. That's scheduled. So those, the, the feed posts go live at 10. And so it kind of looks tiled. Like you'll have like the... The middle is a reel and the two are posts and then the next row is two reels with a post. But it, I like making my feed pretty, okay? I like it when it's a pattern. I like patterns. I like puzzles. My brain just, it makes my brain happy. Um, so yes. No, I, I don't have enough to post about to post multiple times a day. <laughs> I'm not good at that at all. Twitter, on the other hand, I can definitely, I, I do multi th multiple things there. But, um... Not, not on Insta. I, yep, yeah, can't. And bad. And bad. Can question circle through every few days? I have occasionally, using like the, the favorite food example, like I'll have multiple photos of food within like four or five days. And on both of them, I'll forget that I've asked about favorite food three days ago because my brain. <laughs> but it's not like, this, uh, this is not mass produced content that's a photograph from seven years ago that I'm reposting every two months. So like, I don't, that's not the kind of stuff I do. I'm, I try to be genuine and 
true, I guess, is that I, that's not the right word, um, but genuine is a good word. Uh, authentic, there's the word I was looking for. Like genuine and authentic with my shit because that's my brand. My my brand is like this, this I, I talk too much. Um, and I, I try to make those connections because that's what's important to me. And I try to respond to everyone as in depth as I can, um, which often results in me being 10, 20 minutes behind in chat. Uh, <laughs> but that's, that's who I am. And that's the kind of content I create. So it makes sense for me, at least I think it does for me. Like if I had a different brand on every platform, why the hell would anyone want to follow all of them? Because you're going to be getting different shit everywhere. That doesn't make sense. So I try to keep that same energy across everything. Um, so that if you find me on one platform and you enjoy it, chances are you're going to enjoy all my other platforms as well. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, we're not always the best at that, but we try. Ah, uh, that melee game of fear, trying to reload, that be reload worked. Yay for working! It's gotta be genuine, I think. Look, I definitely try to be. I, I do my best. There's always gonna be someone out there who thinks I'm fake. I can't do anything about that. As long as I'm true to who I am, it's, you know, like... I'm <laughs> <sighs> also a grumpy old male presenting individual. Intent is key and intent is usually easy to see after a few posts. I, I think so too. I think that's a pretty accurate take. Get you on K easy. Oh, we've been grinding for months, Lich. If we can get it easy, that's awesome. Just no buying followers. Do not buy followers. Like, don't do it. It is not worth it. There will be fake accounts that whatever platform you're buying them on will ban eventually. And it's just not. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Uh, you're spreading your brand as well as theirs. Win win. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, do you pass BOEs to other classes that can wear them for transmog? Yes. I absolutely do. 100%. Uh, respect for the other sections. Brilliant! I'm so glad to hear it. Uh, love that you go through all your chat. Look, a lot of people say that, and then there are there's the select few that get shitty and leave. But, I mean, what am I supposed to do? That's This is who I am. I don't want anyone to feel like I'm ignoring them. So I, I try to respond to everyone. Did I hear but? Probably. Probably purse. How you doing? Welcome back. Tend to rant. What? No, seriously? We did! We got jingles, Creep! We got jingles! I'm very behind. Holy cow. Oh no! I'm five minutes behind on chat. But look at my last power drop from Murma on EU. <laughs> Is how I feel about that on your behalf. Zombie, Kawanga. Kawanga? Uh, Ali, Miko, Dano, and Moo. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. I hope I pronounced that name correctly. I really don't know. Oh, it's a skin chest! Oh, I have the Earth Tank. We're gonna get the Ice Saint. Let's try getting that one. Ah, uh, spoiler! Mama did not drop it. Shoulders of the bane of my Palamog collecting. Looking at you, your fire ramparts. Hey, Amins. Good night. The legs and feet. Congrats. I'm a leather. Oh no! On the other hand, showing the same content every platform gives very little reason to put a follow you on every platform. No, I know that, but I don't have much content to share. That's the thing. Like, because. Our streams are so chill and mostly like relaxed and all that kind of stuff and anything that is like a thing is more long form I don't get a whole lot of that kind of thing there are a lot of people I've also been told who follow me on one platform and don't have the other platforms like I've had people individually tell me I love seeing your clips on Twitter and then another person say I love seeing your clips on Instagram and then another person saying, I love seeing your clips on TikTok. So who of those people do I disappoint? You, it's, you know, and I don't have 90 clips every single month that I can share different clips to every platform. It just doesn't like, because we don't have that kind of a hype stream where there's a thousand clippable moments every hour, we ju I just don't generate that type of content. And that's okay but it means that there is going to be some overlap and there is going to be some reuse because otherwise there's just not going to be that content there and then I disappoint someone who who likes having it on that particular platform. Uh, is in that case. Stop to the way, chest of skins. I know, look, just, we're fine. Everything is fine. Oh my God, I caught up. Go me. 
Uh, I own a Twitter and an Instagram officially in my own brain. Too old for TikTok. Watch TikTok compilations on the YouTubes. Yes. I have a TikTok because I don't, like, when you're trying to attract an audience, like, there is always going to be somebody that doesn't have any other platform. Greetings, sir. So if I'm not on TikTok, that's a whole audience segment that I'm cutting myself off from. Um, as, a, as a social person, I wouldn't have a TikTok. As a business, which is technically what I am. Like, I have an ABN and everything. I'm, I'm a registered business person. I know, it's fucking trippy. Um, as a business, I need to be as many places as I can be. Uh, so I'm on TikTok. I put minimal effort into TikTok because I don't know how to can use it, uh, but it's there. And I do, I do get, um, I do get a, a bit of interaction there, which is nice. So a month that could be right. Yeah, nah, 90 is too many. Yeah, you know, and then you have a 31 day month and you need 93. Like, ah, yeah, it's just, it's not a fun. It's not a fun. Um, but look, hey, if, if I get the message from social media master tomorrow and they're like, you know, you need to do this differently, then hey, I'm absolutely going to listen and I will try it's all about finding that balance of effort to pay off, that, that ratio of effort to pay off. If I have to, like, if it's gonna get, if it's gonna get me, like, two more followers a month, but it takes me an extra hour of work, no. <laughs> no. Like, it, I have to find that balance for my own sanity. Get more reach, but without spending an extra ten hours a month doing it. Um, and that's what, I'm, I'm sure that's what she's going to be able to help with, you know, just optimizing the content for each platform rather than posting the same thing to each platform, maybe like optimizing it for each, maybe each platform likes it to be slightly different or something. I'm not too sure. We're going to find out. We're going to find out and I'm going to take notes, copious notes, and I'm going to implement them over the next few weeks. Not everything at once because I know I'm like, I'm, I know that I, if I try to do that, I'll burn out, but just like one thing at a time, getting it into place. I get a content creators of TikTok, so I fully support that. Yeah, I, look, I'm not sure I fully support it, not gonna lie. Uh, but look, we will, we'll go, we'll go where we're supposed to go for now. We'll see how we go. Bit of bail, no worries. And thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you've had a wonderful time. We'll see you next time. Why some to do YouTube videos or even stream and hear the amount of social media interactions needed to do well. Introvert herself just can't be asked. You don't need it. Um, I've only really been doing socials solidly for about a year now. I mean, I, I would post stuff here and there, but it wasn't like, I knew I was, I knew I needed to do it better, but I never really put the effort into it. And it was, it's been about a year now where I've been solidly doing it and it has helped immensely, but I got pretty far without it too. Um, it's all about, and the thing is you don't have to stream to grow and you don't have to stream to make money. You don't have to stream as a career. You can do it as a fucking hobby. Do it without the bits you don't like, and just do it for funsies. Like, for something you want to try, do it. You don't always have to have the end goal of make money from this hobby. I was when having them not them having to have one. Yeah, yep. TikTok is a, an interesting place. There are there are a lot of things that have come from TikTok that I'm not super happy chappy about but you know this is the way of the internet I just got on tiktok last week yeah i i wish it's look at least so what i what i do currently is that uh when i post a reel on instagram i post essentially the exact same thing on tiktok um so it's the same content i don't have to create a separate piece of content i just kind of drag and drop uh, and that works for me. Uh, I don't have a big following on TikTok. I think I've only just cracked like 600 followers or something. Um, so it's not huge or by by any means, but it's something. I'm discoverable. I'm there. I can be found. I don't do any TikTok trends or anything like that. I'm sure if I did, like even just once a week, opened it up and saw what was trending and made a TikTok to match, I'd probably do a lot better than I am. Uh, but I haven't really had the time and I don't know that TikTok is super important for me to focus on, especially given my age. Um, most of these people who go viral on TikTok and, and actually have it as a source of income 
seem to be 16 to 22. And I'm not either of those things. I am, I'm 32. Uh, so <laughs> that's, you know, I'm not sure that it, that I am the correct demographic for that. But that's all right. Look, maybe, maybe the, the social media person tomorrow will tell me that I'm wrong and that it's absolutely worth investing some time into. And if that's what she says, then I will absolutely give it a red hot go because at this point I just want to be successful. Um, I would like to, I want to go full time, but I need to pay my bills just like the rest of us. Uh, not monetizing every hobby you have in this economy. Look, unfortunately, that one's a little too close to home to be funny, Sam. <laughs> it's the gig economy. It's the having to turn, you know, you have to have a side hustle to be able to pay your bloody rent and bills and all that kind of crap. It's a, where the economy is terrible. Um, hobby would be nice to break even on what I spend to make and release music. Yeah. It would, look, breaking even is like, it's dream step one, isn't it? I will say, if you don't like TikTok, ditch it. Looking at so many people's analytics from who comes from TikTok, it's a freaking tiny margin. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, it's so little effort that I'm putting into it first that it doesn't, like, it doesn't add, I think it adds maybe 10 to 15 minutes a month of work to copy paste, to, to re replicate that content on TikTok. So it's not... Like, I'm not investing time in it at all, in the slightest, really. Um, so I'm okay with that. If it jumped up to three to four hours a month and I checked my analytics and it's still not doing anything, then then I'd be ditching it, yeah. Or dropping back to the 10, 15 minutes um, a month. But yeah, it might even be something as as minor as making sure I pick the right cover or doing better at finding the appropriate um, uh, hashtags or something like that, you know? I hate that they took the trending tab away because now I can't see which hashtags I need to add that are semi-appropriate. That really pissed me off, uh, but that's okay. Do you have any to go viral on TikTok people are doing responding to it? It's not worth it. I hope you manage to go full-time in the near future. I would love to, here. I would love to. So my, my day job is contractual. Uh, it's a one-year contract. On repeat basically but at the end of every year december 31st is my last day and then i get a renewed and renewed contract there is every possibility that at the end of any year the company says unfortunately we can't afford to keep it's a not-for-profit unfortunately we can't ke afford to keep you on next year so we're not going to be renewing your contract that's a possibility every single year every year my hope is that if that day comes, if my day job tells me they can no longer afford to, re to renew my contract, that I don't have to find another job. That's my goal. That I don't, because I love my job. I really, truly love my day job. It's, I work with incredible people. We do incredible things. I, I'm really like, it. I vibe with it. It's my thing. It's my jam. It's my vibe. I love it. Um, and job hunting is a bitch. So if I couldn't continue to work there, it would be my dream to not have to look for another one. I think that's fairly reasonable. I mean, obviously for a lot of people that's not, it's completely out of reach and I am in such a, such a, a fucking, I'm so grateful for the position that I'm in, but that's kind of my, my goal. I don't have a due date for when I would like to go full time. There's no, there's no timeline for, for any of that kind of stuff. It's more, I'm just, um, like I I'm focusing right now. I know that social media is my, my weak point. I know I'm not very good at it. And I know that what I'm doing, I'm putting a lot of work into it, a lot of effort, but I know I'm not getting the results I could be. So that's why I'm engaging somebody to help me with that. So once that's good, and once I feel like I'm doing pretty well with the social media game, I'll step back and take a look at the whole thing again and go, okay, what's my weak point? Even if it's not, I'm bad at something, ow, I smacked my finger on the, you know, just like the seam where the nail meets the, yep, the cuticle. Anyway, when, when I step back and take that broader look, even if it's something I'm not necessarily bad at, 
but just like the thing that I am worst at, <laughs> even if it's not necessarily bad. And I can invest some effort and maybe some coin into that to improve my skills in that area and just sort of lifting myself up in all these different places until I'm at a point where I'm rocking it. Um, it's a while away and that's okay. Uh, but I would like to not have to look for another job if I lost this one. Um, ah, uh, be 42 tomorrow. Taking and talking is not for me. That's fair. That's fair. Happy birthday for tomorrow, Meaty. Ah, uh, social media person to fear tomorrow. Yeah, you need to start doing those TikTok dances. Yeah, I would not put it past her, honestly. Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, I'm a good dancer. It's fine. Happy birthday for tomorrow, youngster. 44 in July. 43 enjoy watching TikToks. Can't bring myself to actually make any. Made exactly one for a song release. I've got like 200 followers, but over 200k sound users. That's amazing, channel. Perspective that was worth one dollar. Yeah, but I mean, like, you gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. Um, those kinds of contact contracts normally in Oz here in EU, most slash all. You can't have more than three of those in a row. Um, because it's a not for profit. So the the company that I work for they rely on government grants from year to year to be able to survive. So if there comes a year, like for the last couple of decades, we've been fine with getting those grants because we're putting out the right kind of work and we're doing all the, we're doing all the right things. But if there comes a year where we miss out on one of our major grants, that's like a quarter of a million dollars that we don't have to spend anymore that we did spend last year. If you don't have the money to pay your people, how do you pay them? And if you have someone who's on a permanent contract and then you have to pay them out like a redundancy because you can't afford to have them anymore and you've got to pay out that redundancy, where's that payment going to come from? If you don't have the money to even keep them on board, how are you going to pay their redundancy? You can't. So it's usually no, usually no, in, but in certain, in very, very specific industries, this kind of thing is, it's the norm. It's, it's kind of standard. Um, everyone in my company, every single person from the CEO down in my company is on contract. Every last one of them, every single one of those contracts has an end date. All of them. Some of them are designed to not be renewed at the end. Some of them, most of them are designed to be renewed. Uh, some of them like mine are one year. Some of them are two, some of them are three. I think there was one or two that are seven year contracts. So they do their seven year term and then they hand over onto a new person. And it's to try to keep fresh ideas and fresh blood moving through the company. Um, Cause again, it, it's a not for profit. So it's, it's a bit of a different company structure, but um, yeah, everyone, everyone is on a contract. Um, on my palate and if you weren't dead already. It's kind of too chaotic for me. Yeah, it's a mess. The more things you interact with, the further down the rabbit hole it takes you. Honestly, kind of fell off TikTok. Really like the app and enjoy making the content. I'm just stressing over it. Oh, no. I'm like you. Social is my weakness. Investing time into Instagram and YouTube right now after losing my Twitter and having to start new. Really killed my drive. Yeah, that's fair. Absolutely. Uh, teaching has temp contracts for years. Mat leave can be until the child goes to school. Not at all paid. Uh, so the teacher taking over could be at that school year to year for six years yeah yeah there's there are a few industries i don't know too much about teaching um or the education industry but i do know like i know the industry i work in and it's yeah it's a thing that's fairly common um but it's okay like i signed on knowing that i, I signed on knowing how it would work uh, and if i wasn't okay with it i could not take the job basically um it's not it's not illegal if that's what uh wait yeah no i wouldn't if it was illegal and i knew it i wouldn't be talking about it because uh, <laughs> it'd get the company shut down, then I wouldn't have a job. And I can't afford to live off Twitch just yet. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're going to Orkanai. Orkanai Crypts. But yeah, no, it's... um. That would be kind of... You know, if, if I couldn't work this job anymore, I would like to not have to find another one. Or if I move to Melbourne. And they tell me, I know that you work remote, but you can't work from remotely from Melbourne then I would like to not have to find a job in Melbourne. Like, that would be my ideal goal. Uh, but, you know, just because we dream it doesn't mean it happens. Um, I'm going to do my absolute utter best, work my ass off. Uh, but in the end, I've got to be doing good things. 
for people to want to to invest in me in that way um be it companies investing cash or product in me to you guys investing time or follows or engagement into me that's you know i've got to make it worth it worth your while and that's up to me That's for Alexia, as is that. Uh, actually, I think I might go send... I think Katie's... Yeah, Katie's still on one hour cooldown. I'm going to head back to Stonebreaker, but we are going to go and do Orkanai Crypts after this. Very shortly. Hello, Daz. Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Ah. Uh, so if you'd like to support me on my quest for full time, uh, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> if you ask me, it's been more than worthwhile. Thank you, Landa. I really appreciate that. And look, and look, there are there are some people out there where I have to do very little for it to be worthwhile, and then there are some other people out there where I have to absolutely work my ass off for it to be worthwhile to them. And then there are some people that no matter how hard I try, no matter how hard I push. It's just not going to be worthwhile to them because they don't enjoy the kind of content I create and that's okay. My stuff is not for everybody. I know that. And I, I can accept that. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. I try to do my best for, for the people who are like me and like the same stuff that I like and all that's kind of... Yeah, that's where we end up. Uh, I need to take a quick bathroom break after this one. I'm gonna grab myself some drink because I my mouth is dry because I'm talking too much. <laughs> too much, she says, as a bloody content creator. Uh, I'm gonna send these lock boxes to the rogue. And then I'm gonna equip this belt. And then I'm gonna vendor it. I've seen things that would scare you shellless. Um, shameless self-promoting, check. I have gotten so much better at the self-promotion. You ask people who have been around here for like a couple years before, it was just before the Logitech competition. If you were around in February, March last year, I was absolutely, I was ashamed of myself every time I asked anyone to do anything. And then we had that voting comp, that God, that voting competition where in order to win, I had to get people to vote for me. Yep. And, um, oh, I asked. And at the start it was, look, I'm really sorry. I don't usually do this. It feels really dirty to ask, but please, if you wouldn't mind following this link and doing this thing, I would really, really appreciate it. It could make my dream come true and blah, 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 like all this kind of stuff. And I just, I felt horrible every time I said it and I would blush and my heart rate would go up. I would almost have a fucking panic attack and throw up every time I was bloody doing it. And um, and event by the end of it, six weeks worth of self-promotion to try to get people to vote for me. By the end of it, it was like, go vote for Fia. We're really close to the top five. Go do the thing. And after that, it was just kind of like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> Um, it's still, I still, like, I try to not do it very much because I know how annoying it is. Good lord. It just, mm, mm. But, uh, I, I know that it's important. I know it's important because this is, like, you know, it's like, it's like build, it's like companies paying for billboards that no one else is going to promote them. They have to promote themselves. And I'm a business. If no one else is going to, well, look, some of you do, and I adore you for it, but no one else is going to plug my shit. No one else is gonna like go out there and and promote me and do all that work for me. I have to, I have to do it. I have to make use of my reach and grow it, extend it, and just get out there and do it. And if I don't, I'm never gonna be full time. It's it's that simple. So I just kind of have to swallow it and deal. <laughs> just get over it, kind of thing. I uh, love the optimism loot appraiser. I do not think those two instances gave me loot that will actually sell for 7.4. This is why I use the global sale average because it actually gives you like a realistic idea of what it could sell for if it sells. You've still got to actually sell it though. I follow you on Instagram or TikTok. I can't because I don't use them. That's okay, Kira. I understand. 
I would never want like, to like make somebody feel like they have to make a new account on a platform they don't feel comfortable using to give me a fault. Like that's ridiculous. Um, no, I, I appreciate the support regardless. If you've got any friends who do, who use those platforms, if you've got anyone you know around who use them, send them my way. But I, I totally understand. AFK while feeding kids, you've able to say when you invite, I can run back. He said, of course I can, absolutely. I'm going to actually, let me do that now because then I can go take my little bathroom break while people accept and stuff. Um, Add-ons, Ludipro's a challenge, host, cancel, we are doing, what can I? Accept. Resend invite. There you go. Invites have been sent. Uh, what is your drink today? Uh, at the moment, it, it was it was Sprite, but that's empty, so I need to go get another water. But I think I can hear Jazz bubble teaing. Always makes me feel sick to promote being promoted or be complimented. It, ugh, yeah. Look, it took me a long while to kind of again kind of get get over it in that sort of sense, like to just deal with it and like accept, for example, the compliment or whatever. Um, but it comes to a point where. Like I'm out here, I'm putting myself out here. I'm promoting, I'm, I have to promote myself if I want to be successful and all that kind of, so I just had to sort of just deal with it. I had to just work through that within myself and, and get used to it. Good evening, Ruby. Hello. Okay, it's a tough one. Yeah, I think a lot of followers don't realize how much it helps to follow on different socials, me included. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And that's okay, like why, like, there is no reason you would know how much it matters unless you excuse me, are in the same boat having some kind of creation business or, do you know what I mean? Like it's, I would never expect anyone to understand how much it, it's like, how much it is of value to me having that one extra follower. Um, which is why I say like, you know, this, this is why it helps every last individual number pushes me towards that next milestone for, for Instagram's algorithm to recognize me as important. Um, but yeah, it, it really actually is, uh, uh, that is not accurate. Uh, what is not accurate? What is not accurate? Um, last time I was here, I think it was almost a year ago. You know me, I think I was leveling one of my rogues at a time based on the big bit on my past about my mum. Hope to see you again. Um, I have issues with memory. Um, like I have memory problems. You came in November to ask me if I remembered you. And I'm pretty sure I probably said no. Um, uh, yeah, it's, um, yeah, sorry about that. I, my memory is not very functional. Hello, Sarum. Welcome back. Uh, I don't know if she get back to making transmogs from my blacksmithing links. List, look, it is a good way to make gold on certain servers. Um, I don't do that because it's too much effort. I didn't come back in November. Sorry about it. My memory is shit too. Ah, uh, you did. The chat log says you did. Um, the chat log says that on the 5th of November 2021, you said, guess who's back at Fiyama? How's you? You remember me? Haha, -ha, at Fiyama. And then you tagged me again when you came in today. So yeah, you, you did come back in November. Um, but anyway, uh, Glimps the average terrible statistics used to value because it uses all the data, including those people who post stuff at one silver. Y yes, it's when stuff gets sold. If stuff isn't selling at 20k, then why would you consider the value to be anywhere close to 20k, though? That's the problem. 50 arcane crystals. Yeah, arcane crystals are a pain in the ass to get. Yeah, when my stuff is sold purse, it's always been a hell of a lot closer to the global sale average than like the, the market average or anything like that. Um, those have always been massively overvalued. Uh, maybe it's just my server. Maybe my server is shit, but um, I've never been able to get anything close uh, to any figure other than the, the global sale average. Do you remove data from items which shouldn't be as low as they are and get sniped? Yeah, I mean, I guess there's still sales though. But yeah, oh well, um... Ah, the lights have changed. Thank you, Sheebs. Thank you for the biddies. Yeah, I guess it's probably just my server being trash. Like, that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. <laughs> um, my stuff, it just does not sell unless it's um, a hell of a lot closer to the sale average than to the, the market average or anything like that. I don't know, something should be worth. It's worth zero silver if it isn't selling. Yeah, see, that's what I kind of like. Hi. Hi. Yay 
for steak. I like steak. Munch. Fighting tools. Fighting tools. He hands me the cutlery like this. I'm not going to cut myself on that at all. That's right, you're on Sarafang. I am. I am on Sarafang. Tasty drink. Thank you for the tasty drink. What? Healing potion. It's red. Yes. Is it strawberry? Yes. We had strawberry syrup? Yep. Oh, I didn't know we had strawberry. Oh, that's why I'm very happy. Mm. Strawberry is one of my favorite fruit teas. It's so good. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I was just going to go there anyway. Yeah, true. And that's, I want to say, coconut lychee jelly. I think so. You think so? I'm going to be back very shortly. I'm going to go to the bathroom because I really need to go. BRV! Run away, little girl. Run away. How is that for perfect timing? Go me. Go me. Um. I have that seven too. He's not a servant, shish. Jas is my head moderator, best friend and roommate. He's not a servant. That's degrading. Uh, versus concrete. Yeah, I, I get it, Purse. I understand what you're saying about it being inaccurate, but the market value massively inflates how much an item's actually gonna sell for. So I don't have any other, there is no other statistic that works better for my server. Like, there just isn't. Especially like if we're going across like all of our servers and all that kind of stuff, it just, yeah, nothing seems to, I, I see all these loot appraiser challenges where you're all getting millions of gold worth of stuff in half an hour and it's just, doesn't it doesn't sell for that at least not on my server ever like guaranteed uh, I mean, the same price list doesn't really matter since we're comparing same with same yeah uh, so you really state we're flying on a plane this takes a high 
so annoyed some of my mail icon will glitch out and appear even though I have no mail. That's interesting. Yeah, that sounds like an add-on issue. This might be someone's chest someday. It's on South Fang Forever. Change servers to Casco to Junior and Guild Dream Hey, Wonderful! Good reason to join uh, to change servers. This to me a lot. Figure it's because of an add-on. Uh, I've had a new fun glitch start recently on oh, my Shami alt. It keeps being kicked out of global chat channels. I mean, it could be a worse bug. <laughs> Of TSM. I th it's probably TSM. It's probably TSM. That time spent on Constance. Yas! ATT, DBN, Magnum, DTS, Vendra, Voodoo. Interesting. Uh, difference in server sizes. Large servers sell faster, but for way less. Interesting. Uh, it's not a bug, it's a feature and a blessing. <laughs> I look, I do, I do agree with. I do agree. Ah! I got the skin! Guys! I got the skin. I'm so happy. I got the skin. Nice new skin. Yas. Very happy with that. Very happy. Mmm. Oh god, that's tasty. Um, Kawanga, Vild, Seeker, Landa, Joe, Demon, and Zombie. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Um, who else got a skin? Who else got skins? I use region market. I usually do like a 25 to 50% commission average. I make most of my gold on Transmog. Adam is rare enough. The price is accurate though. Yeah, I, um, just, I guess not for my server. Like, maybe it's an oceanic versus US thing or so. Like, I, I genuinely don't know. I don't make enough gold through Transmog and stuff. Like, I, it's not something I do. It's... It's an incidental gold stream. Like, I farm for transmog and I accidentally get greens and sell them and sometimes they make gold. Um, so I don't know enough about it, but I can tell you for a fact that if something says that it's gonna sell, like the, ma the region market value is 50K, but the global sale average is 700, then it's gonna sell for maybe a grand on my server. Maybe, if I'm lucky. It's just shit, it's trash. Um, so, uh, the other numbers are completely and utterly wildly inaccurate and massively overestimate the amount of gold I can make off them. So I don't bother looking at them because why get my hopes up? <laughs> That's all I'm just putting myself in for disappointment. You got a skin! Yay, meaty! Booerns? Booerns indeed know it is global. Follow us on Instagram. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I make very, very little gold on transfer pieces. Easy to buy all of a reagent and repost tire. Just on my own BS transmog. And I'm using them for me, totally. Like, how long does your transmog take to sell? It really depends. Some of them sell the first day I put them up, some of them take months, some of them take weeks. Like, it's incredibly diverse. Incredibly diverse. My my server is not good for that kind of it never really has been, honestly. It's, it's wildly varying, wildly. Some things will expire 200 times before they actually sell. Other things don't. They don't even expire once, they're just pure. Um, but mm, I can't even say most of them because it is just so massively different. Um, right, what am I doing? Flying rogues, orc slayers. Is my orc slayer off cooldown yet? Bang, rogue. Down we go. I'm gonna place some battle plans. There we go. Brilliant. Place your units. Jump on in. Ah, uh, please follow me on Instagram. Indeed. Free way to support streamers. It makes a huge difference to them. And not just me, like any content creator that you that you really want to support following their socials is a massive, massive help to them. And it's totally free. Totally free. Where to go? Oh my goodness. I no longer bother posting transport. My stuff takes many, many reposts to sell. I learn mail to alt or vendor. Server is disgusting for selling anything. People just keep undercutting by obscene amounts on anything and everything, despite being able to just be the most recent poster at the same right. Yeah, a lot of people seem to have missed that memo, and it's sort of very frustrating. It's sort of very frustrating. Oh, we missed an emote only chat. Oh, bugger. It's not a voice, but you're very welcome, Wanda. Not a worry. Okie dokie, let's do a thing. 
Some crude hammer is a beast to make. Yeah, the big ones usually are. Uh, oh, no, shit, I'm supposed to zone in first, aren't I? Rick. from a quest it only was mine save for next rant it was it was a fine sale rate really is telling when it comes to how accurate the price is yeah that makes sense that makes sense uh all right ready check how's it going to check yeah absolutely absolutely three two one go you love my countdowns they're great <laughs> i'm sorry they're terrible and if it's 0 0.01 just don't yeah yep although when you're posting with tsm anyway it's just so easy to just post everything regardless and you don't even have to check shit just as long as you've got a, a half decent like cow what's it um like sale rate or like a half decent um formula for the for the price you want to set, then you don't even need to think. You don't need to check sale rates and stuff. You just go. It's great. I really should put, implement my max expires again. I used to have I used to have it when it hit one hundred max uh, one hundred expires. Excuse me, it wouldn't post again, and I'd just vendor it. But um, I got rid of that because you never know when someone actually wants to buy the piece, and you know it's. I'm sitting here posting fucking 800 auctions a day. I know that's not many for some people, but it takes a while even with DSM. So. I am time poor. I am time poor. Uh, I have two key chance my auctions up, so I really pay attention to it. Yeah, I have only a few hundred. It makes a lot more sense to look at those. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think I'm somewhere around 800 at the moment. Active auctions, but I'm not too sure. I haven't checked in a little while. Just makes like just it, it takes time. Oh, that's all I know. I watch Netflix and scroll. Because <laughs> yes, after three years, made over a hundred people. That see, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to like vendor something knowing that it could, you know, three years from now go. It's I'm an idiot, aren't I? Look, really, really. Yes, shoulders, good. Did ask for leather, pesky deaf bird. Oh, no. So you asked for shoulders. That's why you got to ask for the item name, item by name. You have to ask politely by full name for the item that you want, not just shoulders, because you get the wrong ones. RNG Jesus is like a genie. You got to be really bloody specific, or you're going to get the wrong thing. Uh, did you make profit with inflation, though? What inflation the item was free? Well, that works. What item are we talking about? <clears throat> I don't know, maybe she just wasn't listening. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Oh, hello, quest giving person. Ah, oh, dear. I don't remember some weapon from BC. So it was like a, a drop from a, like a, a drop from a run. So it didn't cost you gold to get, it cost you time, which, you know, how, how much value can you really put on time? <laughs> Magma plume boots. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I have to kill this asshole slowly. I have to take my weapons off. Not yet. I'll do these ones first. I have, to, I have to kill this dude slowly so that the avatar actually spawns. I always mess this up. Every time. Every time. I'm really good at it. I'm really good at messing it up. So when you always forget, correct. Correct, yeah. 
the next boss. Like, not that one, obviously. That one's done. But, like, the next boss that comes up here, yeah, I have to be real careful with him. To pet his head until the avatar spawns. Or just, like, stand on his face and aggro him but not hit him. I think that was... Maybe? I can't remember if it was time-based or health-based. Do I have naked? I do. I'll just get naked. Yet though, not until he gets to the boss. Uh, there's been very little inflation over the last few years, to be fair. Health base? Ugh, I hate that, Sam. It's alright, I'll just- I'll get naked and, like, poke him until he spawns him. <laughs> it's fine. It's totally normal. Cool and normal! Oh, we were looking at, um, who we can vote for in our electorate today. <sighs> Uh, equip toy soft foam sword. Does that w it doesn't work on elites though. That only works on like not elite mobs and aren't dungeon bosses counted as elite mobs? Uh, I'm open off punch to get to death in one swing. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking like uh, if I if I dequip everything, I that's probably not a word, but we're gonna call it a word anyway. Uh, wish room sword worked in instances? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's like whenever I was doing, like, wolf farming back in the day, it's like, just use the foam sword! Why are you being so weird about it? It's like, because the foam sword doesn't work. Like... Do you really think if it was that easy, I wouldn't have tried it already? Alright, Nakey! There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna go stand on his face. Stop, 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 stop. Take form and stop, 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 stop. Yes. Ah, yes. That is a shared appearance with four other things I already have. That, however, is new, and it was from the Avatar. That makes me happy. Um, is this gonna put it no, it's not. Good god. I yeah, that's fine. There we go. Everything's back on again. Do I have naked? I do. I'll just get naked. Look. I meant... Never mind. Bugger it. Bugger it. May need res like this? Nah, it's fine. Two hits was good. Two punches. Uh, I need a few more refills for my air rifle. So cutting press in half very rarely speeds up the sailor set item just pushes the price down to get past sailor fifty percent price needs to be something really rare slash sought after. Um save the set. Nah, my gear changes too often on these. Like this is a level 51 tune. These characters, their their gear sets change too often. Um it's not worth it. Like it's not a max level tune. So the next time I come in here, I'll re-equip the thing and I'll still have like three or four pieces missing because yeah, it's just an eh. I will just right click along a row. Okay. Brilliant. So that's done. I've finished heroic. And we have three items left to get from Melodor. That's not bad. And I finished that quest, so I can go get my piece of transmog from the quest as well, which is good. Cross another thing off. Where am I going? This way. Normal. Go. Sure. I'm 
arms straight. Super correct. Three more pieces from Alada. Do we got this? Because that avatar thing is uh, heroic only. So that's a pity, but oh well. Spending some time. Totally fine, Mana. Not a worry at all. Best of luck with the studies. you guys. 8,901 throws. Are we gonna hit 10k first or 1k on insta? Probably 1k on insta. I reckon. I need to put money on it. But I don't I don't gamble so there's that. <laughs> but uh if I were a gambling woman Love welcoming new people to the family, though. I hope everyone who is lurking is having a fantastic evening. Learning all about the back end of streaming. <laughs> while, while watching terrible runs through old dungeons. Very much have a very... I have such a niche content market, don't I? Mr. Boomerang, still a thing. That's what I did Insta. Those are really popular. Uh, I think they're in there somewhere on, like, stories and stuff, but I don't think... I haven't seen one in stories for, like, a long time. I haven't seen one for a while. They might be, though. I might just not be following the right people. So many to use reels, but they scare me. I don't know why. Twitch clips. I post a reel every day. They're all Twitch clips. It's already short form video. You just have to make it vertical and you're golden. There are tools online for that. Super easy. People who popped up are not good people. Bendy cucumbers. I don't know what that means. One hit, too little, two hit dead. Oh, meaty. Oh, no. Are you, I'm guessing, are you on a 60 turn, maybe? rough. I still don't know what bendy cucumbers means. Oh! That's nice. I figured it was a euphemism for something. I just, I don't know what you're talking about. No, the regions of a male. Okay, so penises. Like <laughs> you can you can say the word here. It's not a it's not a taboo. Um yeah, I've never received. Um, not in response to a reel. Um, I've received a lot of I want to be your sugar daddy messages, but never to a reel. I don't get DMs from reels, I get DMs from um like uh like feed posts. Um 
But uh, Instagram is really, like, there's a whole reporting section for sexuality stuff. Um, they're, I don't know how recently you were doing that kind of stuff, but um, they're really, really good at smacking it. Um, there's like, you know, you've got your, your requests for DMs, and then you've got your requests that they think could be spam, and then you've got hidden requests that they think not only are spam, but are things you really don't want to see. Um, and they don't show pictures in DMs that aren't from people you follow unless you tap them um, as well, which is fantastic. So you can literally just delete it and not even know what it was. Uh, but yeah, they're... There's no turning back yep. now. Um, uh, this one's 60, we'll try later on 50. Yeah, that, that really sucks. That really sucks. Um, I'm naked too, can't do that on my hunter. I don't know if Automod was going to stop me or not. If Automod stopped you, I would have allowed it. Easy as that. Super simple. Don't worry about it. Uh, I feel like everybody gets the I want to be a sugar daddy spam. I do not get sugar daddy spam. Anytime I post a photo that has my face in it, I immediately get two to three posts, uh, two to three DMs asking if they would like to if I would like them to be my sugar daddy. The rates have been going up too. Like originally it was like, I will pay you $1,000 a week. And now I got one the other day, it was three grand a week. I was like, ah, cool. I must be getting better at this. <laughs> the other day I actually responded to one and I just said, I am not interested in a sugar daddy. If you would like to support me, here is my Streamlabs donation link. Because if it's not directly through PayPal, they can't, like, charge it back because it's through, yep. Mm -hmm. They didn't send me anything, though, so that's kind of disappointing. Also protects my email address. It's been through recently. Hey, Phoenix. When so my husband have received them. Perfect. Brilliant. Receive uh, text messages from spam accounts through Apple. Um, recently, I've been getting Google Drive share requests uh, that contain photos of, uh, Volva. Which has been great. I've just stopped opening those. <clears throat> Male presenting, so that may factor in. Absolutely. Absolutely. No picture of my face. Just food? That's hilarious. Three days a week. Yeah, just place it in my account. Yeah, look. It's quite the market. My sister and I are running joke about feet pics. Yeah, I um, I wear socks if I'm doing full body shots. Okay, wait, can you redirect them to me? I have a feeling that they're not actually going to pay anybody 3k a week. Did I not align Aquarium as well? Her makeup one more. Thank you, Phoenix. It's amazing together. I appreciate that. How much do you reckon these are worth? How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Pretty well. A bit sleepy, but I mean, what's new? I go to Lax. Has Zam won all of them? Ah, uh, no. No, Zam has not won all of them, but I do believe Zam is going to win this one. <laughs> but we still got 20 minutes to go, so there's that. Oh, Sugar Daddy got so many attempts asking me many of were scammed too. Oh, they're all scams. They're all scams. They all use photographs of the same, like, slightly north of middle-aged dude. Like, every single one of them is the exact same fucking guy in the profile picture. Every single one of them. Every one of them. Been getting a ton of those Google Drive requests? Yep. Yep. Uh, and Google has a, a separate line to, to report nudity as well. So that's nice. Chrome is rare, super rare. That's right. Yeah, not a minor. That's fine. Uh, hello, Andy. Hello, hey Shapeless, welcome back. Yeah, look, um, the internet is a minefield, let's be honest. Uh, one tried to check scam, he kept sending a check that only worked in the US, I was in CAD. Yeah. Except one because I hit the insta summit. Yeah, yeah, there was that. Just discovered the Pokemon is short for pocket monsters. Oh, Daz. Yes, it is. 
That is correct. That is correct. Never occurred to me. Oh wow, here we go. Yeah, that is uh that is a thing. That is a thing. Why Pokemon? No. Nope. It is a it is a shortening. Yeah, fair. Really never knew. Really? How did I wonder if this is an age-related thing. Like, I wonder where, like, the people who didn't know versus the people who did know. Like, where the ages are kind of... Because, I mean, I started playing my first Game Boy Pocket game. Like, uh, was Pocket? Might have been Color. No, I think it was Pocket. But I had Red version when it was released in Australia. And that was when I had learned it was Pocket Monsters. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure it had, like, in the instruction manual for Red, somewhere it was, like, copyright Pocket Monsters or something like that. Like, it was very, very obvious. So I wonder if people who got into it a bit later just never got that kind of link. <clears throat> just, yeah, this made me feel old. You are not old, Jared. Shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> like get over it. <laughs> um, my yellow, my brother had blue. First be Bookie Game Boy, Green Screen Game Boy, Mario Game. Uh, no, um, I I wonder if it like if it's an association with like the first, yeah, or like an age thing or people who don't RTFM. The old grey one. Do you know its real meaning? Charles, you know. <laughs> Who or what is an RTFM? Read the fucking manual. How do I fix this? RTFM. Super simple. Walked into the <laughs> But no, like, I wonder if that's kind of... Because, like, I, I can... I remember seeing, like, copyright pocket monsters somewhere, but I'm, I don't remember where because, let's face it, it was, like, 20-something years ago. Um, but, yeah, so I, I wonder if it's because I read the thing that I learned that really early on and that people who didn't get it have, like, never read the manuals or maybe they removed it from the start of the manual at some point or do you know what I mean? Like, it's... I, yeah, I wonder. But yeah, it is it is an abbreviation of Pocket Monsters. It always has been. Original trading cards also said Pocket Monsters on the back. Could be. That one can be verified. Old Pokemon trading cards. Not shopping images. Back. <laughs> Might help. No, it just said Pokemon and then Pokemon. Um, they did have, there was a series that says Pocket Monsters card game. But yeah, all original back design. It says Pocket Monsters. Uh, I don't know when they, it doesn't say when they changed it, but there's just a person who found one from way back when sort of thing. So yeah, it might have been like the first kind of print of them. I'd imagine that if you had cards with that print on the back, they would go for goddamn thousands now if they were in decent condition. Because that obviously was retired a very long time ago. That's really cool. Um, play Pokemon until Pokemon Go is a thing. Well, that explains that. That's that, that's a very reasonable explanation. Um, Eternal 
small drops left. Gonna head back into the others. Totally fine. Totally fine. Congratulations, by the way. Well done. Uh, also, Peb Gat, yep, problem exists between keyboard and chair. AKA, you done fucked up. Yeah, look, some things just don't click with some people, and there's nothing wrong with that. Hey, well, you're lying. Where are uh, you? I imagine that there were entire schools that just weren't into it very much either. Hey! Oh, excuse me. Got a new helm. Fantastic. And so, like, if your friendship group wasn't into it, then you probably weren't into it either, kind of. Do you know what I mean? Like, that makes sense. Uh, good boy playing Elden Ring. Hopped off, got into Wow Wrath. Name my friend made a guild. Check the guild bank for Netherly. Who's this at the guild bank? Robbed of gold by a random patron to try and manage to message them with the gold bag. Serious hour came in to the tailor. Do you think I detect a friend teacher? Wow Wrath. What do you. Uh, what do you mean by WoW Wrath? Because I'm fairly certain that the Wrath servers aren't until later this year. Um, I'll go back and do honestly one of my favorites. Oh, for sure. The Lich King expansion. I'm aware of what Licker means. I'm saying how, what do you mean you are playing WoW Wrath? Because either you're playing retail, which is in Shadowlands, or you're playing Classic, which is either vanilla or BC. Elden Ring and WoW Wrath have not yet existed at the same time. That's what I'm meaning. No, they're not. They're, it's sign up for beta, but that stuff's not available yet. Classic TBC. Yeah, Netherweave is TBC. It's Frostweave that's Wrath. Yeah, Classic is TBCC, the Burning Crusade. Cool. That's where I was mistaken. I was going to call bullshit on your story because you can't possibly be paying Wrath because it's not a thing that exists for players just yet. So Classic is either Vanilla or Burning Crusade at the moment. So you would have been playing the Burning Crusade. Cool. Just double checking because, you know, people like to weave all sorts of unbelievable stories on the internet for... Attention, I guess. Karma if it's on Reddit. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can also play on private servers. And if you're playing on private servers, I'm going to ban you. It's against TOS. Don't do it. And by toss, I mean wow toss. Internet points. Arath private servers, there shouldn't be. But given that Derpy has specifically said classic, I'm assuming that they just got the expansion wrong. Yeah, I'm I'm not interested in private server bullshit talk. Um, it's not like don't do it. Confusion rather than deliberate malice. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Yeah, like, I've had services that are against the Blizzard Toss reach out to me via, like, websites that offer services against Blizzard Toss reach out to me via different platforms asking to partner with me. Like, <laughs> how, how brain dead can you possibly be to ask someone who is, like, actually tied to Blizzard? Like, by the fact that I'm featured on their launcher fairly regularly and have had sponsored streams with them. Like, ha why would you think someone who has that kind of a connection with the company would promote a service that breaks the terms of service? Could get her account banned. 
like, I just, the, it's either like balls of steel or genuine stupidity. Like, <laughs> mm, honey, slow down. Take, take a second to think about what you're doing. It's not, it's not the, the smartest action that a person could take. Ah, oh, dear. Ah, oh, Lucian, you're talking about, yep, tell me your old stuff, sell it all. Oh, just really got into game? Totally fine. Totally fine. Um, yeah, we've just, look, I've had experience with people doing some not so kosher stuff, and so I wanted to make sure, like, what exactly you were talking like, I wanted to verify, which, honestly, I think is fair on the internet. Not much can be verified, but if we can, we can try. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. You never know. And the last thing I want is for my Twitch chat to pop up on some stupid fucking forum with Oh my god, look, they all believe this shit and all that kind of crap. It's just... <sighs> fucking drama that shouldn't exist. People are fun. So much fun. But I hope you're enjoying Classic though, Dopey. I hope you're having an absolute blast with it. I hope you're excited with the announcement of Wrath servers coming later this year. Coming 2022. I was a little surprised by that. And then I kind of thought, well, they do have the base code for it already. It's just like making it suitable for the modern stuff and all that kind of thing. But like, that's really cool. You guys are getting your new X pack this year. That's really, really awesome. Uh, tick this to prove you're not a robot. <laughs> how about, how about tick this to prove you're not a numpty? Is that, is that something we can program, Krazy? Do you reckon? Do you reckon? Uncle Hoax for Nintendo showed me those forums. Yeah, look. Uh, yeah, there's, um, there are some, there are some people out there. I can't click it if it exists. Let's be <laughs> Look, you know what, Kraz? You, I'm probably in the same boat because I mean I'm a bit of an like. Look, look. There are there are people who I feel are more of a numpty than I am, but I cannot say that I am absolutely not a numpty. I think that's kind of where I sit on the uh, on the numpty spectrum. Any thoughts on when you think Dragon Flight might come out? April, March, April, May, but April what I'm pegging but I have no like I have zero inside information on this so I have absolutely no fucking idea like zero um so April is is part expectation given on how long it takes between an announcement and a release and part kind of hoping for April I feel like April's a really good time except for like Easter and shit like that so it probably have to be like early April I I, I kind of feel like they're gonna have the release date when they, you know, you know, when they release like the pre-purchase, like the pre-orders and stuff, and it says will release on or before date. And it was like last time I think it was like December 31st or, or whatever it happened to like that kind of a number. Um, I, I think that when they release that date, it's going to be on or before May 31st. That's what I'm, I'm kind of getting. That's what I think. And that way that gives them an extra month to a month and a half to like, if something goes wrong or if they get a, a bit of really good feedback towards the end of all the testing, they can push back. They can add a couple weeks onto the, yay! Yay, I've only got one more to go. They can kind of push it back a little bit without, but while still keeping it within that 31st May deadline. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'd do if I was in their position to give us enough time but I, I genuinely have no idea. And none of us do. None of us do. The only thing we can do is look at the data from previous releases and extrapolate an estimated date that we think might work. But none of us know. No one has any information whatsoever on it. <clears throat> uh, it's been fun so far. Current level. My priest character. Oh, fantastic. What spec are you playing for your priest? What are you, How are you playing your priest? Uh, I can't believe how many kids tried that line when I was growing up. Uh, I reckon next year around June. Oh, that'd be a long while. So my my other thinking, so 
obviously like the length of time from announcement to release usually it's around a year um or, or just shy of a year, but like usually within a year. My other thought of having it so far before June is that if, if the Microsoft acquisition of ActaBliz goes through, if it passes, like jumps through all the hoops and everyone's happy or, you know, content and it goes through, it's going to be going through on June 30th, July 1st. I strongly suspect, like if I if I was taking over a company, like the steps I've I've been a part of a company that has been acquired before, and I've also been a part of a company that has acquired another company, both of them while I was working at the company at the time, right? Cool. So from my I mean, granted it's very limited experience, it's only one of each, so I don't know like everything about every industry or anything like that, but from my own personal experiences. Um, one of the first thing that happens once an acquisition is made final and it's done and it's good, the acquiring company doesn't touch the acquired company in terms of operations and stuff. But what they do do <laughs> is they grab some of their staff that would fit in that company and they put them with them and they sit and they watch and they take notes and they observe and they take more notes and they question and they take more more notes. And they do that for a good few months while they kind of understand how the company works. They learn the strengths and weaknesses and all that kind of stuff. And then they go back and report to their higher ups. This is what I feel like we could do to improve operations. This is what I think we could adopt to improve our operations and make everyone happier. They're not going to want to do that two weeks after a fucking expansion has dropped because they're just going to be in everybody's way. They are, they will not, they like, they, all of these developers are going to be frantically fixing shit and applying patches and hot fixes and all this kind of, they are not going to want the Microsoft higher ups snooping around and asking them questions and trying to observe their workflow while they are frantically trying to fix shit that live players have found in a product that has been released literally two weeks ago. I think they're going to want to get out of that crunch period before the acquisition date kind of happens. I don't know, of course, this is just assumptions and guesses, but I don't think that they're going to want to do that. So I feel like it's going to be like outside of June, but not too early in the year either, because you've got all your holidays and all that kind of stuff that they're going to want to have people be able to, you know, game devs deserve to have Christmas and New Year's. It's that simple. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like they're going to have most of everything done leading up into, into December and then it's going to be like polishing and all that kind of stuff and, and making last minute adjustments to spells and and fixing bugs and that, all that kind of shit through like January, February and then uh, March, April, May will be when it's released, but not, not in June, in my personal opinion, of course. And I could be very, very wrong. None of this is based on factual information. This is all based on assumptions. And what I feel are logical thoughts, but they may not be because that situation may be entirely different within Blizz HQ. No one knows except them, and they ain't telling. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's kind of how I'm feeling. But who fucking knows? Not us, that's for sure. Um, based on nothing whatsoever other than a guess. Yes, for sure. Varying levels of numptiness. Woo! Go us. Leaders of the numpties. Uh, how do I add you as a friend? Perhaps you're in at some later time. Like that. Thank you, Zam, for dropping that. Uh, damn, you could just walk off the damn bridge and die to return to the beginning. Die? I don't die when I hit the ground there. Oh. Jeez, contingency for the win. My factoring for the panini. See, that's why, that's what the May is for me. The May is the panini factoring. Um, but I, I assume that they're going to want to release it, like, late March, early April. But that they're going to give themselves to May in case something goes kablamo. Again, like, neither of us know anything. We're just spitballing here, but that's, yeah. Unrelated note, just got the final transmog. Minus the avatar one. Oh, God, I hate that. Holy into holy. Nice. I am very bad at healing. Very bad at healing. Uh, I'm also going to want to have it in there. I want it to happen in their first fiscal quarter. All of the, uh, all the releases have been said that it's um, end of financial year. 2023. Uh, 2022, uh, yeah, 2022, 23. Um, if you actually go and read the articles, that's where I've got that date from. Um, it's not just a date that I pulled out of my ass. It's something that I actually read. That date may have changed. I, I could be wrong. Um, but everything that I was reading was saying that they are planning for it to go ahead 
um, like the ac final acquisition date to be at the end of FY twenty two twenty three. <clears throat> uh, art team might have that. Dev team no. Uh, as big as Activities is aware, launch won't affect Microsoft's quarterly reports at all. Nah. Nah. And it is better to have it out the door so that they can actually sit and figure out how to, yeah. So that Microsoft can be, like, fully involved for the next one. They can learn from Dragonflight and they can see how it goes and how it performs. And then they can start presenting them. But by the time the next expansion comes out, that's when Microsoft, if that timeline is correct, by the time the next expansion comes out is when Microsoft will be starting to make changes within ActiBliz because they've done all the learning that they possibly can. They've implemented a few, like, procedural changes to make things work. And that's when they'll start doing maybe, if they want to, structural changes. Acquisitions, like once something's been acquired, it takes a very long time for things to start changing. Um, the company I was in that was acquired, um, we were told nothing for us personally, like on the on the worker level, was going to change for minimum five years. And that was a, like a written guarantee. Nothing will change for minimum five years. I wasn't with the company that long, but from colleagues who were still, they, they stuck with that. It was pretty much five years to the dot when um, when structural things at the worker level started happening. Like, it's a long time. Um, better at healing, DPS, try to walk character. Failed hard and just wasn't fun. And that's the key thing, right? you got to be having fun. It's a bloody video game. Like, if you're not having fun, what are you doing, eh? That's the key. <laughs> But yeah, look, all, like, it is a super, super, super interesting discussion, like, looking at how things have gone in the past and, and making those estimation, guesstimations, stuff like that. But yeah, in the end, as fun as it is to have the discussions, none of us know. None of us know. Um, and sure, some of us, or some of you, might end up being more accurate than I, or others, or whatever, but that's all just, like, coincidence and luck. Um... I mean, they may try to stick to previous stuff, but they also might not. They also might not. They might try to have a wildly different release thing to just throw us all off balance. One moment, please. Me, I'm currently tempted to join uh, level and Iron Man. Locked to join Jack's Iron Man raid team. Fantastic. Fantastic. Just a minute. Actually, hey Jess, was that just a? T I've got a message that it was a timeout, not a block, uh, not a ban. Is that? Did you hit the wrong button, or what's the go? Perfect. It didn't work. Yeah. No, Jess. <laughs> All right. We're good. We're good. Cool. All right. Sorry, guys. Sometimes you got to deal with shit. Uh, I don't think MS will have a major part in an expansion until 12. Imagine 11 is already in pre-production concept. That's what I reckon as well. Like, I think that, like, two years roughly, because we're getting roughly an expansion every two years, so roughly two years from now, they may be starting to make tweaks with stuff, but it won't be, like, major input. It'll kind of be like, do you need an extra artist? 
Like, is is this? Do do we need to split you into smaller artist teams with more higher ups to have like smaller teams, or do you prefer all of you with one senior? Like, that's the kind of stuff they're gonna, and that doesn't, that's not gonna affect the expansion in like a way that we're gonna feel as much, you know. I I agree with you in in short. <laughs> and hello, Drex, welcome on in. Uh, next week's drops. Well, that was unexpected. Yeah, look, look. Uh, hello, when we start the Stream Raiders battle? Uh, when we get around to it, Gerald. Um, Stream Raiders is very much a side game for us, and we've been having a very in-depth discussion. Uh, and Stream Raiders is pretty loud. And so when we're, like, talking a lot and having massive conversations, we don't tend to run it for a little bit. We just kind of let it sit and then do the thing. If you're not happy with that, um, I, I understand, and I'm not offended. I don't take it personally. Uh, there are plenty of other captains out there who are, like, Whoa! on their battles, and they will probably be more suited to your playstyle if that's what you're after. Um... But yes, please joking. You need to do pre-sales, etc. Yeah, of course. Uh, are you working on the collections appearance achievement? I'm pretty sure I have all those. I'm missing four of them, but I think they're PvP and or Shadowlands ones. Yeah, no, I have all those. I have all the ones that would be counted here. I'm working on all the things completion percentage. That had a roadmap leads to the end of wrath. Looked almost exactly as what we've gotten. Yeah. Yep. Any luck farming today? Yeah, I've been getting quite a few things, bits and pieces here and there. Um, uh, a few bits and pieces. Do I work for Blizzard? No, I don't. Uh, I do have a day job. It's for a not-for-profit that has nothing to do with gaming or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, like, yeah, totally, completely separate. I'm an assistant accountant uh, in my day job. I don't work for Blizzard. I have had three sponsored streams with them in the past. I had one for BlizzConline. Um, I had one for the launch of Burning Crusade Classic. And I had one for the launch of the Chains of Domination patch, uh, 9.1, 9 9.1. That was 9.1, right? Good lord, I have a terrible memory. Um, so I have I have been paid by them thrice for that. Um, I've also had a, um, I participated in like a social media video thing uh, and was paid to do that. Uh, but beyond that, no, that's it. That's it. I'm very open with as much as I can with that kind of stuff because uh, it's important for you guys to know how I'm associated with Blizzard and how I am not associated with Blizzard. Um, but there you go. Yes. I love what I do. This is great. And I, I really have enjoyed working with Blizzard like so, so much, but I don't work for them. No. Nice. Yeah, really nice. How cool is that? Like, good Lord, if you told me six years ago when I started streaming that I'd be literally paid by the company who makes the game I've been playing for 15 years. What? <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, while I head to the new dungeon, let's kick that battle off. Um, we're gonna go do, what time is it? 8.22. We're gonna do Black Morass. It does feel work for Blizzard. Nah. Look, it used to be asked a lot, but not so much anymore. Not so much anymore. Ah, uh, but yeah, head to Black Morass if you want to join us for that one. Occasionally get players like that, Derpy. Um, it's usually helpful to let them know, like, hey, I'm new at healing, could you pull a little bit slower so that I can kind of catch up and like, you know, letting them know in chat, I need mana. Because as, you know, just as you're a new healer, they might be a new tank and they might have been told by a mate of theirs, yeah, just pull everything, you'll be fine, healer will keep you alive. Uh, communication is key, but if they ignore that, then yeah, just leave the group, no point. Waste of time. <clears throat> Feels later somehow. It does, doesn't it? I'm kind of... We have had a lot of talking. Like, we've been talking about it like a crap load of stuff. And I am quite tired. Uh, Elytria, uh, Meaty, Gerald, Joe, Seeker, Miko, Dano, and Demon. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Uh, I'm not crazy with how much people are go, 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 go in dungeons when leveling. 
Yeah, look, I think the thing is, like, when people are levelling, a lot of people assume, oh, I this is my 17th tune, therefore everyone else knows exactly how to do this because I've done this a million times, therefore they must have done this a million times, when that is absolutely not the case. A lot of people doing a levelling dungeon haven't levelled another tune before. Um, excuse me. So, it, yeah, it's... um. That's why sometimes that communication can be really, really helpful to let them know what your skill level is so that together you can complete a successful dungeon. But there are some assholes out there who will just ignore that anyway because they're lovely humans. But um, you can't really control another person's actions. Uh, all you can do is control your response to theirs. So, yep, we just kind of, okay, sure. Well, I'm going to do my best, but you've been warned. Okay, can you, if I can't, blah, let's try that again. If I can't keep you alive, you know why. Like, you can't say I didn't warn you. The black, oh, the black morass. This one, I accidentally opened another one instead. Oopsies. Um, well, that's the standard tanking method, because of Mythic Plus, yeah. And so many people are used to doing Mythic Plus that when they're on an alt, they just do it the same way. But yeah, not everyone in a, in a leveling dungeon is the same level of skill. It's awful doing heroics getting the Mythic Raid tanks who just don't care. They wipe the party, pulling everything, solo the boss. They're perfectly okay with that. Rarely ever vote kicks. I've never kicks for those ones. A mythic Raid tank will never do a heroic dungeon. Um, it might be someone who has a main that is a Mythic Raid tank who is looking to do heroic to like on an alt or whatever. Uh, especially if like, th usually the friends will just carry them through Mythic Pluses to gear them up, right? But occasionally people don't help each other out because they're selfish assholes. But that's, yep. Not very often, but occasionally. Uh, I got good tips for my first time doing playful when someone noticed I wasn't using Arcane Terrain on some things. Is this a lip if I've ever heard one? They do for runes. Then you see them on forums whining about how they feel entitled to white groups and the players who die should feel privileged to just be in their presence while they get their augment runes or just the gold, whatever comes from those tank bonus rewards. Uh. Uh, have you, like, I'm guessing you've actually seen these posts on the forums. I've just, I've never seen. I mean, I've seen some pretty horrid stuff on the forums. But I don't think I've ever seen that kind of thing. I remember one point in Gadget's End, to get the name right. I remember Party of Alliance players camping dead lower level horde players' bodies in the graveyard. Uh, yeah, that'd be not just Gadget's End. Um, so Gadget's End is Tenaris. Um, Stranglethorn Vale was wicked for it. Oh, shit. I think that was on normal. Uh, I don't think those actually mythic raid tanks, just entitled assholes. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're calling themselves Mythic Raid Tanks because they got carried once. Okay. Mm. Most Mythic Raiders are too lazy to pug heroics for runes. Plus, they make enough gold from selling carries that they can just buy them from the auction house. One R. One R. Accept. Invites. Mm. I'm grateful for seeing low level mats. It is. It's pretty terrible for anything else. <laughs> but, transmog. Mm. No worries then. Rest well. I'll see you next time. See you tomorrow. Mount Farm Monday. Mm -hmm. Are we ready? 86 on this one. Nice.
Uh, something similar, doing my first time, plus dungeon of the mage, got mage first time to max in Shadowlands. Damage wasn't best, kind of complaining. That's what tips actually gave him. But I was continuing with another group mate for previous dungeons, kind of back off and having a nice chat at the end. Mm. It, yeah, as long as like everyone's polite, the problem arises when someone complains about damage and then you kind of smack back and say, well, fuck it, I'm doing the no, 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 no. That's when it becomes everyone gets defensive and then aggressive and then it's all just shit. I, I remember very, very clearly we were playing um, against people in uh, Heroes, Heroes of the Storm. I usually just played against bots. It was like the first time I was doing like a player thing and I was fucking terrified. And I was playing a character I had not played ever before because I was that kind of an idiot. Um, and somebody else who'd been placed in our group um, basically said, learn to play my character. And I'm like, I'm really trying. This is my first time. If you have any tips, I'd be more than willing to take them on. And they kind of went, oh, shit. Yeah, use this button more. And I was like, okay. And then I did that. And they're like, awesome. That's much better. Okay, now try doing this one too. And it, it was fine. But like the moment people start snapping back at each other, it just everything turns to shit. Obviously, the first person shouldn't be throwing shit in the first place. However, we don't know their story. Like, we have no idea what is going on with them. Anything could be happening in their life. They may just need a fucking stressful outlet. But if you're like, hey, Soz, looking for help, willing to take tips, if it, and if they're intelligent enough to realize that helping you is going to help them, then yeah, it's fine. But like, yeah, it's just people being shits. Three, two, one, go. Um, yeah, it's a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, excuse me. Oops. Uh, reminds me, so we're going to try and camera, yes! It's new and it's slightly difficult to get to spot on a main road without any parking nearby, but I'm keen to try. It sounds like they might have opened up to serve, like, the nearby, is there, like, is there a school nearby? If there's a school nearby or enough businesses, that might be what they've opened to serve particularly. Um, loot challenge mode you have there. Exclamation LAC will get you all the info. Command using exclamation LAC. I'm just taking my DK. Never been a tank until I've been DK wasn't the best. I was worried about dying, making sure expect me being a bad tank. Didn't give me any helpful tips or advice. Next group I was in. Uh, a healer after the dungeon. Uh, gave me good advice on how to take. I'm very grateful for the healer. Yeah, look, um, yeah, it's it really is all about communication. Like if you've got a bunch of people all kind of riffing off each other, making making jokes and stuff like that, and you don't say anything, they're not going to stop. Like why are they stopping? They're having fun with each other, regardless of whether it's at your expense or not. They're they're still having fun. Um, wrong kind of fun, <laughs> but fun nonetheless. So yeah, communication is key in in all circumstances. Frank got a from party, an item instantly becoming soulbound. Frank got a cloth armor chest piece, was a different upgrade. Another one should kept whining about it, even though the party members to belittle my friend, hand over the chest piece, despite the piece was soulbound. Yeah, look, people are idiots as well. That's also a thing. <clears throat> That's just kind of when you put people on the lock, honestly. Um. Three, two, one, go. Fear always. Yeah, look. I'm... I'm having fun. I was gonna say... first time healing Mythic was half-typing. Not slow typing. He was off. Things went fine. Stress level skyrocketed. Yeah. That's fine. It is what it is. Like, running those kind of dungeons with strangers in the auto-matchmaking system and stuff, it's, it's not for everyone. It can be rough, especially if you're, um, prone to that kind of anxiety, but... Uh, yeah, there are always tools and methods out there to help kind of keep all that in check. That's something you can talk to a medical professional about. For some reason, every time I choose to use Kappa from the emotes list, it wipe my chat text. I might need to report, I reckon, buggy AF. That is odd. Mask of inner fire, please. Mm. 
Oh, Derpy, that's not proving shit, though, because they don't see that from the other side. All they see is someone opening a trade window and then saying, I can't trade. Like, you can fake that pretty easily. In that kind of situation, when they're going on and on and on and you literally can't, you just say, I literally cannot trade this. And if they keep going on about it, you just ignore. Slash ignore your character name here. Like, that's it. If they're going to be stupid enough not to realize when a piece is bought, then that's on them. You want it now. I'm trying to be polite, Sheeps. This is the issue. I'm trying to be polite. Not working very well, is it? It's all right. I feel like I've got a few more runs in me, so it's okay. Uh, Time to try ramps. Best of luck. Best of luck. I only get you so fast. Let me fist in demanding a manager. Oh, wow. Okay. Who would be Chrono Lord Deja's manager? Like, <laughs> let's say Chrono Lord Deja is working at your local supermarket. Who Who is, who is Deja's manager? Temporis, give me your laughing skull battle harness, please. That's a lie. That is a shared appearance. You are lying to me. <clears throat> Marizond, Ian, that one statue outside of Blizzard HQ. Not definitely Nosdormer. Oh, one of my, okay, so I had, remember when Anon bought a bunch of stuff for me from Mello? So kindly and so generously, one of the items is flagged as sold out. And so they've flagged it as an issue on my throne dashboard. And the item, the item is sold out. But it says the item is permanently out of stock. I feel like they're just a ways off restocking it. So I'm kind of tempted to just kind of let it sit there as an issue until it restocks, but they don't have like an email me when this is back in stock thing. Um, it just says add to wish list, but it doesn't say yeah. I think I might just leave it because I really want to try it. I want to try it. Um. Oh, let's not. Outside, I'm coming. Blue, but on crack. Yeah, look. One of the items is flagged as soul bound, not sold out. Okay, no, it's it's sold out. Sorry, my bad. I do talk really quickly sometimes, and it does tend to mush my words together occasionally. And my hair curly thing too. Yeah, I saw in Discord Seeker. I'm so happy for you. It's so freaking good. Like it's just so good. <clears throat> so freaking good. Obviously, I haven't used it today. I'm gonna try. I want to try because um, I've always been using it from like my root, which has made all my hair really curly. Anus, can I have the either the Helm of Desolation or the Primal Surge braces? But both would be nice. That's a lie. That is a shared appearance. I get nothing from this run. From this run. Um, I've been doing it from my root the whole time. I'm wondering 
Because a lot of them have like those really kind of beachy sort of curls and stuff. I'm thinking maybe they're curling from halfway down and then brushing them out a bit. So I'm kind of keen to experiment a little bit with that to see if, like to see how that looks on me. I don't know. Experiment. I want the Dyson was insanely expensive and much better choice. I'm sure the Dyson one is amazing, but honestly, this is like the first, the first hair curler I've had that has been like good and has actually like the curls of stock. You know, it's, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's less than 150. Oh, no way. Oh, I don't have a, do I not have a command for it yet? <gasps> Look at me go. Why am I terrible? Why, why am I so terrible? Normal, go. Um, look, I will, I will fix that. No, you spelled it correctly. You spelled it correctly. Um, yeah, I have a hair curler that I bought myself for my birthday. Um, it's from Wylera Hair, and it's called the Dream Wave. Uh, and I wanted it because I've never, like, I've bought curling irons and I've got straighteners that I've tried to, you know, when you wrap the hair around the straightener and kind of, yep. None of them have ever worked properly on my hair and the curls have dropped out within a couple of hours. Like it's, it's been really quite bad. Um, but I saw this one and it had a ton of really, 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 really good reviews. And so I bought it for myself for my birthday. And I'm like, yeah, why not? Let's give it a try. And good Lord, it's good. Like I can sleep on the hair that has been curled with no product in it to keep it curled. And it's still curly the next day. It's ridiculous. And so I reached out to them because they had like a collaborate with us kind of section on the website. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Why not? I'll ask. Worst they can do is say no and laugh at me. So I asked and they gave me a discount code. So if you use code Fiamma on their products, you get 20 bucks off. That's pretty good. In Bruce Gold, it looks pretty. Yeah, I'm like, all of my stuff is in black. So I've got the, the black onyx. Um, there it is. This baby. It's just super, super convenient. Um, and it's bought, it's wireless, first of all, which is freaking cool. Um, it charges via USB. And one full charge will basically do your whole head of curls if you're being really lazy and slow about it. Um, <laughs> you'll have a bit of battery charge left if you if you actually make it sort of snappy and do it with intent. But if you kind of lazy your way through it, it'll do you one like one full head and then you just pop it on charge and then it's ready to go for the next one. Um, let's give it a fire. Ah, uh, yes. Look, next time. The opportunity to look more presentable, which is cool. Aw, I'm sure you look perfectly presentable, Seeker. With hair at all, it was really great. Nice, glad it worked out. Oh, absolutely. Like, hang on, let me. Right. Right, so um, it does, the curls go in two directions, right? So you can do left or right. And what I've figured out, because I'm like, ah, which way do I do it? So what I, was, what I was doing is curling one section and then just kind of seeing which way it went. And if it was the wrong way, I'd switch settings. <laughs> but if someone's looking at you, to the left, you do the L, and to the right, you do the R. That's the way I figured out to remember it. So hopefully that actually sticks, but we'll see. Um, so I just turned it on. It does take a second to heat up because it is getting to 180 degrees. So let's give it a minute. And it'll beep when it's ready, loudly. I'll find something somewhere. No extreme. Mm -hmm. There's a swelly. with the word extreme in it look maybe depends it's definitely heating up so this is the time i'd usually spend like brushing through my hair and sectioning it out and all that there you go 
as you vape vape. Let me go stick myself at home base so that nothing damages the shield. Terrifying. Grab. Goes in here in the slot. And press the button until it goes like that, and you hold it. There's that double beep. <laughs> cool, hey. That's it. Ta -da. And then, like, just put the new stuff through it and whatnot. Once you've got a bunch of them, they look a whole lot better than just one by itself. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it off. That's how easy it is, and you just do that on all the different sections, and uh, done. Oh, kill a chi when you're murdering a mimsy person in endless. Oh no, oh no. Get myself one of those curlers. Code Fiyama for twenty bucks off. It's Wylera hair. W Y L E R A. The curler is called the Dream Wave. They do also have uh, like straighteners, and they also have like bundles of different stuff and whatnot. But yeah. This one is the original Dreamwave. They also have a compact one now, which apparently is good if you have thin hair. I've got thin hair, but they'd only just launched the compact when I bought this. So I was like, ah, I'll go with the tried and true. Um, I'd love to have straight hair. There's no naturally curly when I put it straight. Reach the middle of my back, naturally, I barely touch my shoulders. It's so much effort to straighten curly hair. Good lord. Man, now I'm even more excited. <laughs> it's that easy. It, it's, hey, finally, brilliant. It is, it's so easy, so easy. At least I got hair, so I always leave my hair out of the way up in a clip. Yeah, it's how I do my daughter's hair mainly because it's so fine still. Finally, I'm more used to stop being murdered by my paladins, yay. No, they're five minutes in the morning, few of those are the brush through. I mean, I have curly times and look schmick. Yeah, absolutely. Um, You can also, so on the front of it, there's um like your left and right. So as I said, because it, changes the curl direction and ideally you want them to curl away from your face like that so when it says l do it on the left side as somebody looking at you would see and then for the right do it on the like the r do the right side as someone would uh, looking at you um it also has a timer you can put the temperature up and down as well obviously the the hotter it is um firstly the more battery it's going to chew through faster but it's also going to make a tighter curl i believe and the time as well. So that was a 12 second setting. It has a beep for every second. So you can count it out. It'll be, you know, 12 single beeps. And then on the 13th, it'll be a double beep um, to tell you to pull it out. I found that if you sit there after the double beep for another couple seconds and then pull it out, it seems to hold a little tighter. Of course, you can just put the timer up if you want, but the lower the timer, the looser the curl is gonna be as well. Uh, and they basically, yeah, all of the kind of guides say to like curl everything and then brush it out to get those loose sort of wave bouncy type dealies. Um, but it's up to you how you want your hair. <laughs> like if you want it super curly or if you want it just a bit wavy. Uh, but yeah, it's super easy to use. Only tip is to make sure you brush your hair. If your hair is the kind that gets tangled quite easily and you're doing, you're going through and sectioning and you've done a couple sections and then you're at the back one and there's a little bit of a tangle in it, rebrush it. Like just get that tangle out before you put it in because it will affect it. It will make it look a little janky. And um, when you're putting the hair in the top bit, there were a few times, especially when I was doing like the back part, I'd get like some of it in, but some of it like around the side like that. And it'd get it really tangled. Like, I mean, understandably, because that's not how it's designed to work. So just make sure you're getting all that hair in there. And the, the easiest way I found to do that was to grab the hair like as close to where I wanted to put it in as possible. And then like 
like, so I'd grab a bit like that, and then I'd kind of, like, slot it in, making sure I could feel that all the hair was in sort of thing, uh, and then just kind of going from there. Or you can get someone to watch, like, to take a look when you do it, either or. I was doing it by myself, so I didn't have that luxury. But yeah, nah, super easy to use. Super, super, super easy. <clears throat> That's why I like it. It's super easy and they stay put. Like, stay put. Alright, Anus, give me a loot, please. Alright. I know, like, I can feel the curl in there now. It's funny. Gordan's horde will sweep across this world like a locust swarm. And, all my and when you brush them out the day after, oh, they look so pretty. Will at last fall into place. There are a lot of these style of things on like TikTok and Snapchat still do ads, right? That kind of stuff. Um, just be careful where you're buying them from because a lot of them will be like drop shipped from like Alibaba and stuff like that with just some random kind of product name stamped on the side sort of thing. Um, and this is a product that you're using to heat your hair. If it gets too hot, your hair can literally burn off and you can give yourself burns and all that kind of stuff. So just make sure when you're dealing with anything that gets to those kind of high temperatures and all that sort of stuff, to be sure that you're purchasing from a legit brand. Um, even if it's not Wailera, like if you don't don't want to use my referral code or anything, I do get a commission. If you use the code to get a discount, I do get a commission. Um, but if, if you don't want to do that, and that's fine, I'm not going to take it personally. Um, but if you do go decide to go with a different brand, just make sure you do your research. Because like there is some damage that is not really reversible. Uh, it was extreme gnome, wasn't it? I, just remember, I haven't done that yet. The time has come. Gul'dan, order your warlocks to extreme. double their Whatever. efforts. Moments from the front gateway will open, and your horde will be released upon this ripe, unsuspecting world. Oh, only three more transmogs to finish off this dungeon. For, for shaman, at least. I just got honored with Keepers of Time. <laughs> Go me! That's hilarious. You guys are getting like actual brains and stuff. Like, good lord. I am not. It's fine, I guess. Ah, oh dear. I'm getting sleepy. It is early and I'm getting sleepy. Let's go back from getting coffee. Why the chipmunk voice? It's a redemption. I have a blue Yeti X World of Warcraft edition microphone and it comes inbuilt with a bunch of WoW themed voice effects. This one is Gnome Extreme. But it was redeemed to be used for two minutes, we've got about 40 seconds left, so not too long. Not too long. Yeah, it's a microphone effect. Super cool for like content creators or like DMs, for example, if you're wanting to make some character voices that you just can't quite produce yourself, which is totally fine. Um, can help you kind of do that kind of fun stuff. Do you have all the Noble Gun things? I do. I got those on Wednesday, cleared off the list. Felt very good. Very proud of myself. That is amazing, yeah? <laughs> yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. You can type exclamation voice to see the list of WoW-related ones. There's a bunch of other ones in there as well that come with the standard Yeti X, but because this is the Yeti X WoW edition, it's got a bunch of extra WoW-related ones. It's very cool. Plus a whole bunch of, like, um, the, like, sound files and things like that, which, yeah, it's very funky. And the microphone is beautiful. Like, just physically gorgeous. 
Yes. And we're done. Um. Trying to go land egg in Angora. No luck. What? I'm very confused. Very confused. So the redemption for the voice effect can be done once every hour. So once it's redeemed, there's a one hour cooldown. Oh, excuse me. noise. Good lord. was not subtle at all, not to me. Not from my end. Alright, give me a second to get back to base so that I can defend against whatever pops out of that portal. Okay, uh, Dark, Joe, Meaty, Silver, Seeker, Draz, Fade, Demon, and Moo, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Fun. Oh, bus time. One soon. Flying rogue is still on cooldown. As is my orc slayer. What's this one. Okay. Time walking around, we're going somewhere else. Um, after this, I was thinking of doing Old Hills Red because I have to do it and I might as well do it now. Um, probably gonna get two runs in, but that's fine. But I might not do a lack for it because I know how trash it is. <laughs> so, so we might just run it anyway. Sometimes obviously, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, wait, that was, no, that was not the last one. Still waiting for Anus. Oh, look, a 
green. Yay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Look, I know we have to do the completion stuff in here, but... Oh. Another one. Not very valuable one that time. That's okay. This green? The item. Green quality. Uncommon. Ah, uh, that was like the first green I've gotten in a long time in here. The first one that's dinged, I think. Oh, you're right, okay. I thought it was a genuine question, my bad. I tend to treat things as genuine questions unless there's like a kappa there or something. In which case, I still usually treat it as a genuine question for anyone who might actually be wondering in like lurk or something. <laughs> Oh, I'm a silly. The time has come to shatter this Yay! Helm of Desolation. Actual transmog. Holy cow. Is this going to be my highest completion for Black Morass? Or have I finished it on fear? I feel like I might have. Like a locust swarm. And all my designs. All my I finished it on Kira, so I must have finished it on fear. Kira's my warlock. I'm totally okay with this. It's the more ass dungeon? Yep. Everything I say is tragic. It's fine. Yay for dings. Yay for ATT happy bread noises. Yes. I probably got time for one more run. <sighs> I, I really, I'm terrified of updating my data because I think I know what we need to do next week and I'm feeling some sort of way about it. <laughs> like some sort of serious way. Doing BC Dungeons has been really easy, because it's just like you go in and you just AoE everything to death, and it's nice. But, um... It, we're gonna get to tricky things sooner or later, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. We're just gonna have to. The time has come! Gul'dan, order your warlocks to double their efforts! Moments from now, the gateway will open. And you they should just drop the helm. I know, right? Wouldn't it be nice? And then ANS can drop the braces, and then I can just like die a happy death or something. Very nice. I would like it lotsly. Why is this still sparkly? No hoopseed. But then again, when do I not? Using how fans are actually smashing all of them. Huge four of 432. I know, right? That that 201 gold feral warp stuff is just like that's it, hey. I'm gonna pump those numbers up. Oh dear. It is kind of funny how, like, even a 10 gold green can, like, swing the, the balance. Oh, dear. Very entertaining. Why do you wait? <laughs> Come on. Mask of Inner Fire, baby. Whatever. My entire effort so far. Yeah, right. Like mine too. It's hilarious. Mm, 
go us indeed. Even both of our scores put together, I see, is still not enough to be in first place. That's hilarious. I so didn't expect Chrono to drop the one item I needed. Must have pleased Aaron Jesus. Did help myself by resetting after that kill each time. Yeah, look. A little bit. A little bit. I've been seeming, like, a lot lately to end up with my last item being on the last boss. Like, a lot, a lot. I don't know. I think RNG just, just hates me. Or is teasing me. It's like, here's three mounts. Have zero transmog. <laughs> like... Yeah, something's going on. Something's up. You guys expect these guys into Dragonflight to show up in Dragonflight. We see bronze turning into them or something. Um... Well, look, there, th and this is not spoiler stuff. This is this is something that's been a part of the game for a very long time. So um, keep in mind, if you have seen leaks outside of what Blizzard has talked about, they are considered spoilers because either the leaks are false, in which case they don't matter anyway, or the leaks are true, in which case it's a spoiler. It is number one, like it's rule number one. If you have it, like if you click the cog under chat and see view chat rules, the first rule is literally no spoilers, and there's a bracket thing that says that leaks count as spoilers here. So, just to make that clear first off the bat before we have this discussion, because I know that people have, they feel certain ways about stuff, and that's fine, but those are the rules here. If you want to discuss that kind of stuff somewhere related to this community in particular, we do have a spoilers channel, particularly story spoilers, in the Discord that you are more than welcome to make use of. Um, I've got it muted. There are mods in there. It's great. I love it. Um, so that's there if you want it. Otherwise, here goes. The Bronze Dragonflight are destined to turn into the Infinite Dragonflight. That is their destiny. That's their fate. Um, that's what some of the, like, this these Caverns of time -y things and stuff like that. That is, like, you know, with the big circle of time, they can fight against turning into them as much as they like. It is eventually going to happen. But because of how the, how the Bronze Dragonflight works with their time manipulating abilities, there, there's always gonna be the bronze and the infinite. Like, even if they succumbed and turned into them, there's still the bronze from before they succumbed. So it's always kinda like we might, I, I don't know if we've actually seen, um, I'm just gonna make sure to warn everyone. Um, I, I don't, I'm not sure. Have we actually seen? Have we had a dungeon in in Caverns of Time where they've actually we've seen bronze turn into infinite? I'm not sure that we have. I don't remember. Like I know that part of the story, but I don't know if we've actually experienced it in game yet. I think we've only seen them fighting each other. So there is definitely a possibility that we. I mean, it is an expansion all about the dragon flights, right? And each of them kind of have a zone, except for the Black Dragonflight, of course, because it's essentially just Rab uh, Abrathian and Ebonhorn at this point. Um, oh, that will put me to the top of the list. And I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> tasty. Um, so that means that like, we do the, the Bronze Dragonflight's zone is where the capital city is. But I still, like, there's still going to be quest lines and stuff there. I don't think it's going to be a standalone city like Ouroboros was where there's no zone around it. I think Valdraken is inside. There's, I don't remember what the zone's called. But that should mean we, like like Zuldazar, we had like the zone of Zuldazar and then we had Dazara Law in the middle, but there was still a questing zone around it. So that questing zone around it should probably have some bronzy stuff in it. And maybe we'll find out like what exactly they're trying to do or whatever. Like never say never. It'd be kind of cool too far away for that. What am I doing? Being an umpty. Correct. Uh, quite sure we haven't. I think I'd remember that. Yes, yeah, so, like, so would I. You know, that's what I'm thinking. I don't think we've seen it. I know we've seen a lot of infinite. We've seen a lot of bronze. And we've seen a lot of them fighting each other. But I don't think we've seen any succumb. Like, actually turn. I don't think we know how that happens exactly. Um, so that would be very interesting to, to see through that whole thing. But hey, maybe. Maybe. I certainly wouldn't be against it. 
I'm really looking forward to Dragonflight. Um, Primal Surge Braces? I'm really tempted to just farm out this last piece now. I would love to cross this off. I'm really, really tempted to just ignore the timer and keep farming Deja and try to get it until I hit cap. <laughs> Hundred percenting a dungeon would be a really good feeling, especially this bloody dungeon, because it'll probably cross it off for the hunters too. Oh no, there's probably a weapon in here that they need. That's a good feeling. I do need to clear out my bags though. That is a that is a problem. But yeah, I'm uh. Hmm. We will see how I go. With my first attempt at an armored cosplay. Step closer and don't mumble. It's probably gonna be terrible, but I mean I won't know if I don't try, right? <clears throat> and most people's first attempts at something end up being pretty trash, so. My bag's got nothing in it. Stingy drops. I've got so many greys. And all the on all the boss drops. The soul band blues and purples. I was done talking to you anyway. There that I sold. I'm concerned now. Oh, that's something I can equip. Back with some better stories. I've seen things that would scare you shellless. I really want that helm. Not everything. Is okay. Nico, here's YouTube tutorials for cosplay. I would love to make fantastic. A lot of the big ones are, are definitely out there. Definitely. The Palpatine voice to it. Henry now I have a few percent of all the things I want. Um, that Humble Bundle, I've, I've only read through like half of a couple of the books and there are so many really useful tips. It's actually like freaking phenomenal. And it's got a bunch of templates for like basic bitch stuff. Like you can make, there's a, there's a, th a set of templates in there for horns and stuff. So you can try your hand and a couple of like breastplates or helmets. So you can give a shot of like something super simple just to kind of see how you go with it or use that as a basis for creating your own kind of yeah it's really cool well i mean it was i think it was like 24 australian for like 40 books or something um if you've got the cash and you're interested in trying it out i'd i'd probably look at investing in it because it's got some really great resources and not just because i'm an affiliate um like just because like come on <laughs> i know i could use all the help i can get as you're probably weapon hunters. Yep, there is a bow. Of course there is. Um, boss one, two, or three, do you know? Actually, I can check that. Why am I asking you? Don't be lazy for you. There's mail there. Ah, uh, and the bow's off the first boss. Is there another one? No, there's only the one bow. So it might be worth me trying to get this anyway because then when I come in on the hunter I'm only going to have to kill the first boss anyway to get the bow too or I can just do it both on the hunter two birds one stone I don't know just a drop for her earlier granted on shaman but yeah should save a bit and go back to work get some cheap materials to some of these tutorials easy ones at least absolutely team total of 1721 for the entire sequence I know right oh it's a bit that way that way. Well, that's okay. Is what it is. They're not. All, they're not all going to be super profitable. And hey, we got transmog. Why do you wait? 
All right, Deja, give me a head. Helm, same thing. Hour from that one, yeah, it's not ideal. Not ideal. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave that there because I can go and get the bow and the helm at the same time. Hopefully, save some time. Okay. Ah, uh, where am I going? Old Hills, Brad. Do you want me to run the timer? We'll, we'll just run the timer anyway. It's gonna be trash, but it'll be hilarious. Um. Uh, 40 is not going to be for 30. Okay. I'm going to put it on heroic. Have you tried entering Asmongold's Transmog competition? No. I even thought or cared. No. Since you're collecting anything, no. <laughs> nah. I collect, I don't actually use them. Check. Three, two, one, go. Need to get my bombs. And then we go. I know there's things you can kill on the way, I don't really care. <laughs> It'll be fine. While we're on this dragon back, um, quick reminder that I am trying to grow my Instagram following. Trying to insert, like, social media stuff when it comes up naturally feels much better than trying to just, like, start the conversation about followers, like, ugh. Anyway, I'm trying to grow my Instagram following because I would like to become a full-time content creator because I really, really, really enjoy doing this shit. I really do. But to be able to do that full-time, I need cash because I have bills to pay, like all of you, I presume. Um, so if you'd like to help me on that, way like if you'd like to see me become full-time at some point uh something you can do that is super quick and easy and free to help me out is to follow me on instagram um you can either scroll down under the video player and it's got like the about fiama and then you go across the end and it's like instagram you can click that and then click follow takes what 20 seconds tops uh depending on your internet connection of course if you've got a crappy one it might take a little bit longer uh <laughs> or you can type in chat exclamation socials uh, and it'll give you an all my links link. Then you can click that. And then the Instagram one wibble wobbles a bit. So you can notice it really easily. And then you can click that. And then you can click the follow button. It takes a little bit longer, but um, is accessible on mobile. Which I know scrolling under chat isn't always accessible on mobile. Um, so 
yeah, it actually genuinely helps when you send pitch decks to companies and stuff. They want to see your social media reach, especially in Australia where Twitch isn't particularly valuable uh, to a lot of advertisers. They just don't get it. Like, they, they don't understand that it's a potential goldmine. Um, so, yeah, a lot of them in Oz look at your Instagram uh, because Instagram is designed to make sales, Twitter not so much. Um, but yeah, I mean, a follow on any and all of my socials would be very much appreciated, but the one I'm particularly trying to focus on is Insta. Uh, this has been an embarrassing plug by Fia. I will shut up now. You're welcome. I know, Seiko. I know. <laughs> I know, I noticed. I noticed. 22 to go to the big 1k. 1k is like the big first miles, like the first really big milestone. It's when the Instagram algorithm starts to like notice you and recognize that maybe you've got something going for you. Um, it's it's really nice. <laughs> 9 out of 10 Instagram users rate Fia's profile as favorable and enjoyable to engage with. The last person hasn't discovered, excuse me, hasn't discovered it yet. That's hilarious, Lando. Well done. Well done. Ah, oh, cannot vouch for the veracity of Landar's comments, but hey, they sound nice, so we'll go with that. Oh, what's wrong, Claw? What happened? Uh, where's the bucket in here? I always forget over here. Found it! Just prison orcs. Ah, yes, gotcha. That's right. We're gonna explode their houses, because that should help. <clears throat> One more. Boom. Come on, boss man. Let me kill you. You there, fetch water quickly. Get these and then give me your Mocknathal mask of battle. Not like that. That's not right. Wrong ones. Next time, we're gonna get what, two runs. This dungeon takes a while, just just a touch, just a little while. Oh, another one. Tar, friend. What is it you wish? Very well. I reckon of the 110 Let's people go. in the chat, there would be at least 10 who haven't followed on Instagram or the socials yet, but could. Don't get FOMO. Follow along and be a supporting member of the family. Oh dear. That's adorable. Costs nothing. Supports VA. Yeah, emphasis on the costs nothing. Except like 20 seconds of your time. For realsies. Whew, we're so close to that 1k, like good god. So close. And then like we'll hit it and it'll drop a couple, and then we'll hit it and it'll drop a couple, and we'll hit it and drop a couple. Like it's just, it's always the way. But it's okay, it's alright, I can handle that. But like, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. And hopefully these tips and tricks that I get tomorrow are gonna like, ooh, shiny. Uh, hopefully they will help and I can make sure that my efforts are not for naught and they're actually useful and helpful and in the right direction and stuff, but we'll see, we'll see. All of the hype, Rel, hello! Ah, <sighs> dear.
This is gonna get really loud. This dude's voice lines are too loud. They're not scaled down properly. And enjoying the chat. Fantastic. Okay, so the goal is 980. So one more. Thrall, you didn't really think you would escape, did you? You and your allies shall answer to Blackmore after I've had my fun. Guard! Guard! Yay! Got a new transmog. Well, the almighty two, two, one. Seeker, refresh. <laughs> All right, I need to talk to Thrall. I always forget here that I have to talk to Thrall to make him move. The follow and tell us in chat. You don't have to tell us in chat if you don't want to, but we can celebrate with you if you do. Up to you, your choice. Let's ride. Let's do that because this is a pretty boring ride. <clears throat> Asian. Yep. <laughs> Fun fact never seen Rocky Horror. Neither have I. Yep. I kind of so much good stuff on it. I haven't played since 2016. Uh, it is against terms of service to sell your account because it's not your property. It's Blizzard's property. You're kind of renting it from them with your monthly sub. So would not recommend uh, because what can happen is that the person gives you their money uh, and then their account, what is, you know, you consider to now be their account, gets banned. And then they claim back from PayPal, and then your PayPal account gets flagged for like fraudulent transactions. Because if people charge back against you, then it can flag you for doing shady shit. And it's just, it's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah. Also against terms of service. So don't, don't do that. Cool. 980. Oh my god. Turn to get over the. Oh my god. Seeker. Far out. Ah, so excited. I'm a rule breaker? Yeah, well, we don't do that here. So don't break to us. Cool. Okay. Uh, Meaty, Faye, Demon, Landa, Met, Funk, Draz, and Miko. Congratulations to you all on your bonus shit. Sorry, I'm trying to keep up with Thrall while alt tabbing every so often. I have no idea what that means, Rollo. English, please. I'm sure it's probably some kind of in-game language or something, but English only is end K, okay, thank you. Um what are we doing? Boss defeated! Phenomenal. Um it's a Game of Thrones great. Fantastic, not English. Thanks. Uh alright. Let's do yeah, let's go skin chest, because I figure you guys probably need some more skins, yeah? Let's do that. Last. No, yes, last battle of the night. So, that's on timer still, but I can pop down my flying rogue. Do I still need battle frames? No, but I will pop in that it's the last battle, just to let people know. Brilliant! Okay. Happy Sunday to you too, Jay. Welcome back. Hope you're having an awesome day. Come on, do your RP bullshit. There you go. <sighs> this dungeon takes forever. 
Let them come into the sparkly puddle. Or not, that's fine. I have earned my I wonder if any of the- I don't think any of these are the ones I need. I think they do trinkets, not transmog, right? Because I know there's some crafted dark moon cards Thank that you. get you transmog. Early crafted. How are you? That's right, I'll send them to fear and stick on everything mode. And double check. Duggan! Time Slicer. That is such a badass name. Down the spring flowers, impatient with the achievement. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. They were for trinkets. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I think that's. Uh, but there were some crafted ones that you could turn in the decks for for transmog, because um, I remember them from when I did a dark moon stream, trying to get as many things done as possible. And I'm like, oh, I can't do these. I don't remember. Ah, uh, well. Do another run on normal, and that's probably me. Good day to you. Buying all this. Uh, all the shirts and stuff. See you around. Come back here. What can I do for you? I can. That's not BOE, is it? Oh, it is BOE, rather. Learned by it. Yeah, I'll send that to. What's it? This, uh, my leather worker. She is a monk. Baron monk. I think I've got one more run <laughs> within that time. I can't believe it takes like 15 full minutes to do a run of this bloody place. Ugh. That's why I wasn't moving particularly quickly. Fine, it's fine. As long as we get something, like one more piece would be really nice. Yeah, it feels like so much later than it is. I wonder why. Is it just because we've been having fun and so, like... I don't know. Hmm. Doing well with your runs. Getting involved. Oh, maybe 
He just jumped up. Noise. Lunar cycle something something. Yeah, look, maybe. Where are we in the lunar cycle? I don't tend to follow that kind of stuff. Just sign some water in our bodies. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Hmm. I've been enjoying today too, Lando. Lunar cycle or not, it's probably a bit to do with the slew of long weekends. Yeah, you know what? You probably got a point there too. We might have to start this battle early. If we hit 10 and I like fall over, like <laughs> that's going to be not super great. Most of it got tomorrow left and I start my new job! Ah, that's so exciting, Rel. Best of luck. I'm sure you'll smash it. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Stand near it and it dies. Brilliant. That's exactly what we want. and happiness. Yes. Mm, I should probably get better from during the Five for the dawn service, of course. Absolutely. Makes sense, Midi. Spell really. Every an old colleague really tough to leave my last job as they were awesome, but something something more money. Yeah. Sometimes even, even like as awesome as a job might be, if they don't recognize your value and they're not willing to step up the cash like another job is willing to pay you, then sometimes it's time to say goodbye. Like it's not always about the money, but it is absolutely about how they value you as an employee and all that kind of stuff. Where the hell? Oh, I always, oh, it's over here. It was hiding behind an orc. Brilliant. Very good. Ugh. These sleeves makes sense. Probably I haven't done it yet. Oh, did I not do that in time? I didn't. I moved too early. God damn it. Very good. Very good. Oh, actually, no, we are going to have this battle. That, I think the battle's going to have enough time to go through. Right, okay. I just couldn't count. Fantastic. Wonderful. Glad to hear it. So I've definitely valued me never entertaining counter offers after I resign. I would have been paying me more than I was worth in the role I was in, which would not be fair either. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Makeup, thank you, Cloud. Much appreciated. The dragon, no new loots. Damn, Midi. Sorry to hear that. Fingers crossed for next time. Rest well. 
as well. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. Hopefully. Mark the file. Mask of battle. Go. Tar, friend. What is it you wish? Very well then. Let's go. Let's go. I'll finish this run, update my stats, and then see what we're going to be running next week. There's a green in there. Not a not a valuable green, but a green nonetheless. Something's uh, not sure. Blackmore has much to answer for. The only time I can ever win is when Zam isn't here. <laughs> a rider approaches. T. This is the dude with the really loud voice line. And two lots of greaves that I want. Oh, you didn't really think you would escape, did you? You and your allies shall answer to Blackmore after I've had my fun. Guard! Lotar, friend. Very well. What is it you wish? Terran Mill lies just west of here. Since time is of the essence. Let's ride. This way. Let's go. Onward. Some more loot drops. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. We'll see. Writing speed. Wouldn't that be nice? Upgrade the dungeon. Do not aggro the spider. Do not aggro the spider. Ah, <sighs> almost there. <laughs> Pay for it for him. Me too. I agree. I'll also chip in. Pull the bear. For God's sake. 
least you can instantly mount. It's kind of cheeky. Excuse me. Lotar, friend. What is it you wish? These dungeons are very story-filled and amazing, but they also suck. Good. Glad we can acknowledge that. Leave you here. I wish I found a back saw for you. That's right. I'll lie down soon. Yay. I like food and I like sleep. <laughs> A few minutes for three more races. Gah. <laughs> doing seeker three more races this day is long overdue out of my way i am truly in your debt stranger i'm gonna ah gotcha gotcha of course that was the cooldown on the yep yep i have earned Oh, races from a while back, yeah. Yeah, I remember. It was a while back, but with the prompt, I remember. Come outside and face your face. Who or what was that? Duggan. Arita's life hangs in the balance. Surely you no. care for her. Surely you wish to save her. Is no so new still on cooldown and they run away. Yeah. Don't bother looking till the cooldown's up. What races do you have left? And what level do they have to be? Not in, does not include new races, yeah. What is it? Out of my way. At any level, I'm hanging an Oribos. I do have all of those. I will erase your very existence. No, the master will be. Nothing new for Hills Red. Ugh. That's right. I'm done. Finito. Finished. Done. 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 Yeah, just need to be patient. Yeah, but patience is crappy. You should be able to drop it on their head as soon as cooldowns up. And when you got a community to help you, why not? <laughs> Little one boast. Mine are all 50. So, go forth to victory. All right, let's grab this, stick it in here, and update says. I'll piss off. I was really hoping it was wrong. 
Oh, I was really hoping it was wrong. We are doing cathedral. We're going to be doing legion dungeons. Legion dungeons next week. Yay! Uh, <laughs> Not looking forward to that. But Cathedral is my lowest on so many tunes. So like, yeah, we're going to have to do that. But I'm going to do it on the Shaman. Uh, actually, it's a tie between Shaman and Hunter. So I'm thinking I might go Hunter just to mix it up a little bit. And plus I have the multi-shot, which will be helpful. Um, all right. I have a Tauren in front of me. Whisper Mandillum to stay put. Sounds exciting. All right. So Tauren, it was Gnome and Undead. Got it. Now Stalky and Undead. Do you want... The undead or the gnome? Do you think it'll be easier for you to find an undead or a gnome? I mean, I have to be on the same, like, shard as you, but I can try. Hmm. So exciting, Crows. I'll try a gnome. At least you can like slash who for undead and find one. And like DM them and ask them if you can bump them. Oh look! How convenient. There's a smaller hide. Better and harder to see. Love that. Legion Dungeons. This is gonna suck. Cathedral will suck. So you, can, you can only do it twice. You can only do it on Mythic and Heroic and then you're done. You're finished. Thought though. That's okay. I'm happy to just like stand in front of you for five minutes. Like, no big deal. Still got like eight minutes left on the stream technically anyway, so. Might as well sit around. If somebody else wants to do the undead, I can sit here and do gnome. I mean, I know there's still the cooldown, but still. If I can, I like to help people. It's just usually I can't because it's too much, like, I, I have too much to do. But if I can, I will. I might get that with a gnome in a few. Alright, let's, let's give this a try. I'm a gnome gnome, right? Not a, yes, good, I'm not a mecha gnome. I have to skip the more intro, but that'll be fine. Hey, Cell, how are you going? Three minutes still stalking the undead. Possibly get my undead online, no idea if you can make it to Oribos yet, though. 48 plus, depending on what level you are. For, if you are at 48 or 49, though, be aware that jumping to Oribos does cancel out your ability to do Chromie time, so it'll boot you out. Excuse me. You're right, move to another character and do it again and again and again. Yeah, look. Hopefully I won't have to. I'll just do the one run and I'll get enough that it won't be angry with me anymore. Um, so I can't just take the Port Tora boss. I don't think it's there. No, it's not. Okay, so I have to... Actually, why am I doing plus? This is a Spire's Guide. I don't need the Spire's Guide anymore. Uh... Oh. Yeah. I'm just gonna... Uh, Shadow. Lands! Intro and main story questline off one of my peelies. Whoopsie. I've unlocked it, I guess. Yeah, you can just jump straight through. Like, I, this is what I'm doing. This character hasn't unlocked Ouroboros yet. Um, so I'm just gonna, like, skip the more intro, go straight to Ouroboros, and I'm done. Ready to be bonked on the noggin with some flowers by Sika. Uh, so Sika, this character is called Lissane. So L-I-S-S-A. So if you slash tar Lissa. You should be able to find her if we're in the same. Where whereabouts in Orbos are you? Do run away? It is quite a thing. You need only ask. Champion. 
ending is coming. Brilliant. So yeah, that's all you do. You just skip the Moraboss. The Moraboss? Sure. Skip the Moraboss, and you'll be straight Moraboss. As such. Ta-da! In Sanctuary. Okay, where is that? Uh, is the whole thing Sanctuary? What do you seek? Uh, I'm gonna say replay just for now, because I can always go threads later. The purpose and the agent of the Maw is attacking Oribos. Defend the Arbiter! I'll come to you. Okay, I'm gonna stand here then. You have a pretty obvious I'm on a flappy. Very pretty flappy. <clears throat> hey, Blade. Everyone dead in Arabos? Fantastic. Wonderful. Wait, is that you? Are you pending? Wait, no, is that... That's crazy! Look at that! We've got both of us right here. This is... Oh, I have been sprung. Is that Seeker? Yes! And there you go, and there's your last one. <laughs> the community strikes again! Can the community make it so that I don't have to do Cathedral? <laughs> Would that be okay? Can we, can we, can we, can we? Ugh. Look, Cathedral is fine. I just... Maybe, maybe what we should do is not do Lax next week. What we should do is go through and do Cathedral on every tune. Every tune until I run out of stream time. And just try to knock it off the list entirely. Maybe that'd be better. Just get it all ripped off with one six hour band-aid. <laughs> So what are my percentages for Cathedral across all the classes? So, uh, where are we? Fia has 76.92. Phelan the Druid is 46.15. Alexia, Rogue, 46.15. Uh, Repressily, uh, Death Knight, 46.15. Benedica, Priest, 71.43. Melissa, Monk, 46.15. Lillianne, Demon Hunter, 42.86. Kira, Warlock, 71.43. Jasmine, Warrior, 42.86. Desi, Paladin, 42.86. Piroa, Shaman, 35.71. And Domitore, Hunter, 35.71. I think it might be a really good idea to just try to get all those percentages, like, up. Like, up. I think that'd be a really good idea. I'll start, I'll go through all my Hunters. And then I'll go through all my Shamans. And then just, like, work my way up from, like, yeah. Band-Aid stream. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking, like a rip off the Band-Aid stream. Seems to be a pattern there. Yeah, um, the, the male wearers are 35.71. Uh, the plate wearers are the 46.15, except a few of them are 42.86. I'm assuming, and I'm assuming that those ones are the ones that have like an extra weapon type that's available in the dungeon. Let's run them all on Mythic and boom. Uh, look, I think a lot of them might not actually be capable of Mythic. I think a lot of them, because they're all 50, and it's a Legion dungeon, I think a lot of them would have to do it on Heroic. That bloody mount is so, isn't it just? It's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, if I work on like all, if I do all my Hunters and try to get that 35 up, and then if it's still crap, do it on all my Shamans and get the number up, you know? Like just get Cathedral out the way. Might be really nice. Can you imagine Cathedral of Eternal Night 100% completed across all classes, all professions? My heart, be still. <clears throat> this is the bloody best. No, you seeker. Least I can do for everything you've done for me, honestly. Seriously. Doing anything else. We're just chilling. Chilling in Ouroboros. Um. 
time. Only plan for next month. Been lurking and listening lots. Oh, I'm so I'm so happy to hear that. That's so good. Uh, Funk, Lander, Miko, Demon, Silver, Vild, Seeker, V. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. I am uh, I'm making small adjustments to my eating plan this week because I do it weekly. Um, I don't like massively batch cook. I would love to, uh, but I just I I don't know. I think it's got something like wrap trying to wrap my head around. Uh, I don't think I have enough containers, and I like feel like if I batch freeze it, I have to defrost the whole thing to portion out. It, it's just a bit of a mess, so I'm trying to... I have a fucking chest freezer, though. I would love to use it properly and, like, massively meal prep, but I just... I, I kind of... I think I get overwhelmed with how big a job it looks, and given how time poor I am already, and I don't want to just be like, Hey, Jas, look! Can you do this? Because that's a really shitty thing to do. Um, however, I have... Because, you know, my macros were terrible like hang on let me double check again um they were like it was like 50 percent fat every day every day not necessarily bad fats but not like still too much fat S still too much fat um that was 43 percent on friday thursday was 47 51 46 47, that's these really high percent fat. I'm trying to get them, um, apparently, if you're on AIP, because you're having so many animal products and no carbs and stuff, like no, no grains and things like that, you end up with pretty much an even split across the board, like 30, 30, 30 ish, um, like in the 30s, but that's way too high. So, um, I was having, uh, like my morning, I have like a small, like a really small breakfast. And then with that, I'd have my, um, like a little snack of like carrot and avocado to like, so I'm cutting the avocado and just having the carrot. Hopefully that'll do something with the fat. A little bit, but not much, just like little steps to see how it adjusts. Um, and we're thinking, cause I've been making a curry for lunch, nightshade free curry, um, with a 10 serving batch with two tins of coconut milk in it. I'm thinking of knocking one of those out it is that's where the biggest fat things are and the the last thing where there's a lot of fat is dinner which is like a steak or something but you can't without just shrinking the steak you can't get fat out of that really unless you go like leaner cuts but blech. um and if i shrink the thing i'm also shrinking my protein and my protein is already in the teens in terms of like percentage for the day so i need more protein but less fat Ugh, and I don't want to just do protein powders because the vast majority of them are not AIP and they're also really expensive and also AIP is very heavily focused on trying to get those nutrients from whole foods rather than from supplements, which I'd love to do that, but I'm just, I'm so lost. But it's okay. It's fine. I'll figure it out. I'm a, I'm a big girl. I can do it. <laughs> I can figure it out. I can do math. Um... Ah, uh, 50 seconds is not a drill. Yes! Batch cook my lunch and breakfast, but dinner we do not. Yeah, same, same, same. I prepare, like, I do all the breakfasts and lunches, and then, and then dinner's cooked, like, fresh on the night. Do a quick watch tutorial, how to build a helicopter demo. I want to print out the free tutorial pages, just get started and get a feel for the size. That's a really good start. Really, really, really good start, I see. Try to have a plan for the month. Well, our weekly is just, like, the same, 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 same. Like, we always do the same thing because it's really easy to just kind of get in that flow. Probably not great, for, but one thing that I do really try to be careful with is having my fruit and veg be the whole rainbow every day so that even if we do eat the same thing every day, we're still getting that variety of nutrients and stuff because I know that that's important. Um, just for use a fridge for beer. Love that. Yay, Seeker! My lines turned to boot. I miss the lines sometimes because humans dance like dags in game. So that's IRL, you'd say the same, double that protein. I know, I'm trying, but like, fucking where? It's a problem. So it's about Hey, Azalk, protein powder shouldn't be needed by most of the population. Exactly, exactly. But I'm like, where do I bloody put protein? Like, I just, I can't, unless I add more meat, but that bumps my grocery price up and I can, like, I'm on a goddamn budget. <laughs> like, Mm, I can't have eggs. I can't have dairy, so no, like, yogurt. I, like, it's just... It's all animal product, but, like, how do I do it for not a hundred bucks a week? Fuck, you know? No legumes. No legumes. Have you not claimed all the rewards on the campaign? Ah, oh, it takes too long. It takes too long. When the campaign ends, you just get them all automatically in your bags. 
<laughs> I'm lazy. I know it means like the the like the crystals and stuff. I don't get to spend. Um, sometimes I go through and grab just the crystals and the skins, but the rest of them, yeah, you just get at the end. Uh, yeah, no, no legumes. See all those click buttons and not press. It just takes, especially on stream, like it's you click. Okay, click. Okay, click. Okay, click. It takes way too long. The lag is hella real. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, it dumps it all in your bags. Dumps it all in your bags. Super good. Super wonderful. Um, let me find you. I'll drop you a link in Discord, Kraz. Just like, so that it is, it is quite sort of claim stuff. Yeah. If you don't have, like one tier at a time, it's fine. But like, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's too long to do on stream. And then by the time I get off stream, I've forgotten. Uh, <laughs> Um, AIP foods list. I'll find your link and I'll drop it in a DM. Not, I'm not asking you to do me a meal plan or anything, Kraz. Just for, like, informational purposes. Like, it's, we're good. Um, I just wanted to, like, yeah, share. I love eggs. Eggs are fantastic. Um, eggs are a common allergen. And so the autoimmune protocol, which is a, an eating plan that I'm trying to stick to, uh, is it eliminates a whole ton of common allergens that can cause any sort of inflammation or irritation in the body because autoimmune, it's it's inflammation. So for me, it's arthritis. So my knees, my knee, one particular knee gets really, really swollen and puffy and, and can't walk, cannot walk, cannot walk. I can't bend, can't do much at all with it. Um, so the autoimmune protocol is designed to eliminate a bunch of those and then in, reintroduce them one at a time. And then when you introduce something and you notice inflammation symptoms, you go, oh, I have an issue with that food. And so you eliminate it permanently and then continue reintroducing things um, to see what exactly your, are, are your body's triggers. Um, so yeah, so eggs are a really common, uh, a really common allergen. So it's something that you eliminate as part of the elimination phase. Uh, but look, it's, it's a thing. Um, oh, this works. There are printable guides. That works. Let's send Krazy this one, just for curiosity's sake. Uh, where is Kraz? There's Kraz! And a smiley face, because I like Kraz. Ah, <laughs> uh, I've got two green churchills. Is that new? Bone broth might help with that. Is what new? Hang on. Oh, on chat rules, two words. I'm so sorry. I'm like, who is chat rules? I thought it was a username. Good. I am clearly not ready for bed yet. Uh-huh. Um, no, the, the chat rules, if you've like cleared your cache or something like that and it thinks you're here for the first time, then yeah, it'll make you agree to the chat rules. It's if you jump into any chat for the very first time, it'll make you agree to them. Um, bone broth might help with that. With which part in particular? Bone broth is definitely like really, really heavily encouraged on AIP. It's like one of those like superfoods, super nutrient dense and all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, so yeah, it's definitely it's on the it's on the good list for um, for AIP. Um, that actually might be a thing. Maybe if I have a cup of bone broth in the mornings, that might up my protein. There, I know there is some fat, but maybe the ratios are better. That's a good thought. Cool mount horse. Ah, oh, that one. That's the Netherlord's Chaotic Wrathsteed. I believe that's a Warlock. Yeah, the Wrathsteed of Zoroth. That's a Warlock class mount. Uh, having eggs at the moment. Brilliant. Both squids love eggs. I can't stand them. They go. Uh, great snack on the go. A boiled eggs. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. Like omelets, boiled eggs, poached eggs for the kids. They always ask for more. Eggs are the best, really, because they go with bacon. Uh, upping things you missed in protein. Has I been on AIPs or no way fall? I didn't know that. Ah, buddies. Love that. Uh, my, look, when I was on it properly, like 100% super, super strict with it, it did wonders to my body. But, um, look, I, I struggle with stress at the moment, like a fair bit, and food is my comfort, and AIP food is not necessarily a comfort. What is a comfort is bubble tea, and bubble tea is certainly not AIP. <laughs> but yeah, I, um, when I, when I was on it, full time it was it did some really incredible things to my body um uh but i'm also kind of 
honestly, like to be perfect, like I love my bubble tea and I love the bubble tea club. I am an affiliate with them. They have phenomenal products. There's a reason I show them so much. And it's a, there's a reason I have one every stream. It's because it's, it's just great. It's a fantastic product. It's delicious. It's really easy to do all that kind of stuff. Um, but a part of me, you guys know that I don't, I don't affiliate myself with products that I don't believe in. I don't give you codes for stuff that I don't think is good or that I don't think is a good investment, all that kind of stuff. I have a fear, which I think is founded, that if I do go a whole hog with the AIP again and cut out bubble tea and people start asking, you know, why aren't you drinking your bubble tea? And I say, I can't because I'm on a medical diet, then that's going to negatively affect both my relationship with the Bubble Tea Club, because we've got a really good relationship. They're, they're sending me their new flavors and all that. Like, it's it's awesome. Um, but also affect negatively affect your guys' view of them as a product, and I don't think that that's fair on anyone. Um, I don't think that that's appropriate. So it's... Yeah, it's a really... It's actually a super tough decision to, to have to make. Um... <clears throat> Get your own bubble tea. Those are not every diet limited. Yas, they're so good. They're so good. How do you go with soups? Looks like soups would be solid go-to meals. Although if you like my wife, then soups aren't food. They are boring appetizers. Look, after the dental surgery, <laughs> having a soup occasionally would be okay. Or if it was like as a hot drink, you know, like if I had a, a cup or a half cup of bone broth with my lunch kind of thing, and it was a smaller serving of lunch with the soup on the side, I think I'd be good with that. But if it was just soup, I would, after approximately five days, want to kill something. <laughs> um, I Although I guess if I'm having textured food at other meals, I'd probably be more okay with it. But yeah, no, I, I do quite like soup. Soup is fantastically versatile. It's just, um, yeah, I, I do occasionally need texture. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what server you on? Uh, my horde tunes are on Salfang, but this character is Alliance, so she's on Amanthul. Welcome on in. What dropped? Hope you're having a fantastic day. I love soup. Understand where she's coming from. Map. What about what? What map, Selden? Why have you got four question marks? What's wrong? Ah, uh, it's been there, so I know what you mean. When I was on it, really helped. Yeah, I found the stuff I can't have. My stomach, black pepper and bell peppers. Not on it anymore now. You can't have bell peppers. Good. I hate capsicum. <laughs> that that was the easiest thing to give up for me. 100%. So we just think I want potato leek soup tomorrow. I love soup. It's an uphill battle to add them to a meal planner even once a month. I'm sure both parties understand. I mean, you could have you could have soup and your partner could have whatever's in the soup except in solid form. Not blended. Potato and leek. She can eat actual like potatoes with leek on the side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure both parties understand given its medical reasons. Girls are fantastic. So your viewers, I agree, but it's still kind of, you know, it just, mm, there's, yeah, it feels a little awkward. Kept eating too much fruit. Thought it was better than chocolate. Had to have, had to have something to stick with it. Yeah, absolutely. The jazz seems supportive and useful. Keep not kill. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Would you pre anti soup for a while? I was. There was add to inflammation. I guess I need to drop them close to competition based on my history. Everything in soup doesn't need to be blended though. Chunky soups within. Agreed. Agreed. Um, yeah, so bell peppers, uh, capsicums, and uh, tomatoes, and potatoes, and black pepper are all a part. Now I'm... Capsicums are the... Yes. Um, nightshades. I'm j I've, I doubted myself for just a second there. But yeah, tomatoes, potatoes, uh, capsicum, and black pepper are big they're all parts of the nightshade family and they're all known to cause inflammation nightshades oh, what a kebab was the right choice brilliant i hope you enjoy it Oct. welcome on back yeah nightshades yep they're um but look it, they don't for everybody this is not like a you shouldn't be eating these things uh no it's definitely like a like in some individuals they have caused so they, they are known allergens. Known allergens. Uh, so they can potentially cause a reaction in some individuals. Some of it will be really, 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 really mild to the point that you won't even notice it. Um, you'll just kind of think that it's just general body funkiness. Um, but then other people, oh uh, yeah, it's it's worse. 
it's worse. But I can still have tomatoes. Oh my god, fall. I cannot imagine if I couldn't have tomatoes. Lord help me. When I I was on it for four no, for three months and then I started reintroducing things. Um pepper was okay. Um what did I do? I think tomato was next. I did cheese and I had a really wicked tummy ache, but but uh, the cheese was on top of an AIP recipe for sweet potato gnocchi. And the sweet potato gnocchi turned out like little rubber balls of dough. So the upset tummy may well have been because I literally ate fucking bouncy balls that were made of sweet potato. So I couldn't tell which was which. And then the pandemic hit and I stress ate and all the restrictions went out the window because I was like, no, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> I have enough stress. Bugger it. Um, stream rate is bad. No, we're done. This is the end of stream. I did say last battle in that last battle. No more, no more stream raiders. Um, maybe joke with the two. Like, may I Mexican food? My IBS flares? I mean, I think most people might agree with that, Ogt. <laughs> depending on the depending on the quality of ingredients, I feel like a lot of people might might agree with that sentiment. Alrighty. Alrighty. Um. Sure, I did these. Didn't do that one, so I'll refund that back. But I did do these ones. I did one chair stream, but not two. Quote, quote, I did the gnome extreme. Brilliant. Okay. No coffee or alcohol. Yes, correct. It's inflammation. He's best. Happy sleeps. You too. I've got like 10 seconds left on the ad, so I don't want to like. I, apparently, according to my dashboard, there's 10 seconds left on an ad, so I don't want to, like, cut people off who aren't subs and don't know what's going on. Um, so, give me a second. We're going to find somebody to love. Um, yeah, let's go here. Sounds like a good idea. You are muted? They're muted. Brilliant. Uh, don't go anywhere just yet. We are doing a raid. We are doing a raid. Uh, alrighty. Uh-oh. There we go. First things first. Bam! So today is the 24th Xmog Hunt. Uh, tomorrow is Mount Farm Monday. Wednesday we are doing a Shah Farm stream. First of two. Over the two streams I'm going to be going through all 50 of my characters. Uh, but the 27th is also a special stream. We're doing a charity stream. We're going to be raising money for Pank One. They are a pancreatic cancer research fund. Uh, if you were diagnosed with pancreatic cancer today, the chances of you living for another five years is 8%. Eight. Like, there are amounts that have a better drop chance than that. That's terrible. With all of the research that we have and all of the medical advancements we've made in so many other fields, having an 8% survival chance is ridiculous. Uh, and so what Pank One wants to do is raise funds so that they can invest that into research so that we can bring that number up, so we can improve the chances of survival if someone is diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Um, uh, Pank One is calling it Storytelling Day. Uh, the idea is that people are welcome to share stories that they have associated with cancer, not just pancreatic cancer, but like any and all of the cancers, be it their own stories of, of how they've gone through something or someone close to them has, keeping in mind uh, like consent is important, um, de-identifying if people don't want their story shared or just not, that kind of thing. Of course, no one is, is needing to share either. Um, we are going to be focusing more on the fundraising side than the talkie-talkie side, but um, uh, I understand that this will be a pretty heavy topic for some and that some people won't be comfortable being there for that, uh, won't be in the right mind space, all that kind of stuff. And I understand that. I won't take it personally. It's totally okay um, if you're not comfortable attending that stream because of the discussions that maybe had, but you still want to help out with the stuff. I'll drop a link in, um, there'll be a link here that you can um, do like, you know, uh, exclamation pank one or whatever. Uh, not, there isn't one yet, but there will be. Uh, and I'll drop the link in Discord as well for people who don't want to actually join chat during the stream uh, for aforementioned reasons. I totally get it. I won't take it personally. I won't be offended. 
Um, but it is a thing we're trying to help and uh, sometimes helping comes with some heavy discussions. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be happening. Uh, we're going to have some beans. I've got, I'm going to pull out the bean boozled so you can torture me again, which I know you love. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, and then the 29th is the second part of the Shah Farms and that's the end of April. That's a third of the year gone. That's fine. Totally okay. Uh, I am working, I'm actively working on my May uh, schedule. Working on my May schedule. Uh, it's up on my, I've got sliding mirrored doors and it's written on in whiteboard marker because that's how I organize my shit. <laughs> uh, so it's up there, working on that. Um, there is a high chance of shuffling. I am working on the schedule, but there are a couple of things sitting in my inbox that may or may not need to be fit into May somewhere. So a couple of streams might have to be shuffled around uh, and or, yeah, just dealt with. <laughs> so that's that's the thing. I will let you know how we go. Uh, 8% is fucked. Absolute rubbish. Agreed. It's okay. You too. Two hit times bananas. You tease. I know. I'm really good at this. I'm really, really good at this. Actually, Seeker, there's something I need to talk to you about. So I'll message you later. Yeah. You love me. All right. <laughs> Ooh, what's, oh, that's where the microphone casts a shadow. Really? And I'm like, why am I dark? There we go. Awesome. Uh, feels like half a year has been gone. It's only April. It's how slow March was. Yeah, look. We're out, like, technically, are we not still in March of 2020? Like, wasn't that the whole discussion that we had? Um, I think this is ship is doing. Ah! Uh, yeah, kind of, sort of, possibly a little bit. We're going to send some love to Hydrax. Grab your copy paste. If you do not have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you are not a subscriber or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, both of which are totally okay, you can still copy and paste the entire message, remove Fiamma Hype and replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote and then hit enter and drop it into Hydrax's chat. Um, it'll be good fun. I hope you have a wonderful evening. I'm going to see you tomorrow, like 18 hours from now. Is that a bit, bit, look, there's a schedule down under the thing. Click it, converts it to a time zone. It's beautiful. Or you can turn notifications on. That's fun too. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I promise it actually helps. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I'll see you then. All the love. Bye guys. <laughs>